After five events, Anthony Hu is in pole position for the 2023 Poker Go Cup title. But now the stakes are rising. With three trophies still up for grabs, new contenders are coming. It's the first 25K final table and the pressure is on. Welcome back to Las Vegas, the Poker Go studio to be exact. The 2023 Poker Go Cup continues as we look for our first 25K No Limit Hold'em champion of the series with $400,000 up top for the eventual champion. Today's YouTube stream will be full coverage of the final table. We're going to go from start to finish and find out who will win this tournament. Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks are on the call on PokerGo.com. My name is Remko Rinkema. Donnie Peters alongside me for a full day of action, including some fun giveaways and everything else you ever wished for as a poker fan. Orban Kisakshioglu is our chip leader with 3.6 million, followed by Aram Oganyan with 1.6 million. And then some familiar faces, Alex Fox and Kerry Katz, the self-proclaimed bad boy of poker, Sean Perry, and then Sam Soverell. Those are the players battling today as we had 50 entries in this event and 75K guaranteed for the final six players at today's final table. Like I said, $400,000 up top. It's a deep structure. We got lots of play, but it all depends on how Orpen is going to do at this final table as he has 122 big blinds coming in to this final table. Here's a look at the series summary. Anthony Hu, he's the leader. Three final tables, one win. Kerry Katz, four caches, three final tables. And of course, all of them are chasing Anthony Hu to win the PokerGo Cup and that 50K cash bonus. Kerry Katz is the closest ranked player to Anthony Hu at today's final table, but he's got a lot of work to do coming into the final table with just 20 big blinds. Sam Sovereil is our short stack with nine big blinds. Let's get ready for action. Cards in the air. Donnie. Give us some insight into live. today's final say table. I want to say this, dude. I want to say this because I, I, F you, Jake. F you, Ali. Let's play some poker. <laughs> wow, we're Thank underway. <laughs> Thank you for that, Aram. Uh, Orban Kisachikoglu, chip leader, as you mentioned, has been playing extremely this well throughout the entire tournament and really did a good job of abusing the bubble. Guys. He was on one table. Alex Foxen was on the other. Both of them with big stacks, raising every hand. Wow, he looks like <laughs> Oganyan is ready Brad, to is battle both verbally <laughs> and on the felt. <laughs> I haven't looked, call. but the camera knows what I have. I don't need the sunglasses anymore because I did the eye surgery. I know. Like you got an implant? To yeah. What do you start? <laughs> Instead of having the, the RFID reader and the glasses, you got it just in your head now. <laughs> Sam, what do you have? I think I had 270. Yeah. What? Thanks. I don't know if you're allowed to do that on the first hand. <laughs> man, you come out here saying F you to some people, calling out people, and you just check back, man, as a chip leader. I was not expecting that. We've already eclipsed yesterday's table talk by about 20 words, and we're only on hand number one. This promises to be an exciting <laughs> final table if Perry... I've done this for Robbie, but <laughs> you got it. I got dick. What do you want from me? <laughs> I got better dick, man. <laughs> you got it uh, on sick. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> Donnie, different vibe today. <laughs> I mean, it's... This is <laughs> Wait, one so tenth of what was happening points. last night. I was just playing them like heads up. I can't even talk about what was happening last night, what the, the players tournament. were saying at the table. I mean, it's just... Scanning people in. And then they got all their money confiscated. I didn't get anything back from their <laughs> confiscation. Yeah, that was bullshit. I got like 6K back. I got zero. You got zero? Mm -hmm. I was also playing on like ACR, Rat Hole Cash. Oh, okay. I'm talking about from GG though. But I played, we all, I played a bunch of 5K. I goes like every single day, like five of them a day. I played a few of them, I didn't play all of them. That's probably why. Well, you I, know what, listen. I got two do 2K back from Fedor Cruz. Just keep doing good things in life and uh, <laughs> I just need to look at my God will play its part, you know what I'm saying? Here you are at yeah. final table now. I never checked it. I think I had 10 We're about to, yeah, right, are we right going right out? Here. We're going out to celebrate this when we come one two, right? Uh, we got, if we, we come one two, we can go out and celebrate. Sure. But the only, I, I'm, gonna ca I'm supposed to catch a flight to Miami. Bro, what's in Miami? Bro, 20, another 25. <laughs> come on, bro. We're about to win this tournament. And you got to enjoy the process. And then Bahamas, you know? No, you got to play the 50K. You'll, you'll yeah, you be, can't you'll be leave in the, here. If you the 50, bro, if you win this, you have a chance. It's what? You guys are giving away 100,000? 50. I'll tell you. 50? I mean, that's incredible. It's better than anything. Sean Perry is right. 50K cash bonus for the overall 
Pokego Cup winner, and it sounds as though, Donnie, at least until these guys <laughs> potentially get eliminated, we don't have to say a whole lot. No, we're probably not going to have to say a whole lot. <laughs> when they were chatting up a storm last night, Carrie Katz turned around and looked at me and said, don't report any of this, Donnie. And I said, just make sure they get it out of their system before the stream tomorrow. I'm not so sure they did, so... <laughs> So, so speaking of oh, things sorry. you cannot repeat, what what was the general uh, direction the conversation was going? Uh, were we talking financials? Were we talking, you know, you mistresses? What was going on? Yeah. Uh, there was some. Uh, I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Sexual it verbiage. <laughs> to be honest, and all in, I think a lot of it was directed at Phil Helmy. Oh wow! That's all I'll say. That, that is. That is, <laughs> that is very out there. I want to see a plot move. By the hand, it was gone for seven. Here's a look at the Alex Fox and bio oh, sheet. We all know this. A little off the top of our head by now. 22nd nice. on the all time money list. A little something. One bracelet from 2022. A little something to something. Oh, you're getting called <laughs> Carrie. At 70. Yeah. Carrie, so your wife has style like I do? If I was We're wearing the same bling bling? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't remember how to play it. Yeah. You should tell her that uh, young Sean is wearing the same jewelry she's wearing if you should get one of your own. She'd be like, yes. You well, she knows now. Saying, she's she'll probably be watching king. the stream. Hi, Jackie. I had a suit at That's King 7. I'm trying to convince Carrie to get one of these one of these bracelets. Yeah. Uh, just about, yeah. yeah. Maybe Nine, 995. Maybe Apparently, Sean yeah. Perry and yeah. Carrie Katz's yeah. wife wear the same before. jewelry. Not I find that interesting. Like, if it folds blind versus mine, you have to call wide because you're just oh, super short. I couldn't call. I couldn't call so long. Sean Perry's t shirt looks very plain, I but I can assure you it probably costs $400. It's a little different, obviously, versus under a gun. Small to big. I'm saying I wouldn't call a show. King nine. Kiss Ashioglu here with a raise. Nine and offsuit. Perry probably. finding it's a real really hand. Pocket eights. Really good. <laughs> All in. There he goes. <laughs> Perfect timing for Perry. Fold immediately. Well, at least we know the eights are dead. Solver will throws 8-6 offset into the muck. Fox and folds King Jack off. Uh, Action now back around to Kisachio. We're going to see right it away. in an hour anyways. One, yeah. one of the few hands I would able to pull. Damn, thank God. The first one I splitted was a 7. I was just dead. I had, I had two fucking paint cards. Here's a look at last year's Dude, I just Cup. can't. I what just can't. Man, man, uh, Jeremy Osmond is the overall Dude, champ. I, that but manifestation. I was in the bathroom manifesting a victory today. They were filming... Oh my God! Why dude. you were taking a dump? Wait till you, you guys realize you I skipped this whole series. Were you taking a dump? I'm winning this <laughs> event. I'm gonna win this event, and then I'm gonna win the next event, and then I'm gonna win the 50k. It's just gonna happen. Congratulations! <laughs> you already won it in your mind. Congratulations! We're off to a good start, ladies and gentlemen. Regardless, our, our videographer Antonio you're, Abrego you're was in the cooler. bathroom What's filming him talking here? to himself in the mirror. Oh my God! Is that on social media yet? <laughs> I have it in Slack. That's all I know. Can we please put that out on social media? What is going on here? Pick one. Can I get one of those, please? Can All right, let us know in the chat. Are you a fan of the Sean Perry experience, or? I had a good workout in this How does it make you feel, chat? How does it make you feel? Carrie, you got to check the place out. You I play go basketball to. still? Oh, yeah. I like to. I started reballing <laughs> about two weeks ago. I was working out so much, I was basically bedridden for the last six months. I was really huge. How and many then, threes uh, out of 100 from high school do you think you can make? Dude, I was, be I was in bed injured. Like, two months, I couldn't walk. I was working out six <laughs> hours a day. Because you were too huge? No, nah, because I was putting too much strain on my body. But I got big. So you had to spend six months in bed? Two months in bed and then four months getting a neuromuscular massage and fascicle stretch therapy every How much is it? day. Like I was in excruciating pain. Makes no sense at all, but all right. Yeah. It was <laughs> and now recently, I just started working out again three weeks ago. Anytime I ever lifted or anything, it would, it would, I just basically get hurt and then couldn't walk. Having back pain is like the worst thing. Re What's up? Revamp your uh, your workout schedule. Man. I was just doing too much, bro. I was doing like, I'd walk into the gym, and do 100 push-ups, pull-ups, and dips, followed by 300 kettlebell swings, and then I'd run for three miles. How much is that? Then I would do a one-hour one-on-one boxing session. Then I'd walk for an hour and a half on the treadmill, and then I would do a 90-minute weightlift session. I can't take it. I can't take this day. anymore. <laughs> what is happening? Started. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, I was going to this gym where a lot of the gr a lot of the bottle service girls were there, so I would just like walk in and hang out with them, and then, you know what I mean? They switched them every hour. So I was living the life, <laughs> living the life, working around, working out around pretty girls. But then I got injured, and it's easier to work out when there's pretty girls around, right? Hundred percent. But now, now, I'm, now I'm, I'm motivated by different things. <laughs> Now I'm trying to fall in love. I go to a private gym where there's no girls whatsoever. You know what I mean? It's just like one-on-one -on -one training. There's no people around. That sounds boring. Yeah, but I got different goals in life now. 
different goals. How I'll take the on? under on every 26. workout he's volunteering said. as my high school basketball coach. <laughs> yes. He's a basketball coach now. Oh, life. Uh, life. I feel bad for those kids. <laughs> <Come> <laughs> on, they're stop. drawing dead. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, Carrie Katz and <laughs> Orpen, yeah, no, there's poker app. Seeing see the river here, checking down, turning the river. Carrie <laughs> <laughs> Katz Gary, waking one in. Are you calling that flop, man? Uh, I'm not you, <laughs> You're just saying they're nice and tough. You You've been hanging out with Sean Perry too much, man. You're hoping a seven comes. He has a coach's single game in the next six months. What's up? You want to bet I don't coach a single game next week? I'm not going to bet you, obviously. <laughs> yeah, you can't Bro, bet me. Be like no, you know what sucks? I have, to get my, uh, I have to get my... Uh, I'm going to pay you to coach basketball. I'm just betting them that you're lying. <laughs> no, I have the ball. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sean, Sean's going to fix the games with the refs. Yeah, is there action you can get down on these games? High school basketball? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I want to bet on Sean's High team. school Jew Jewish private high school basketball games, man. I, I was at a game recently. I was poor No one's allowed to be over 16. yelling at the ref. I was like, come on, ref. Make the game close, Donovan style. Do it, Tim Donovan style. The ref was just—he looked so disgusted. You would think that when the buy-ins go up, things disgusted. get more serious, but the buy-ins go up and things oh, get right now, completely out of, out of control. Chip leader, big one. All right, who else in the chat is doing six hours a day at the gym, 500 kettlebell swings, 9,000 pull-ups? Are you on that Sean Perry reg regimen yet, uh, Donnie? No. You can't hang with him. Yeah, Alex, no. I was He's also like 15 years numbers. younger than me. <laughs> Is that good? I feel like it's pretty strong and good for him. I was strong. Me and Alex Fox and biscuits. I was ready to run into some Let's not talk street, about his routine, you know but probably lifts every day. <laughs> Who are you taking in a fight, Sean Perry or <laughs> Alex right Fox? I would take Alex Fox versus five okay, Sean Perry. <laughs> <laughs> You know what sucks about not having Maybe my phone on me? How am I supposed to calculate how many big blinds I got? Divide your stack by 40. But <laughs> oh, I know that, <laughs> but it's not <laughs> as easy. <laughs> how does he make these final tables, days. Donnie? He's plays so unconventionally. <laughs> how many big blinds you got, bro? Is he? Is it all just a troll? Like, See, what's going on here? Head. If I ask Alex, he just knows. Well, the blinds I really have no idea. You're about to That's forge what I'm your, saying. You're about to forge like, if you ask me, I really I didn't see him get into too many pots yesterday other than the ones where he was all in, and he won every single all in that he was in. Kind of important. That's Never really had enough. a lot of chips. You know how many big blinds you have? All of them. He has 200. Dude, he used to ask Ali. He would just know at every single point. He would know what's in the pot. He'd know exactly how many big blinds he has to like the decimal point. Next Almost level. like he's paying attention to the game. Yeah. Sick. That sounds like a lot of work. Yeah. See, I got 1.3. Sam, I don't lose all ends, man. I'm just put that in consideration, dude. It's facts, uh, according to Donnie Peters, last night he was not losing any all-ins. I think he said he was 8 for 8. There you go. He's smart. <laughs> What's up? So you have 12, right? 12 big ones? Yeah. But everyone always likes to target my stack. 12 and 1 eighth, exactly. Dude, so many times people are like, yo, Sean, how many chips you got? How many chips you got? And I'm just like, man, stop worrying about my chip stack, dude. They ain't, they ain't going anywhere. Alex is trying to make him go somewhere. <laughs> Alex ain't making them go nowhere. <laughs> A little bit of posturing here. Can't see Sean Perry doing anything with Ace 2 software. Alex Foxen with the with the jokes so far. And Perry makes the call here, Donnie. What do you think about this defend? I mean, Perry's an unconventional player. And Ace would have been a lot of trouble here. 10 10 5 rolls off the deck. Fox and commanding lead on the hand with Ace Queen offsuit. How many tables we start with? Wow. By the way, if you enjoyed the coverage, please smash that like button. We're doing a full day stream today. So if you're just tuning in, we're going all the way, showing you the entire final table. Show us some love. It's been a lot of fun doing these streams for you guys on our YouTube feed. And please don't forget, we've got the Poker Go crew going on as well. Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks on the broadcast there. And uh, Perry is going to extend this hand even further, calling 40K to see a turn card. And there it is. Chop it up if we go to showdown. Interesting card on the turn there. Yeah, chop it up if we do go to showdown. But I'm not sure Alex Foxen is the player I would want to be against in this spot. Certainly capable of putting his opponents in some very, very tough positions. Perry has a little bit over the size of the pot left behind, which is not a whole lot of 
wiggle room, and Fox and Toss is out 60k. I mean, Perry, of course, must be pleased to see that board double pair. Yeah, I mean, when you call the flop, I'm not sure there's that many better turn cards than double pairing the board. You know, obviously, you could pick up a pair yourself with an ace or a deuce. We know an ace would would crush him, of course. River card. Nine of hearts. If they go to showdown, it would be a chop. We'd love to see Fox try something aggr aggressive here, but they chop it up. Action goes check, check real quick, and what? Sean Perry benefits from that. Where's the river bluff? Trying to give him full Where's the river bluff, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> what am I blocking him for, bro? <laughs> trying to call again. Yeah. The, the entire river stack. River. This is Sean Perry's yeah, first God event. Is good. The, the deuce just gets yep. there, man. First event in like ace six queen month, I think. Versus he's ace deuce, yep. and I'm just golden. Here's a look at the all-time money list. Gary Katz, of course, close well to played. the top ten. <laughs> Orpen, close to the top 100, which also is kind of a cool stat to throw out there at dinner parties. He's come play. And then Sean Perry yeah, he's ranked he's a lot like higher than I expected, Donnie. He fell for it. Yeah, he's, he's done pretty well in these high rollers over the years. Can you calculate for me how high Aram can jump if he wins this tournament? Yeah. I wonder yeah, if he jumps like a thousand there. points or he lost a thousand spots. No, I didn't, bro. Yeah, you did. No, he lost 20k. No, 10 because he's he gets. Oh yeah, half the small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Just in case the announcers were talking when the show first started, f you, Jake. F you, Ali. Because last time when I said it, they were talking over me and, and no one heard it. I'm pretty sure they're quiet. Uh, it could be a moment where they're quiet. <laughs> Not on YouTube, bro. Not quiet. on YouTube. You gotta wait till when you're in the middle of a hand, bro. And I wanted to say in the middle tank. of the last hand. I was just I was like. <laughs> I was like, this would be sick. <laughs> Orpen comfortably sitting on a massive chip. He doesn't have to force anything. The wild man versus the wilder man. For playing 20k, 40k with the 40k big one. Andy Sam Soverell only wild. sitting on six big lines. Wild, you got a. I don't know what you got. You got like 12 and a half now. Bro, I'm going to give you some respect, man, and fold our cards. Let's go. All I don't right. know what I had. I'm just, don't even work at it. I'm going to, damn. Just, I'm, I'm giving you some respect. I guess I'll know. I'll find out in 30 minutes. I'm just going to give you respect. All right. Well, I, I think you had a big jump hand. to about 3,000. I, I manifested. Oh, wow. So about I usually have yeah, a big card. Cut his standing in half. Yeah, it's pretty huge. 6,200, yeah. Yeah. I just Where are you at on the standings? I think he, after he looked at his cards, down. he manifested that I had a big hand. <laughs> well, if I don't have a good card. <laughs> He's like, I got bad cards. This guy has to have good cards. I'm going to manifest it. Dude, I had, I, had pretty, I had cards that were connected, honestly. Right. I just respected you. I swear. You got the five, six off? Something exactly, basically, exactly something like that. <laughs> yeah, if I, if I'm basically, basically, you know what? Exactly something. Like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Five, six, Only five. three contradictory <laughs> terms in one sentence. That's pretty good. <laughs> I called Sam's out, hand out yesterday. And he's like, "Are you whole carving?" <laughs> he was confused. Sam, so how many chips you got, brother? Did you really have the ace eight? I guess you did. <laughs> Sovereign not giving away anything, not getting involved here. I um, just want to mention that Oganyan is a complete new player to me. He's a high-stakes cash game regular. Oh, so far, already no, enjoying his presence. Oh, nice. stable talk. Yeah. 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 It's all in? Like there it is, Sean Perry, all in with pocket fives. Green. It just needs a lightning bolt instead. Yeah. He has Sovereign <laughs> covered. I do like the Charger like, logo and shit. Yeah, they got oh, yeah. Right. separating cool. himself. I like the color. It's better than the yellow color. Yeah. Show a five, man. Well, in there nice. I just showed a five and nine. That was actually what they were like in the 60s. Yeah. What they are, what they are. They don't want to they show the ace of clubs? What's yeah, that? it's cool. The ace of clubs. I just show whatever card was at the bottom, bro. There you go. I had... They're basically the Falcons of the AFC. Big chokers. Huh? Yeah. I, I gotta put it in. I'll probably put it in. Like a queen three off. Yeah, Still, 28 three is a lot worse than 27 yeah. nothing, because if it was yeah, a Super Bowl, bigs. just to play all games. For yeah, five yeah. Bigs. yeah for, and queen three is like a good hand for five bigs, I guess. I bet Jacksonville when they were down 17 nothing. I like, felt like a real moron when it was 27 on him. Oh, I had Jacksonville. I bet him when they were down 17 on Honestly, I turned off the game and went and watched, watched, played some basketball. Then I found out, like, someone's asked me. I didn't find out until the next day. I thought I was, I was being trolled. <clears throat> but. Oh, the Chargers are going to charge her. What do you have? Is it good? Uh, 925. 
I had a lot in that game, too. Oh, wait, a lot. no, sorry, I got a bit more. What's a lot for you? More? I don't want to say on yeah. TV, but a lot. You sure? Well, you're, you're, your life's an open book on TV. Right. Same thing. Yeah, but there's a thing called Uncle Sam and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm an open yeah. book, but... But I'm just them. Um, All in. A few hundred bucks. 20 coins. Gary Cassidy, who's some of us again reporting there at the table for us. <clears throat> Must have been pleased when you woke up. Okay, well, I know, not when I woke up, I was playing Raising enough to put Sovereign all in. And I thought it was a troll. Makes the call, King Jack offsuit. Sh Sam Sovereign is going to go with it. Sammy Biscuits. Oh, what man. Got there? King Jack. Oh, I just had five last hand. Love it. Let's it see if you can find a double you know, up here. Was Only for just four big blinds. I like it. I, I, really know, I like it. I, it was a good play. That's, that's you the right play. Yeah, you put him on a, put you on a small pair. them all in. I didn't put anyone on anything, man. I had a big fucking hand for, for five big. Good, th good luck. I thought it was Jackson. It was too dead. I knew it was too dead. I lost, He's la like I lost two flips at the last final table who's, in the 25K. John, who's going to win the hand? I don't know about this one, Sam. That's your official prediction. You called off, too? I, you're, I think, you're, you're I think of, Sam I like Sam. Yeah, yeah, I think Sam's going to win. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, now you None of you had a king or a jack? No, I didn't. I had a ten and a six. I might have had a jack. I don't remember why. I might have had a jack six. I'll bet extra on the side. I'll bet Sam. I'll take Sam's hand. Here comes the flop. Ace, jack, nine. Give him a Sorrow heart. takes the lead. That'd be a better sweat. A heart. Oh, you want a heart? Five of hearts. No. Just for the sweat. Mm -hmm. King of hearts. Oh, lame. Three on the turn. Dude, five I and a five only. So correct. Yeah, I'll send Sovereign like, to the rail. Like, that, like five for five. The Sith Lord wins. <laughs> yeah, I can't win a flip in a 25k final table. Yeah, you River card. Three yeah, of clubs. How much? Sovereign with the double up. It's just a flush run. He didn't have a whole lot, Man, but cost me <laughs> we've seen many comebacks so far I can do a during the cup. I see, I see. Congratulations. Man, I could go get some drill and burkin for 25K. Than I did. Oh, that's time. this hand. <laughs> you like how I did that, Alex? All in. <laughs> I didn't even notice that part. <laughs> I don't think we're watching a home game, Donnie. Like I it was, is. Uh, hoping he folds. And, uh, I love it, by the way. You keep, keep going all in. Applying pressure on these guys. <laughs> it's good. I mean, well, okay. And I want you to bust him and him in the same hand. And him and him. That would have that been, that been sick if they both had ace king. And it would be awesome. Won. Yeah, that, that, they would have called and called. Yeah, called. And then you would have shredded them. A little pair. There little it is. Sovereign with the Can't jam. A little replay Dude, action there. Sam was winning. If you appreciate Crazy. the content, please yeah, smash the like button. Freaking rooting for the guy no, we weren't kind of rooting. I just felt we weren't rooting. Winning. We were just <laughs> predicting on who was going <laughs> to win. Like, I, 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 I want him to the lose. The paint looks so powerful. He, lose? he hasn't even changed his clothes in the last like 40 hours. <laughs> this guy is just destined to be here. You weren't here for the earlier events. He had the same shit on. What do you mean? like You said 40 hours. It's been like like four weeks. 140 hours. How many of these sweaters do you own? Two. Okay. He's, a, he's got a maid, probably, for sure. These will look nice and comfy. Whatever look, he's wearing. It does look comfy. It looks like some rich people shit. <laughs> like cashmere, just... Really? It looks like he went to, like, the Laker game, and that's what they were giving out. <laughs> no, that looks... Feel it, man. It looks, it looks nice. Can I feel it? I don't want to touch Feel this, bro. Feel this. Four, I got this out in Yeah, that looks nice. This is nice. Nice, nice shirt material. Works. No homo. <laughs> All right. Any girls watching this? Orpen ra raising with Jack Five suited. Sovereign all in people. People. with one chip behind. People. You're single. Foxen also yeah. with a strong hand. That's why you, that's why you say people, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you hit up all your little shorties like, hey, baby, you're the only one. I want you uh, to root for your man. I didn't hit up anyone. Um, I, I posted on Instagram. Okay. Yeah, I'll be here. Didn't, like, personally contact a human. It's an annoying posting on Instagram because like, everyone just messages you the same thing. All Let's go. <laughs> Bro, I post on Instagram and I get zero response. They just, they're just over my shit at this point. You know what I mean? Fox makes the call to put Sovereign at risk with only oh, wow. 10K behind. Is, uh, Orpen with an easy fold here style. with Jack-5 suited. <laughs> All right, I think Fox These guys have the same hand, but got, like, Sam here. Sovereign, of course, with the suit what advantage. Happened? Why don't you guys just put it in, like gentlemen? Sam, Sam's got 10 more K here. Fox, you going to hit him with I, the blind bet check it down. Let's see if I get there or not. To wait, post flop. Well, that's a good, it's a bad spot for you to check it out. That'd be hilarious. Because <laughs> it's not like you're the chip leader next time. <laughs> Thank you, just open shows. Yeah, Despite being offsuit, Fox has here the favorite kind of since Sovereign's oh, culture dead already. Yeah. 
Foxen is probably going to win. And a nice little 5% chance. You can fun sweat for you, Sam. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dealer, this floor, is, is this guy's chip dead? <laughs> chip should be dead. His hand's dead. Why don't you put your 10Ks in? Why does he still have 10K? What's we, we bet it. <laughs> Third oh, card, no seven floor. of clubs. <laughs> Chop it up. Survive. We move on. Just so he knows that it was coming if it came. Um, you were Would you have won, Orphan? It's coming if it came. Huh? You would have won, right? If it came right? on the turn, it was coming. <laughs> uh, no. If I hit a no. if there was a diamond on the turn, I would have been pretty confident I'd get there. How lucky are you? The guy calls you all in. Your hand was dead. Man, what are you chip leaders doing, man? You guys are supposed to be pummeling the short stacks, but we're out here just big dicking you guys. <laughs> Bro, you just went all in. Right? You guys don't have enough chips. I can't take this guy fold. serious. You went so all in and I caught like, like, Until you have enough chips. Now you have enough You got to start winning, bro. Ace Queen is not the winning hand, dude. You had it twice today. Me? Yeah, I know. Chop, chop twice. I'm okay with that. He's losing twice. I got it in good, bro. Yeah. Who got it in good? Me. Against who? Right. Sam. Bro, you were drawn dead, dude. <laughs> I wasn't on your side there. I knew you were losing. Thanks. I wanted you to win, trust me. I just knew it wasn't happening. 325 k for you. Yeah, for sure. I, I want you to beat this. I want whoever has the most chips to win every all-in. I'm playing favorites here. Except for Foxen, because I told Foxen before the show, I was like, yo, just remember, me and you are like buddies. We shouldn't be playing pots against each other. And he's like, yeah, 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 don't yeah, worry, bro, I got you. Best friends, man. And then, and then fucking hand one, he just tries to bluff me off. He's there betting twice on me with ace high, dude, like applying max pressure, this guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, Think about bro, how cooked you would have been if the river was What happened to our agreement ace? of us being, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> But you're not realizing if the river was an ace, you're cooked. She was valuable. You were dead on the turn. Bro, I'm never dead, bro. You couldn't win. You were drawing dead that hand. Even in two, you lose. Sean Ferry trying to find some room to play a hand in between all the banter. Finds pocket tens here, which is pretty strong. How many chips do you have now? 600. That is correct. Very strong under the gun race. 450. From Perry. 540. Five? Our chip leader, Donnie, yeah, has not won a hand, hand yet so far. Pick up a little, pick up a little 450. 80k each. That's a lot. It's going to be tough for him to win this one. Raise, and then the blinds. Oh, he raised? Yeah. He's going to defend no. the big blind here with a very you know appealing looking. It's good to let the short stack get some chips. I was a, so, I was, like, I you can bully the shock. big stacks even more. You know what I mean? a big shock. Shove 11, and I have, like, 20. Oh, trouble brewing here for Orpen. Close. Nine high flop against the 10s of Sean Perry. Easy. I cannot imagine the, the outburst the phone, that might happen if Sean Perry finds <laughs> a way to double up here. Or if he finds a way to lose. Or, or if one or the yeah, other. <laughs> either way, either way, we got spectacle guaranteed here. You haven't dominated, do you? They check suited, ten suited. Thanks, bro. Ace nine suited. You saw that I called, right? Yeah. What are you saying? You're questioning yourself. No, I was just saying it's close. It what a different nice vibe from the previous final tables that we've seen. But it's a nice change of pace. Still close. Wow. <laughs> Exciting to can't be close if you get in. some more banter going today. <laughs> it's, yeah, it can. <laughs> it can't be close if you went all in. It just means you're supposed to go all in. If you had ace jack, it's, it's a fold. Tricky spot here that's for Orpen. That's why it's close. Also, it's kind of a that's cooler not even spot close. It's just in a way. <laughs> ace queen is just the call. Bro, ace queen and ace jack are close to each other. They're as close as two hands can get. It's yeah, but in that situation, they're very Check far apart. Check out the 270 yeah, yeah. if I... <laughs> Heard that correctly. Uh, they're not. But they two are. or three. But they're not. Two? Two. I think it's two. Well, yeah, 270. Suited. Setting up the perfect that's shove here for Sean Perry. <laughs> that's probably uh, Then going to get some bad news. Who <laughs> bless you. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> yeah, or else people start exploiting you. No, I just, I think even pre flop, like in spots, you can't. I know, bro. You can stop. You stick to the F U J Canali shit instead of this, <laughs> this nonsense. Listen, you guys are the one telling me the hand history. I wasn't even. Like well, anything today? <laughs> I'm in luck. Alex Foxen not here to give out coaching. A pretty full cool schedule, right? Yeah. I didn't even look at the schedule. Yeah, there you go. Sean oh, oh, Perry all in. There yeah, we go. Know. Oh, sorry. I had no idea what you guys. I thought you were talking about fucking Muhammad. Yeah. Oh, I'm not Orpen Shrugs. Not happy with yeah, it, yeah. but does make the call. What's dire wrong, straights boy? for Orpen. What two outs it? only Obviously here. Sean has been super nuts. <laughs> <laughs> 1.25 kind of million in the middle, obviously. massive spots for Sean Perry. 
Where's the fucking nine? <laughs> Bro, nine ball corner pocket, man. I mean, man. you lose this, uh, uh, you know there's like a lot of tens out there, and you like lose this one out of ten times. Bro, I'm so. telling you, I manifested a victory <laughs> it's today. I'm just telling you that I see three tens, and you're losing this one out of ten dead. times. That's what the math says. One out of ten, you're out the door. It's definitely not eight percent. It's ten percent, right? Yeah. Anyone fold, anyone fold a nine? Like, yeah. No, you're right. It's closer to ten. You're right, it's ten. It's like if you have a little pair versus an old Wow, there's a ten percent chance you may lose, Sean. Can I bet ten to one? Six on the turn is going to make those zero chances even smaller. Eight to one, there's no nine club. coming. Four side club. <laughs> the only win, right? <laughs> Four side heart. Let's see the river card. Oh, oh so close. Kind of diamonds doesn't win. Eight of diamonds. Dude, why can't there be one more diamond on the floor? The wrong suit to begin with. But Sean Perry, all of a sudden, in a comfortable position here, so as we were still six-handed. That would chop. Oh, the man, theatrics. I knew it was yeah, going to happen. Still big. I just knew it. Who's he talking to? It's amazing. He's talking two to uh, himself. How so many times are down to two bigs and like all of a sudden you're... All my victories. They actually were talking about the other day. Unbelievable. Whew, it's a different vibe today inside the studio with Sean Perry in the mix. Here's a look at some of his career highlights. Dating back not too far, 2017 is when he both got his first cash and his first six-figure score, fourth place in WP5 Diamond. And ever since that big score at the World Poker Tour, he has been on a roll. And, of course, his biggest career cash was last year at the Poker Go Cup, winning the 50K for $640,000. Had his whole family in attendance for that final table. Big group uh, photo. Lots of people in the room here for That's that event. Mean, like Capella, there's, so, there's so much better with Capella. Love him or hate him, he it. does bring the entertainment. It was like plus three or something in the morning. I didn't really like this guy, so I woke up and just came down here. Uh, I'm just hoping Dallas gets off to a good start, Me? and I'll bet the money line. No, I didn't think so. If you're just joining us in the chat, let us know who you're rooting for. I can you only imagine there's going to be no, some people More. on Team Sean Perry and some chips, man. are not. I got a stack, you know what I mean? Wait, they call it like a medium chub going on right now. That's where I'm at. A medium show? Before I was a double circumcised Jewish boy the other day, and now I'm, uh, now I'm sitting strong right. with a medium chub. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I thought you said medium shove. Alex Foxen, probably <laughs> not his common uh, final table to compatriots to, to really battle with. I need to get one of those delicious day one CBD company things. Right? <laughs> like that. Look. How about that? Good, yeah, yeah, have one. Uh, do we have any here? They'll bring you one. Sam Sauberl walking off stage to get some of that day one bubbly water. I mean, Frank I can, Foxen one too. Yeah, I can say with confidence good read. that this stuff is good. Ace-8-3 rolls off the deck. Three clubs top, top for Alex That's Foxen. There. there it is, day one drinks. Check it out, drinkday1.com to get your own. Players would really love it. I love it too. I, I took a whole six pack home. It's after, gone now, right? After our dude it was gone like two days later. <laughs> Stuff's real good. I got the logo up. They gave us the uh, grapefruit flavor. What? Too, so Where is it? You can. It's out there in the in the cooler. You can check it out. Oh, on, on break. Got, what do they got? The lemon, lemon, lime, lime and grapefruit. And grapefruit. Mm. Three here, flavors. <laughs> here it is. Sam Soverl. Just here, all here, the cans of day one. <laughs> Water boy. No, don't worry. I'm gonna QVC this shit. <laughs> what is that? Are, are those happy dads? They represent have, they Happy Dad. They have CBD in them. I mean, you got to take one. Ideal. If you, uh, even if uh, you shout out to Happy Dad. You fill the Coke can. At Happy like Dad. My boy Roman. You got to lose. Huck I just don't like grapefruit. Shout out to the drinks, Happy Dads. You might have boxed You don't actually have to like it. That's true. Like I said, Warren Buffett with the fake Coca Cola or whatever. Tastes like water. He drinks Best Rico. alcohol beverage ever. Just <laughs> you can get lit. And he, gets, uh, he goes to the McDonald's drive thru every day. Yeah, that seems like a poor use of uh, unlimited yeah, money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think Fox, he just does it for coffee. Money? Perry cost, uh, called 55K on the flop, now did faced with okay? a 135K bet on the turn, and that's going to be too rich for him. Or you suck post flop. <laughs> you just, what are you doing? You just check call with nothing every time. Oh, uh, yeah, he'll, uh, he'll pump, he'll pump that money as he always does. Yeah, day one hooked up the players during the PGT championship. Man, I hate losing, dude. I really do. Hooked up the I players really now. <laughs> Especially this guy that's supposed to be my friend. And he, every time we're playing pots, he's just buddy, raising bad, bad, bad. Y'all hang out a lot? All the time. Maybe uh, <laughs> Sean Perry <laughs> needs some to kind of mellow out a little bit over there. Work out? Feel, Bro, sounds impossible. Do you think I could hang out with this guy at the gym, dude? Be embarrassed. Al Perry, Alex, I only Alex is helping to, to find his Listen, wife. The truth is, I can only go to the gym with someone that's worse looking than me. You understand? Like, I can't have some dude 
right out of his mind, <laughs> hitting their bench in 400 pounds while I'm having having one plate on each side. You know what I mean? I look like a pussy. You got to hang over. You got to do the cheerleader effect. That's what they call it. Surround yourself with people that are worse than you. So you probably want to go to the uh, weight room with me. A hundred percent, bro. There's, that's what we should be doing. I should be hanging out at parties with you. I should be going to the club with you. You know what I mean? Like the gym. Like, cause then I'm like. <laughs> then you're slaying. You're the taller guy at the club. That's what I'm saying. You, you can't, more you can't the... go with the Mr. Elite over there, Fox, and like that's not okay. <laughs> You can take Fox into the club, they'll just think you have a bouncer. <laughs> <laughs> you got like a bodyguard. Like, oh, this guy's sick. He can run around with a bodyguard. Sean probably needs a bodyguard. I had a friend that was like your no, size. I mean, I'm a quick runner. But he wasn't yeah, like built, bodyguard. he was more like fatter. But like we just walked through the mall and he, he would like do this to people. <laughs> he would literally <laughs> pretend to be my bodyguard. He was like, he's just my boy. That's funny. He's a good guy. Oh, he's coming in a raisin. This is what a mess today. Outrageous. I went to the John Finn one time, the club, and he's like, my How much do you have now to start this half? I get there and spend there. One point. Chilling, like, sitting a little down. less than one point one. And this dude's head is like one million? Astronaut. Lego head. Like no, like unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> And then I'm like, what the, what the fuck? What is this guy? And then he's like, oh, hey, what's up? He shakes my hand in his hand. Eight, nine, <laughs> like, unreasonably large. And like a frying like, pan? What is this, like, creature? You know? Like, he didn't even look like Who is human. This? Uh, John Sin's friend. You know, he's just like the, by far the biggest person I've ever seen. I've seen him <laughs> yeah. sitting down. It's just like, he's tall he's like, too? He's like 7'1 or, or something, <laughs> like 300 pounds, like 350 or something, just like on unlimited drugs. I guess he used to be like a wrestler or something. Just like roared it out, just huge, like enormous. <laughs> Like, what, what is this? Like, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was like a special bar. Some dude, on my, some dude on my football team was similar. He was like 6'8, like 340, squatted 125? like 700 pounds. <laughs> and, his, and his head was like, <laughs> I don't even know what to compare it to. It was like, like, like a this, pumpkin? This wide. It was like a square, like a big or like a rectangle. He was just always hurt. Because what was he, a guard? He's a D tackle. He's a. Oh. He's not fun to play against. <laughs> I played some scout team center, so I had to go against the D oh, tackles. That's, that's awful. Yeah, I was I was 245, and they were all like mid threes. It was rough. Sounds like a lot of concussions. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was definitely a lot of concussions. At least that guy was the same age as me, but like freshman year, I was 18, and there's like D tackle that's 23. Yeah. And that's 80 pounds heavier than me. That's gotta be intimidating. I mean, it's just, I was, got lit up. Sean Perry in a, another bat spot post flop here. Oganyan with the nuts compared to the hand that Sean Perry is holding. Perry perhaps holding out hope for a diamond, which would be a complete disaster. He is firing again on the turn, though. How do you think this is going to play out, Donnie? I think he's going to end up losing chips. Well, I'll throw it a little make further. This is going to break a rib. of hearts on the river. Perry can only win if he gets Oganyan to fold. Shuts it down. I told you you suck post flop. <laughs> <laughs> you were dead, man. What are you doing? Dead, dead. You just needed to fire I one more. You were never dead. You were dead. One more bullet, John. You got smacked up. There's two river beds. I just need to have a short stack and play all ins because you see what happens whenever I get chips. <laughs> what I do with the man? What was I done? I'm raising bet bet with seven five. All right, cut him off there for just a brief second. The Sean Ferry experience continues after we look at some of the walk-ins here. That must be Mr. Bill Klein. There he is. Come on, Bill, give us a wave. There it is. All right, check out the Coca-Cola Shop kickoff sale. 
valid right now for two more days on shop.pokego.com. And that's what you can get there too, one of those PGT zip-ups as worn by Bill Klein, who was not paid to wear that or to walk in and, uh, in that sweater, but uh, it looks good on him and it's very comfortable. It's all. Yeah. Dude, I was just dead in all, in all aspects. Makes it harder to think. All right, back to Sean Perry doing commentary on today's live stream. I thought you might have pitched it too high, and you could see. Oh, no. I'm uh, literally too high. He's too high to even notice if it was too high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I can't even see, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm blind, too, so I, I can't really see anything. You got a lot of disadvantages. Yeah, <laughs> I do, man. Like, like, How like, are you guys losing? It's like your handicap. <laughs> How am I second in this fucking Dude, door? what am I doing, bro? <laughs> no, one know. Knows, no one knows what you're doing. Not even the people watching at home. <laughs> They can see you're, you're making it tough this, Listen, you see the way I play, and you see what I do to these guys every day, and I'm here. Nothing? You know what I mean? Imagine how bad they're playing their cards. Making it tough on Brent and Jeff back there is like, try, they got to not be mean. Imagine the people watching like, at home. They don't even, you can see his cards, and they're like, what is he? They don't even know what he's doing. Like if, like if he jams the river, they uh, tip their hat and say he's a genius. No, but then he calls me. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Wow, if you bet Perry the... He has two pair. Dude, bet the river, I fold. All he needs is a... Yeah, but he's not going to call. Sure, I got to fold. This guy came he has to fold. fold. I, I have to fold. You have too many queens. Oh, no, I definitely have to fold. I mean, You're I, don't, I just don't have it in me to... You're not bluffing. Me? Yeah, you It's always easier to bluff that. somebody else's chips. <laughs> You're not bluffing anything. I'm folding, dude. I mean, bro, I had... That's, that was nowhere near the bottom of my range when I get to that river, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I like to bluff with the bottom of my range. I could have had, like, the deuce eight there, you know what I mean? That's, that's better. <laughs> you mean I... Meanwhile, Kisak Chioglu, our current chip leader, make a the only player no, the down four. chips so far on the day. He is down diamond. almost a million oh, chips, while every Just other player is up at least a little bit. I'll get laid for sure. Tough, uh. hand, tough <laughs> spot for Kisak Chioglu, who also has been... The quietest so far, all business for him right. at this final table. And he tries it again here. King four offsuit coming in for a raise. Perhaps he can get a few chips back, but Fox like with four, a very Sam? playable hand. Or a little bit more. 420. Yeah, 60. Okay. 460. I was hoping it was 20. Perry, how much are you playing? Not enough, bro. <laughs> Almost <laughs> like okay. 650. Not enough. Fox and potentially considering some. Man, I was tied for third in chips there. Now I put myself in six in chips, being an idiot. Forty. You're, you're still in fourth. What am I doing, man? What did you fold earlier? <laughs> you're not folding seven five off. <laughs> Jack <laughs> Deuce ten. Bro, I get bored, flop. dude. I get bored. Fox I don't know really smashes doing, this you know one man? with a middle pair I mean, and a plus I think, draw. I, mean, I think even people watching at home that don't play poker probably know you should just let that one go free. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at him and be like, all right, I got dick. <laughs> Whatever. I'll let this guy win. You didn't manifest me having a big hand, did you? I didn't know I had a medium hand. Do some damage on the How turn. do you, you write about the donkey sitting here? Boxing right, at a stronghold on this one. <laughs> you write about that. If you enjoy the content, or perhaps if you hate it, just smash that like button. <laughs> I'm going to let the as, as a little bit of a spite like the series. versus you get Sean Perry. You get it in good, though. What's up? You get it in? I just get it in. Get in good. Like, real good. You were 10, 9, 9, 90 out of 100 times you're winning. With a 9, 10, 10. <laughs> That's good for 10. I just get that situation. That's just like having 20 in blackjack every time. Actually, no, you're, you're more favorite than having 20. 20 in blackjack is like 87%. Do you get a 20? To win. If you have 20 and you're playing blackjack, you're going to win 87% of the time. Don't you? Oh, you don't play blackjack, huh? You play baccarat. I play blackjack. I have a stupid strategy, but I don't know losing. Bro, I need these stakes to be bigger, man. So I start playing some poker. There's a. Go to, are you going Bahamas? Four hundred K up top, not oh. big enough for him. Why? There's two hundred fifty. No, exactly. Bro, I don't What's play that? poker anymore, dude. But you said you want the stakes to be bigger. Yeah, but then you're only playing against the super pros. In that case, I'd rather just bet sports. It's more fun. You could just sit there and fire a sports game and get it over in three hours. Yeah, I heard you fire sports. Yeah, I fire, fire. <laughs> you can also just lose it all. <laughs> yeah, but uh, when you ain't losing, it's not an issue. 145. Yeah, that's true. Fox and bets 145 trying to get some value Bro, from his the wrong two questions. pair here. Hoping that Pisic <laughs> Yoga might have <laughs> you're asking the, wrong questions. the right hand here to call with. I have a very nice inheritance going. 
trust fund kid. I can see. Super trust fund kid. Yeah. Like there's like pros and super pros, and there's trust fund kids, and there's super trust fund kids. What's that mean? <laughs> like you're super trust fund. <laughs> you have unlimited trust fund access. Like, like whoever your trust funder is, they got billions. Maybe. Billion dollars. I don't know. You watched his dad play some hands against Tony G back in the day. I don't know how he could have Dude, millions. If I stack you, I'm going to tell you on your imagine bike. If he was, imagine if their family was good at poker. You see, this pro, this guy's a professional. He called me with King Jack. <laughs> yeah, but that guy ain't my dad. I know. Oh, that's the hand my dad had against Tony G. That's, yeah. yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's why I said it. You know, I was hanging out with Tony How are you not on your bike? <laughs> Bring on these Americans. <laughs> these Las Vegas Americans. Dude, what am I doing with seven? What am I doing? Bring them what all What am on. I doing, dude? I need to, like... I'm surrounded by Las Vegas Americans. How can I lose? Your I'm speech Tony this... <laughs> Fuck. What am I doing, dude? What am I doing? I think my... Uh, a little, little, little mental health crisis there, there for Sean Perry. <laughs> under my skin, 100%. He's melting down. <laughs> and what just, am I doing? We're watching the really meltdown in front of us. Wrong. <laughs> and I'm just trolling. Steady prove you right. <laughs> I'm not even... You don't know if I'm serious or not. Like, I could just be lying. I could just be, like, cracking needles. Yes, Sean Perry is Ralph Perry's son. So I shoved the river. Bring on more Russians. Yeah, Ralph Perry, cool. long time pro. Obviously from that famous up, clip. Bro. I can call you when I'm Him and clean. Tony G. Shut up. I think I just snap fold. He's definitely folding the river. On your bike. Yeah, I'm being honest. I would snap fold. Should we do a round of straddles? I got the 10 of diamond. That's an annoying card to have to want to call. I'll start it. Not really, but. Yeah. He might bluff with like 10 yeah, 9 yeah, off yeah, yeah. to 10 9, but whatever. It was, it was 8 king jack 10, right? 8 king jack turn 10. How do you get dealt ace 10, dude? I manifest you not having a big hand and you just spike two pair on me. I spiked it on you, yeah, I was behind the whole way. <laughs> yeah, I just yeah, you got so lucky hitting that two pair on the turn, that's sick. <laughs> How lucky was I to hit that flop? <laughs> Top pair, royal flush draw. That was, a, that was the lucky part. That flop was lucky. Second nut royal flushy. Chester says, Sean looks like Costco Jeremy Osmus. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. That's pretty funny. Uh, if you enjoy the content, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. We're going to be live here all day long until we get down to a winner. Winner, of course, takes home 400K. Should be an epic day. And the table talk is already a little bit of an indication of what might be still to come. Did you see this dude? He was head banging yesterday. He was watching the score game in the Clippers. Banging his head against the wall over and over again every time another team got a basket. Guess like Shoglu, not involved in any of the banter, Donnie. Just trying to focus here. Has he said a word? He, I believe he has not. <laughs> well, he said 270k <laughs> once. Okay, he did. Couple Brad words there. Told me the needle. I told him I like the needle when I play online. Like the last Hats with the min raise needle. from like the small line. Funny, like fun game. Great price there for Orpen. He the makes the call. Like needle away out there. I was like, well, dude. Ace then three rolls yeah. off, two spades. Good Interesting TV, situation too. here. Top TV. pair versus middle pair. <sighs> Carry coming with it. 170K, Don. That's a, that's a huge bet. How do you interpret this? I mean, Carry doesn't have the most chips. Flops top pair with an ace, just gonna look to try and get this in. Doesn't need to get cute, slow play anything. Corpin not the easiest spot here with middle pair. Does make the call. Wow. Big Pot Bruin considering Cats a stack size, 540 in the middle, and there's a 9 on the turn, giving Cats two pair. Well, been looking for a 10 only to win this hand at showdown. <coughs> Perfect spot for Cats to move all in here, Donnie. Disguise yeah. the sky's the strength of his hand a little bit. He's going to play Koi.
Orpen checks behind. That's plenty of showdown value Anything with the 10 there. The King on the river doesn't change a thing, but makes Orpen's pair look That's just a little effect. smaller. And you're not kidding. Yeah. Orpen, of course, happy to go to showdown here. Carry needs to do his own betting. Nice, nice, uh, nice thing. You like yeah. the diamonds? I'm holding the diamonds. All the the inside's engraved with the Star of David. Oh, beautiful. Comsa. Representing that Jewish community. Love it. Do you know Mike? Chase's best friend? Have you met Mike? Silverman? He's like an NBA uh, agent. Wow, very small bet there from Kerry. How do you like this, Donnie? Real cool, dude. Trying to just extract some sort of value. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Pretty intense stare from from Carrie. I think betting small here is fine. Hopefully get called by a ten, maybe get called by a three. Just hold on, I don't want to show this one. <laughs> Carrie coming with the speech play. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. By King Queen or something, I don't know. <coughs> you better hope it's, it's like a five. I guess King's good. Time. Oh, mm -hmm. pays it off. Carrie Katz shows two pair. Oh, yeah. Chips two up pair, very no nicely pair. and the trend Are continues. The chip leader gets smaller. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else gets <laughs> bigger. Queen, I'll just go home. And the field draws closer and closer together. So this final table <laughs> is getting more excited on, by the man, orbit. Just carry it. Just know how to do it, man. All right, bringing those beats. Let's get excited and look at the biggest career live cash of all these players. Alex Fox at the top of the count there, 4.5 million. Kerry Katz, 2.6 million. You can see the whole rest of the list here with Aram Oganyan, the smallest, biggest cash of the players at this table, sixth place in the WBT World Championship 25K in 2022 for 133K. He could eclipse his largest score by quite a bit today because the first prize in this event is $400,000. Lots of money on the line here today. And also, quick reminder here to check out PGT.com. We have live reporting going on right now of the 25K No Limit event you, number you seven. You me some chips back here, bro? Which is streaming tomorrow. I've Once he puts on chips in YouTube the pot, he forgets how to talk. Right? Hey, <laughs> smile. It's good enough. This is why he's high. You don't know, <coughs> got tunnel vision when you're high. Oganyan with a strong hand here, raising with the ace nine suited. That's why it's good for poker. Open in the small line with a tasty looking hand, but perhaps a bit uncomfortable to play there from the small line. Drink for you. It's a fusion of grapefruit and CBD. Wow. You got a sip. Well, my favorite is the wine flavor. That's right. I just signed these guys up for a commercial. Exactly. Guys are naturals. I'm even holding it. I think I'm gonna need a fucking job soon, so I'll well start selling. <laughs> Sam Sovereign going door to door with that day one beverage. Check out drinkday1.com if you want to check out one of our valued sponsors. And as you can tell, the players love it, so try it out if you want. It's like that upscale sparkling water with a little bit Let's of CBD fight. infusion. I want to be honest, I'm in there nice and tough right now. Let's fight. I'm just putting that out there. Oh, Sean sure Perry once again it, trying to bust nice himself enough. by playing mediocre holdings. King 6-5 rolls off the deck. Don't feel like he's learned from the 7-5. He, he he's has there, not, but... In there with a multi-way pot with 7-6 off. Somehow he flops almost perfect <laughs> for his hand. No hearts for Oganyan. Only a backdoor draw for Kisak Shioglu. Perry with the strongest hand, but of course, way? has to fade tons of overcards. So, yeah, what his plan is here is uh, a little uncertain, <laughs> Donnie. I can't predict what Sean Perry's going to do. Today in the chat says, these guys are at the final table of a 25k buy-in tournament. We in the chat are not allowed to critique their gameplay. Actually, you are allowed to critique hey, their gameplay. Say whatever you want. You say whatever you want, <laughs> but you might be wrong all the time, which is fine. Uh, I'm also wrong a lot, which is Don't cover the day. part of why poker is so one, no. wonderful. <laughs> wow. This is why I'll never be good be at chess, because chess is all about precision. In poker, at least there's some gambling going on, which is We're just taking a drinks. part of the fun. Fair deal. 
Orpin gonna take a stab here. I mean, this is the time for Sean Harry to become a hero. But he might have to be a hero on two streets. So we need more coolers. And more of them. More coolers? <laughs> one yeah, cool. put one at every table. I'm surprised you guys like them. Number, one on cool. each side of the room. Yeah. I don't know how they stock it. Is it a Vegas company? Uh, no, I think they're out of California. Fold immediately. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Perry does decide to try to make it to showdown here. Crazy hand. Crucial yeah. river card coming up for California. him. California. Los Angeles. Eight of hearts. Perry does have the best hand, but is Orpen going to put him at risk because Perry has less than a pot size left behind? What? I don't understand this. It says one day or day one, you decide. What does that mean? You got to drink like 30 of them to get it. That means, are you going to start <laughs> one day or is today day one? Oh, wow. Deep. <coughs> Very deep. Everyone Make today day one. Carry. Get started. Ready? Let's go. Mm. Millie Rock? About nine, nine and change. 940. About a Millie. Oh, Millie. How's that? I'll round to the nine. Very round intense yeah, spot here. Have nine rounds up going to Millie. go for this. I don't see how he can think that he has any other chance to win other than betting. Over there we go. There, there it is. Sam got 500. Big move. Because actually puts Sean Perry all in. And now we're going to find out if Mr. Chatty it's all is going to figure it out. You put him all in. He's busted before. Like first. That was a bad thing. the universe. If you enjoy the content, smash that like button. We're going to be here all day today. Yeah, I've, been, I've, had, you know, I've had half the chips. I've gone out first before. <laughs> if Schumpert could find a call here, that's pretty impressive, Donnie. It would be pretty impressive, yes. Unless it's about Perry. Man, I feel like donating some money in you here, man. Are you starting to believe in magic? <laughs> man, uh, I believe in the manifesting stuff, because when uh, Ed won the trophy, I swear to God, I, I sat down at the table, and I looked at him, and I had a picture of him holding the, tr the Poker, cup, co Poker Go Cup trophy. And I'm like, why am I having He makes picture? the call. Look at this. Wow! Sean Perry with the double up. Ladies and gentlemen, can he really play? I was calling the turn. So can this man play the game? I need to start playing. Yeah. That's for all the chicas out there, man. Your boy's in here thinking. I put on my thinking <laughs> pants right there. <coughs> all I'm thinking is you, you make a wrong boy decision. <laughs> You're going to be What's so tilted. I need to start folding. <laughs> man, dude, I'm in there nice. I told you guys, I'm in there nice and tough, dude. Nice and fucking tough. Makes the call, and Sean Perry is not going to get quieter. He's only going to get louder. Perry. More talking chips for Perry. You better adjust your set because it might get rowdy in here. I don't want to really hear great call there for Perry. Bro, yes, you, call gotta, out. you were fucking there sweating with two pair, dude. Tell me you're going to fold. If I had two pair, I'm ready to fucking raise on you. You know what I mean? Put all my money in. I see. You just put all your money in with two pair. Yeah, if you got the queen, you got the queen. You know what I'm saying? When you had the straight. But two pair is a big hand. Yeah, but Sean, you don't bluff once the river comes. Bro, I didn't bluff because I knew you were calling me, dude. <laughs> I wasn't, though. Bro, you think I get to these final tables by not knowing on what's going on with the tournament? You know what I mean? I'm in people's heads. You see what I did to Phil Hummings yesterday? You saw what I did And then I got him to call you see what I did with Phil Bro, it's because I was in I his head, him. bro. I, because I got in his head for you. <laughs> <laughs> I got him, I dude, so. I got Phil Hummings to call off all way. in on the turn <laughs> yeah, with Queen High. Going, he had a straight gutter. He had Queen High. No, I think the best part about it is after he called and then lost, he was like, good hand, man. Then he walked over to your guys' table. He's like, man, these guys suck. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, all I know is, man, the world's greatest so these kids back no in these idea tournaments, baby. After putting in queen high. Call off queen high for yeah, he literally called off like 20%. <laughs> just dead. <laughs> Donnie, give us some... Like, between all the banter at the table, <laughs> give us some like, more like, on what played, played out last night because you were there firsthand to watch the Phil Helmut experience because he had like a complete meltdown in the studio. What's up? Yeah, I mean, he sat down, I did, I did, he took a uh, seat next to well. Jason Kuhn. When he called a flop, I was like, what would be a good card? Our audience four. will know and that Jason Kuhn so recently beat before. Phil Hamid Speaking for $1.6 million dollars on high stakes duel. You got a man. Hamid made a We're comment a about sitting next to Jason we Kuhn. Everything. It's quantum. Um, or quantum. Uh, Sean Perry then sat at the table, happens. heard this, <laughs> and wanted to challenge yeah, I guess you could see Phil Hamid for $1.6 million. It could go the other way. After a little bit of back and forth, Hamid said, you know what, kid? You're not on my level. Wow. 
you know, don't, don't, I don't want to play you. I just want to play poker today and, and put his headphones on and was saying that, you know, could you just let me be, that sort of stuff. Now we're all broke. <laughs> you never have six Perry in so. typical Perry fashion day, kept yeah. going. <laughs> Donnie's story will continue after this as we have more from that Sean Perry versus Phil Helmy's verbal battle. Here at the final table, chip counts presented by Hair Club. The field is as close as it can be after Orban Gisakshioglu has lost 1.7 million chips here in the first hour. The other players are chipping up. Sam Sovereau still our short stack with just nine big blinds. Honestly, it's been an entertaining final table. It's been a little bit controversial perhaps in the amount of profanity that Sean Perry has been using up until this point, but I can only imagine this is going to get worse as Perry just doubled up again and now sits on 32 big blinds. It's been one heck of a final table so far. Please let us know in the chat who you are rooting for or leave a comment down below with how you, much you're enjoying the action here. Or perhaps you're not a fan of Sean Perry, which is also possible. Sam ain't here long, so don't worry about it. Just pitch him a couple cards and he's out. I feel like I'm busting Mr. Solver all this hand. So yeah, Perry kept going last night, and uh, Helmy dropped about 30 F-bombs, maybe 40, 50. Oh, uh, yeah. At one point, he... Uh, said to the floor that at the World Series of Poker, they, they protect me that. from people <laughs> saying my name. Which wow. <laughs> Seems like a bit of a crazy comment to make, but when I call it, it is what it is. Like and then, uh, but when I, when I dig off the money, you guys all have something to say. He ended up going Perfect broke with Queen High. He limped under the gun. Queen Jack of Diamonds. Turn a nine and you a ROM you see at this <laughs> final table limped behind with King <laughs> Nine. <laughs> uh, flop came nine high. Helmut no Chuck called 35k, leaving himself with 105k. I would have celebrated. Honestly, I would have celebrated. Big blind was 20k at the time. Show, but I don't wow. know you well, so. And uh, I didn't do that to you because I don't turn know breaks off. Helmut Chuck calls right. all in, and ended up well, busting. Then and then went over to the other table and proceeded to tell Daniel Negreanu and others how bad all these players play in the training. I think you did enough. Celebration. I'm usually a good winner, but I'm a very bad, very loser. bad loser. If that makes sense. No, like kind of bad at both. Like one two five. <laughs> or no, no, I'm saying I'm a good loser, but I'm a good bad winner. Mm. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Like I'll sit there and needle people, but when I lose, I'm never rude to anyone. I'm always like, hey, like nice hand, like good job. Oh, wow. Oh, just get that it in, boys. That was very quick here. Alex oh, Foxen versus scam. Sam Soverell. Once again, the short had, stack with I the best have, hand. I think I have to fold that. I seven, think I have nine in diamonds. There might be a misdeal here. I might have to just put it. No, I can't put it. He has to call. I swear, I think I had the nine of diamonds. Good luck, gentlemen. Wow, here we go. Jack 10-6 oh. rolls oh. off on the flop. Play. Sam Soverell hits the yeah. jack. Can we? Can I check and is in cards? a great I spot here to double up again. Foxen with some outs. Hey, okay. King of right, King right, Diamonds King's on the turn is going to generate some of those. Nine yeah, outs now. Uh, eight, eight, eight would be eight or seven would be a lot better. Yeah, I mean, you queen. also got the diamond. Yeah. Well, I, I'll, I'll chop. Would you yeah. say just the queen? Chop, chop is good. All right, just the queen. River card. Oh King my God. of Spades. King spade. Freaking. Sam Soverell with the double up, up to almost 700K. And once again, six handed play continues. No man. He's a Sith Lord. They don't have emotions. Sam, when are we going to get motions <laughs> out of you, bro? Yeah, why don't you ride in the bowl? You got a man of a, a jerk fist pump. Not too happy to see that showdown. <laughs> this guy doesn't lose all in. No one loses all in. <sighs> Someone's got to lose the all in. True statement there from Oganyan. Yeah. There's 50 them. players in this event. Sacks, the shorties. The average stack currently 1.2 million, bro, 24 big blinds. You know um, Donnie, we're, we're about halfway oh, there to a similar spot as we had in event number one where <laughs> nobody was busting I'm out in the first two five, hours. Seven again, I promise you. Oh, my fucking short stack, though? This is absurd. <laughs> Alex Fox <laughs> is not the short stack. Kerry Katz and Sam Solver will still have fewer than him. Are we at 50k big blind? For Fox, though, it might feel like the short stack given how his day has been going. Foxen, by the way, is still up a whole 5,000 chips on the day. Good fold, Sean. I would have opened, but since you said good fold, I've raised. Raised 100,000. Sovereign remaining disciplined, not getting out of line. Quickly folding that queen four hand. The hand. <laughs> The hand that Helmy played against, I believe it was Alex Foxen last year at the Poker Cup. Yep. And uh, 
Didn't Alex Foxen say to you or to someone else that he actually regretted not sounding off on Helmuth when he... Uh, he was talking to uh, our guy Brent Hanks, saying he kind of regretted it in the aftermath that he didn't just go off on him because those opportunities don't present themselves too often. You know, you often Bowling see game sweat. other people dealing with Phil Helmuth's wrath you give him a sweat. at times. But Foxen also did say, you know, the antics and the play kind of yeah. spoke for itself <laughs> to the audience out there, you know. That hand, of course, you can find if you look on. If you search Phil Helmut Queen 4 on YouTube, oh, you'll be able to find it. I don't it. think that should be allowed. I mean, showing the other player his card. I'm not in the hand. It doesn't matter. I won't do it no more. He just asked. And no, but I mean, we are playing a serious game like it. Okay, we won't, we won't do it or again. Sorry. Enough. Truthfully, yeah. <laughs> you, I, you probably don't want me seeing your cards anyway against Foxen because he's only got the best me my whole life. He just looks at me and knows if whether I have it or not. And there's a limit of. Yes, we on the bubble. Sure. On one table, Sean Perry was very short. On the other table, Daniel Negron was very short, and they're kind of yelling back and forth, having fun. But Perry kind of took it up, new levels. You know, he'd he'd yell out, "Daniel, I'm folding an ace," <laughs> and fold his hand. Like he constantly just yelling and like talking about what he was folding over and over again. It was, a pretty, it was wild stuff. <laughs> Damn, what are you even pumping inside here, bro? <laughs> Holy shit! Chicken and waffles, man. You're eating chicken and waffles and look like that now? Protein and carbs. Very simple. All I eat is chicken and waffles. Sam Solo has been looking pretty big. He said he works out seven days a week. That's Usually a lot. after he plays in the tournament. Wow. See, I can only work out in the morning. If I don't do it first thing in the morning, well, it's he, not he's happening. Still, he's still a young guy. So, you know, yeah. they, I when I was his age, I used <laughs> to work out in the middle of the night, too. Like, that's what I would do. Oh, my God. But then you get older, and it's like... Okay, we get, I'm going to wake up at 4 in the morning probably. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then i got to work out at like 6 and get on with my day. And then I'll try and be in bed by, you know, 9.30. Exactly. Uh, action here between Oganyan and Foxen. We're going to see a river card. Foxen in an amazing spot here to rig in some serious chips, especially if a spade were to pop off. Oganyan drawing dead here heading into the river. Oh, and there it is. Spade on the river. Let's recap this hand real quick. Oganyan raised, the f raised before the flop to 100K. Foxen called the big blind. Then Foxen check called 50k on the flop. He check called 180k on the turn. And now, checking again on the river as Oganyan hits his flush. Foxen with the full house. This could get painful. The chat is already predicting a Foxen double up. By the way, thanks chat. Thanks for chiming in. Let us know where you're watching from. What the weather is. What are you eating and drinking? 260. We'd love to get to know you. 260 is the bet from Oganyan. A little more than a min raise here for Foxen to move all in. Fox is taking his time using a Time extension chip to perhaps convince Oganyan that when he decides to check his all in, that he doesn't have him crushed. I mean, Foxen is an extremely creative player. Doesn't have to be doing it with the with a full house. Oganyan, of course, has the nut flush, making it even harder for him to perhaps find a hand that Foxen could do this with. we got Jason Toy in the chat, says, really enjoying the table talk and commentary from Vienna, Austria. Thanks for chiming in, my friend. I appreciate it. Foxen really using his time. 585. It's 585. Check. All but 5K. Check so, how much, can you pull it in? How much more is it? It's, it's 325 more. Dealer carry over there. Coming with the count. What? 585? So how much more is it though? I want to know how much more it is. It's 325 more. Well, Ganyan, not too pleased with this, but... 
Trying to, trying to think of any hand that he could shove with here, Donnie. Donnie, is this, is this an easy fold here with the queen high flush? Yeah, carry sharp with the math. I don't think it's an easy fold because it's Alex Foxen. Oh, makes the call. There's the call. Full double up for Alex Foxen, just oh, shy of man. one 5k chip. But of course, rakes in that extra blind money as well. Fuck, bro, you shouldn't have shown me the cards. I told you Foxen, all he does is ravage me nonstop. I think if I'm calling there, I would put Foxen all in just for the chance that I could eliminate him. Wow, yeah. I know fair. it's only one 5k chip, but you could spin that up. Very fair here. Updated final table chip counts presented by Hair Club. Alex Foxen was shaking his head about two hands ago about how short he had gotten. And now all of a sudden, he is second in chips. Basically tied with Orpen for the chip lead. Sean Perry, 1.3 million. Sam Sovereil and, and Aram Oganyan at the bottom of the counts. Still anyone's game here at this event six final table, by the way. 25k buy-in. 400k up for grabs for the winner. This is exciting, guys. We're going to see lots of all-ins. And is he really eating chicken and waffles? That's why. <laughs> Probably, where, yeah. Where could he have ordered that from? No, but I'm like, Probably uh, Salt and Ivy. Can we get that too? Maybe, uh, but you probably don't want They close at 2 p.m. Know. Come on. Uh, I started that ham with around 900. Come on. So I, I need a menu. I need a, I need to order some food. Or yeah, one, one, eight, one eight seven five something like that. One nine. Nice, nice turn. Nice river. Well, nice river. Because that's what both, that's what got him paid. Nice Spurs, Spurs talk show is asking, "Is this live?" Yes, we are live right now from the PokerGo studio in Las Vegas. Just on a short yeah, delay for the degree of the game, but uh, we are live. We haven't asked. Uh, what, what, what's the weather so where everyone's at? Yeah, I just let's asked. Go. I oh. just asked about the weather. Well, let's see. We've got some weather reports. Yeah, let's go. Get the weather in there. Danny Location, weather, beverage. That's our deal. Come on. Danny Martin says, been snowing for four yeah, days straight in Atlantic, 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 Atlantic Canada. King Spaghetti you know says, playing, YouTube Poker Chat combined IQ of 10. Uh, well, King, if you leave, then maybe the number goes up a little bit. On 950 or something. Hey yo! For those saying that that was a slow roll, I don't think that that was a slow roll on either behalf. I mean, Foxen's trying to get paid off. You know, he's not Gold. slow rolling. And then, Gold. if you think it's a slow roll for, I mean, a Ganyan to call there, I mean, to pair board in a tough spot. I mean, both the fold. Bro, look at, look at this situation. Have, I mean, it's like you put 200k. Terry Cat's like getting a great price here. Have the nut flush. To see the flop. Your math's a little off there, but I just said I had 1.9. How, how would it be 200 to win? So even better, two. And it was three. It was 300 as well. 300 to win one point. I was close. You know what I mean? Whatever. Proportionally, I was the same. Yeah. You go. Four, four way action. Four -way action. <laughs> we don't see six this players at the table. We don't see this oftentimes at our final tables. Good luck, Alex. Thank you. Ace, queen, <laughs> jack, all clubs. The nine of clubs from Fox and in the lead. As far as flush draws go, but Orpin, of course, I'm which sure taught two now, pair. Just like that. That's why I should fold. Chip leader out. I, I don't think I was ever chip leader. That's it. But yeah, slow roll is when you're closing the action with your decision and you have the best possible hand. Foxen was not Open closing the action. You should just ripped it right down their fucking throats, bro. Pre flop? Yeah. Look at what I seven off. Yeah, you pr put pressure, bro. You, no one wants to get eliminated. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so we've gone a long time with no one. These usually final tables go quick. No Lots one's of people good for TV. hating on their hometown weather. I started with no bigs. Raining in Amsterdam. Bigs. South Florida in the house. Brian Smith, thanks for watching. 75 degrees. See, I would love some 75 degree weather. Oh, yeah. Foxen makes the call, getting a really good price here. Snowing in the UK. Eight of diamonds on the turn. Foxen's flush draw is live. Fred says, Kalamazoo, low 40s with an RC Cola. Crusion in RC Cola. What is that? Crusion rum. Oh, we're living. Yeah. Little afternoon bevy. Fred's living, man. Don't hate it. God. 50 in Boston, 7 Celsius in Nova Scotia. What's that in Fahrenheit? That's about 48. There you go. Minus 1 in Glasgow. Good lord. 200K is the bet from Orpen, and he takes this one down. 
Who do you th who do you guys think is gonna win this thing? I mean, Orpen has not had a, nice a good day so Thank far. Oganyan has tumbled down the standings. Is Sean Perry, Perry really gonna pull this off? Way more than I was planning to win. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a big pot. Orpen's yeah. VPIP 50%, preflop raising 36%, yeah. three betting 11%. So. Hasn't been shy to put chips in, and we just haven't seen it work out. 60, and I fold on the plot. For him today. Yeah, he found the right side. But he's still healthy. He's still the chip leader. Well, you have seven clubs. Or the wrong side. John Johnson answered correctly. Norman, Oklahoma, 63 degrees, sunny. Two nines? He even put the wind in there. 34 mile an hour wind southwest. Oh, my God. And he's drinking a Dr. Pepper. There we go. Wow. Love to see it. No, I called 50, but I would have folded to 60. Fox and getting lots of support Orpen in the chat. The size. Paulo Nunez says 100 degrees in Rio. Wow. Wow. That's brutal. I have a feeling Sam's going to eliminate his hand. <laughs> Sovereign to cost a sweater. <laughs> Looks a lot right. less intimidating, I must say. <laughs> This pump for that. I mean, there's right. two. There's two famous soft drinks I've never had before. I think we're gonna he's got a, I've never he's had got Dr Pepper and I've never had Mountain Dew. Lip. He's got some. Wow. Never even tried it. Dr Pepper's pretty great. I mean, I, I haven't had soda in, in several years, but I used to love me some Dr Pepper. Is it the same as Cherry Coke? No. I thought Five it was like a like a cherry flavor drink. Come on, Carrie. What small Dr. Pepper special. what, 13 flavors? Some of those? Really? That's I think the, like, <coughs> like their tagline or something like that. Oh. See, I'm on way off on my sodas. Meanwhile, Sovereil raises to basically put himself at risk oh, after Sean oh, Perry wow, said, you're going to bust on this <laughs> hand. <laughs> and here comes Carrie Cass with pocket <laughs> queens. Do I just know it or what? It's 23 <laughs> flavors for Dr. Pepper, by the way. Well, I was off my <laughs> Do I just know it or do I know it every time? Do I just, Carrie, I'm, Sam's going to get eliminated and Carrie's going to get the small blind special. Well... The and flavor how I win all the that Sam Sovereign is looking for man. right now <laughs> is an ace. I don't think you should admit that. <laughs> Sam Sovereign at risk. 1.4 million in the middle. Massive spot hit for both oh players. 7-7-9 seven, seven, rolls off. Sean the Perry trip, in the midst of his lunch. <laughs> he even that care. is chicken and waffles indeed with some fruit nah, on the you side. Gotta get, you got a good sweat though, Sam. Has five outs here. Four on the turn. Not Cats so eliminating some good. outs here with the club. It's Sean Perry. Bad, just one, one less though. Doesn't Nine, even seven, bother seven. to look. <laughs> you got a nine, eight. I mean, it usually comes when that happens. Is it going to come? Oh. No, it is not. Turn was bad for you. That's Carrie weird, Katz Sean. sends. Carrie. That's just Sam Sovereign to the think rail. I do it? Again. <laughs> That's How do you think I do it? I just know. Sam's getting eliminated from Mr. <laughs> Small Boy. That's just a for Mr. Sovereign. <laughs> Well, he goes like back to his. Poker. I gotta leave now. Is it chicken well. and waffles? I gotta yeah, leave yeah. now, he says. Yeah, we, we like you. Yeah, we like you. My waffle, man. You don't have to leave, but you can't stay <laughs> here. <laughs> no, we definitely got to hang because when I get that, it's you the curse leave, you order food. Oh yeah, for sure. Once you order food, I mean, you know see less people, your chance you know I mean? of busting goes way up. Sam doesn't care. He'd rather uh, he'd rather just finish his meal. Here's a look at Kerry Katz, 12th on Poker's all-time money list. His largest score to date, first in the Super High Rollerball London a couple years ago. I might get eliminated this hand. Let's see. Matthew Green said, glad to hear I'm not the only one having an afternoon beverage. Wow, isn't that insane how I just 8 degrees Celsius in Vancouver today. 40% chance of showers. I'm going to get fit. Perfect day to enjoy Poker Grow with an old match I want to bet every dollar that I'm not getting fifth place. Well, that would be a bad bet for me because... Because then he would just play super tight. Well, if there's some accurate odds that you control those odds. I want to bet that I make it further than you, man. That we can bet. Well, I'll bet I make it further than all of you. All right, let's go, yeah, bro. You would take that. I think we're kind of all betting that we make it further than each other, aren't we? Not really, yeah. because we already put our money in. If there was a cash up button, I would have hit it a long time ago. Yeah. I'm here to play with you guys. I got no chip, man. You shouldn't be afraid. Sean Perry, look at that cash yeah, out button. Does matter now? Because Shioglu attacks his big blind. Shall leave in there. <laughs> I actually thought you. No, I, I thought you can have like. Yeah. You have nines ever? RL from Chatsville. Mm -hmm. A van down by the river drinking Tito's and cranberry so juice. Fine. But what's the weather? The Come on. I thought you'd be Stick like a to the plan here. Have Ace King, but maybe not. No, I wouldn't. Location, yeah, weather, beverage. <laughs> LWB. One that I Damn, Kerry. <laughs> wow. I bet you never thought you were losing that all in, right? 
Joe Hirschman, 85 like, degrees in Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Sounds amazing. Oh, even awesome. when I told you I was going to have now getting kind of short here. That's what I get. Trying to steal the blinds. My first attempt to steal the blinds. Just get around it. Yeah, no. Good steal, just wrong spot. Just bad nice queen of spades bad, for bad carry cats. Steal, man. That's why I threw him. I let the manifestor sweat it. That was bad too. Right. User anonymous. That's like AOL chat back in the day. ASL. Yes, that's the whole point. <laughs> LWB here. Jason Parker says, enough. "Who do you want to see go heads up? Foxen versus Perry would be a fun one. I yeah, think I agree. Both, yeah. I think Foxen versus Perry might be." The funniest heads up battle here between Maybe these two just because of their banter. And here's Sean Perry again, so much king. potentially getting sucked into playing Maybe a hand a that could get him into trouble. Maybe. Gives it up. Cold, huh? Wow. No, you have no idea. <laughs> my first open has got to be a little scary. Oh, Oganyan potentially in trouble here as well. As Kerry Katz is stating that <laughs> this is his first raise, and Oganyan moves all in from the big oh, no, line for 645k. Thirty. It's only it's 13 30. big blinds. All right, yeah, I should call. see a just call. Just call. Oh, Makes wow, the call. Yeah. yeah, you're in trouble. In trouble oh, indeed. Carrie Katz dominating Oganyan. What the heck? And Karen? we might see two quick eliminations here. Man, I just knew big hands. I had king seven of spades there, and I folded. Oh, spades. That's king seven of spades. All right, let's just, that stick a, let's just stick a queen out there. I think Carrie Katz just I've been. asking for a queen. Four, five, four, four. Massive I'd, implications I'd here also, in this hand. Let's see the flop. Jack 10-4. Oh, man. Oganyan hits so don't it. Don't put a king. And Cat's now looking for a king old. or a That's queen. It, if he hits it, you want a nine. We do know that Perry folded ace, the king of spades. So. Oh, Ten of oh, spades on the turn. Now just four outs. You like that card Only now. the kings. I don't know yet. Now just put a king. I don't know yet. <laughs> Now Rough I like if a queen comes. For Kerry right. Katz here, unless he gets help on the river. River card. Mm. Eight of diamonds. Oganyan with the double up. Kerry Katz all of a sudden are short stacked down to 18 big blinds. Oganyan uh, was in trouble there for a yeah, bit, but <laughs> back up to 1.4 <laughs> <laughs> million. Kerry, I pointed out his dirty stack for you. He said, make sure you get He's like, you got a dirty stack here. Kerry Katz with a little bit of run bad all week on these final tables. I wouldn't feel on that one. Hmm? I wouldn't feel on that one. No? Uh, maybe that was the problem. I'll, you got to have, have the positive the energy. No, I, I you got to feel it. Because Sean, Sean seemed like he didn't say anything. Oh, he said he folded a king, though. King seven of spades, man. Wow. I just felt it. I knew I wouldn't have the winner. Lucky AO. Sometimes AO can get lucky. Some heavy breathing there going on. Yeah. You got like nine now? I won five. Change. Point four? Hit? Yeah. Um, two point four. Yeah. Five left. And you fucked me Event number six of the bro. Poker Girl Cup. $400,000 up top. One million. What do I have? I think I got what I started the day with. Four pin. Kiss at Chicago five. picks up King Queen off here. You know it's on you, right? Mm -hmm. he, he always does. He, you know, takes his time. I just don't want you to have another time. Methodical with it. Comes in with a raise, 100k. 1.2, 1.3. I got like 1.4. Yeah, Oganyan chipping up really nicely. Kasak Shoglu coming in for the raise. By the way, if you're just tuning in, we're doing a full final table stream live until we get down to a winner. Donnie just mentioned it, 400k up top. Bang, bang. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I think we hit 1,000 <laughs> likes on yesterday's video. Whoa. We're not even close right now. We're at 380. Let's go, can people. We, can come we, on. Can we at least hit 500 likes? We've already decided we're doing the whole stream. Just smash that like button. And what it does is it shows other people can that this stream is going on right place? now. So we're just trying to spread the word here. 1.72. Spread the word, spread the love. Three bet here from Alex Fox and kicks it up to 350K. Can I see the Din Tai Fung menu, please? Maybe some dumplings coming Sean Perry's way. Yeah, I don't think they have chicken and waffles. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> Orpin going to make the call here in position. Wow. <coughs> These two are pretty deep, the two chip leaders. Big Orpin started this hand 48 big blinds, Foxen on 35. Deuce, deuce four, favoring Foxen here. Got shot and ace high, well in the lead. Not an easy spot to play though, knowing that there's so many shorter stacks at this table. I guess I can't lose all in pre. If What's my, up? If my turning life's on the line, I can't lose all in pre as long as you're to my right. Because, you know, I get in, I got the. I'm mean, hearing this. Oh, wow. Hearing the hearing. support is rolling in so up to 600 on? likes. Hmm? Love to see it. Line. Let's hit 1,000. Okay, yeah, we should. Oh, come we on. Should be, we should be able to hit 1,000 today. Oh, you ball? Let's mm -hmm. go. Let's Fox bets 125. Yeah, all the time. Let's go play today. How many threes can you make out of 100? Cheers. Oh, I'm pretty good. I, I, in my prime, 88. You used to make 88 at 100. High school. Yeah. Get the f get out of here, bro. <laughs> I wish I had my phone. I'll show you some shit. <laughs> bro, I don't believe you. I'm super nice. <laughs> like right now, probably like 80, easy. I bet you can't hit 80 at 100. Let's do it. How about this? I'll let you hit 78 at 100. I bet you can't do it. <clears throat> um, what do you do? It's close because I haven't played like uh, all week. Kisak Shoglu makes the call. Seven of spades in the turn. Ace high still in the lead. How many tries do I get? Just Let's see if Kisak yeah. Shoglu I mean, wants to take the initiative here if Fox and decides to check. I don't know. You're going to bet me too high, Val. I'm going to be nervous. <laughs> I'll bet you whatever you want to bet, bro. <laughs> Not sure how much. High school threes, right? Showdown yeah, Valley Orphan gives yeah. his hand, or if you he's go planning to take it spot. away on a later street. Showdown. I don't want to take your money. And I'll take you to 24 hour fitness. I think the hoops are a little wider there. Uh, I don't want to take your money. Trust me, I would win. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'll let Boxing you win, bro. Continue, take but he continues mind, with bro. a small bet. I like you. All right, 275K. All right, we'll be quiet. Comparian. Yeah. If I take him out. Ogonyan discussing a basketball prop bet. <laughs> Ogonyan claiming he can shoot 70 or shoot 80 out of 100 threes from the high school three-point line. Of course I can. Call. Seems like a hard thing to do. Call. Snap call. Oh, I'm down to go with It's like 5K. Orpin lays it down, and Foxen with a really, really nice chip up. And for the first time since the start of this final table, we got ourselves a new chip leader, two-time GPI player of the year. Alex Foxen is now our new chip leader with 2.3 million chips. And here's a look at the PGT Championship $1 million free roll. The top 40 players will play in that million dollar free roll along with select Dream Seed winners. Stay tuned for that. We're going to announce how you can win those Dream Seeds. So stay tuned to all of Poker Go on social media to find out about the Dream Seeds. But yeah, million dollar free roll coming to you in December 2023. We're streaming that as well for free right here on YouTube. So subscribe to our like YouTube channel the last to stay in the know in Dubai, on everything the that we are doing. Dubai I think we'll have an announcement on the first dream seat like this week. Oh, oh, oh that's it'll, cool. It'll be Damn. Yeah, next week for sure. Well, we're likely going to push something out this week, so stay tuned, as Remco said. If anything oh, comes Basel? out in the next oh, day or so, yeah. we'll, we'll for sure talk my about it on the stream. Like, bro, I fly, Beautiful. Uh, Emirates. They have this Emirates first class, bro. The, mm -hmm. It's so nice. It's, it's like a full bed. You get unlimited caviar. Dom Pierce at like 20000 a flight. But That's a lot. I have a, I I have a connection. I don't spending money on I have a connect. Oh, I, only, I'm sick. I have a bad back. So you do? Only I have a connection to where I get it for like the flight for about 7000 one way. But it's like supposed to be like 24 k or some shit like that. Damn. So I get super cheap. Cats and Foxen battling but here in the blinds. Foxen dominated here. But the initiative is usually all that he needs to figure out his opponent. Well, I'll pay my share, bro. I'm always, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care who Cats the short stack, jack, 10, 3, two spades. But still, I mean. just tells my roommate to come and like bring all these like hot girls. I remember bringing bring like 10 models. Well, you know, it was no, no one's better at getting the girls than me. Ogonian and Perry, later, clearly not aware they're mic'd up for this final <laughs> table, but hey, we'll sickle. listen in. I love that kid. You guys do your thing. Oh, he's a, he's a promoter, right? So he just, yeah. yeah. He does it all, yeah. Yeah, I'll come out, I'll come out and hang out with you guys. What are you going to, you're going to Miami right now? I'm supposed to fly out. I haven't booked Fox about 75K. I have a hotel already. Well, let's, let's ball after this. Tough, Tough sledding team. for Kerry Katz, who is going to see the turn, even though he has the best hand. Like Getting to showdown in this situation versus someone like Alex Foxen, extremely complicated. So like, you want to go on trips and stuff? What's the point? No, just have fun. Uh -huh. Bro, I've last one month I've been celibate. You're, you're <laughs> not going to want to be celibate on this trip. That's not true, bro. Trust me. I mean, 
He was going to say no if like a super hot model. If you like, bet like on you. Sean yeah. Perry talking about his celibacy <laughs> on this live stream, you can cash that plus 1,200 ticket right now at your local sports book. with all these girls and hanging out with all these models and stuff. And like, bro, I was even going to sell my house and get a mansion and do a content house. So basically, an OnlyFans house, let all the oh, yeah. turn the rooms and certain things. Like Fox and Bets 135K. And as I no, no, no. predicted, I tough for Kerry Cass to continue and there. Turn one room into a just a high. One room into a flower. Like basically make it themes. Like girls come and film content for free. I want to provide a chef, hairstylist, and nail salon just to be around the pretty girls. This guy is out of control. Mm. That been like just that's what was that's where I was headed in my life. I was like, I'm just going to take my money and. Basically, be a homie to you're, all the people out there. You're trying to be uh, the Las because, Vegas Hugh because Pepper. when they're around me, they like me. You're trying That's to be the last happening. Vegas but Pepper. the thing is, uh, I'm done with that stuff. Yeah. He's celibate, guys. Please. But keep, I've keep been going very found love. Because the problem is when you're hooking up with these girls, it's just like they're so hot, they're so fun, and it like takes your oh, like your vision away from the attractive chicks. I mean, from the good girls. Because like the truth is, like obviously these only girls, they're just way hotter. You know what I mean? They're way more fun than the normal chicks. It's just so easy, dude. Time. It's so easy for only like girls. models. Oh well, these only fingers, girls, like these they just make all the money, only bro. They make a hundred thousand. They make a hundred thousand a month pretty easily. They're like, uh, like the way they view life versus like a regular model girl. Like I think we're like good girls. Well, the regular like, model girls I feel like are more hoey because they have to sleep around to make it. If that makes sense, the only thing girls say fuck off to everyone because now they're their own business. Yeah, you know what I mean, they don't need but, to do anything. But like their whole no life, filter. Like their mentality is yep, like, no filter. Well. Which is like a model girl, just like well, I want to model. I'm trying to, wanna, I kind of want to be a good person. Fox in here opens it up on the button seven and, uh, six off. Fox and what the chips say, leads. Gonna make bread. But those He's gonna be action. Girls, like that's for sure. Dollar sign thing. Yeah, Fox has been raising up models, yeah, that's every true, single hand since he got the chip lead. Yes, you're right. That's what I know. Because like Shoglu, not gonna let him. Just be run <laughs> over, and uh, there you go. Good Little spot. free bet to set things oh, straight. Yeah, spot there for Orpin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. a bad hand to do it. Yeah, you know, yeah. that king helps him block some holding the Big, Foxen. strong, cocky man. Big of course, Foxen That was more of a thrust Yeah, I just, no raised, I just raised folded. <laughs> Baked Alaska says, this is what <laughs> caused Helmut to snap. Don't forget no Yeah, I mean, we got a pretty good insight into how. It was way worse. Because <laughs> he was just going sorry, straight guys. at Helmut. Like, it's not like Perry was just talking and Helmut was annoyed with Perry just chatting with the table. No, he was going at Helmy. But, you know, the way Phil acts, oftentimes he invites that stuff. I mean, he runs around saying that he's the best player in the world, and then a young kid wanted to play him for 1.6 million, and... You have 1 million? <coughs> well, oh, no, you got more. Oh, Ganya makes, makes it 100k to go. 1.3. It'd be funny if Perry and Oganyan were battling post-flop again. We... Definitely saw that backfire for Sean Perry the last time they tried. Oh, there we go. Potential trouble brewing here for Sean Perry, who is a self-proclaimed terrible post-flop player. He's much better at just getting it in. Oh, Ganyan like, slams this flop real hard. Fifty thousand, sorry. Wrong tip. Perry lets this one go. Shows the top two. Super nuts. I had super nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure when I have all that, how the hell can you have any of it? You should have checked. No. No? Oh. <coughs> I had too good. I bet it. But yeah, that's what I was gonna do, bro. Hope for the best. I was just gonna do a little OnlyFans house. Yeah, no. I even I, put my house in the market. I was market talking to a girl who it. told me she makes like a million a year off OnlyFans last year, and she just bought a house in Marina Del Rey and she's doing like a content house. Oh well, she's doing some. Yeah, content house is different. Like, well, she like she lives there, but she also and she lends it out to people and stuff. Yeah, no, I wasn't. She wants doing to like have roommates and like that. Yeah, and content. Con exactly. And she content. keeps a percentage of whatever they make. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's she how that's how those content creators. My friends were telling me because I've been a lot of friends in this industry, and they're like, "Yo, that's what you should do. You should do a content house." And I was like, "Bro, I'm not trying to make any money. I'm trying to provide a place where all these girls can come, and basically get the best experience for free." But I'm done with it. Now I'm a basketball coach, bro. He's moved on, ladies and gentlemen. He is now a volunteer I love, I love high school, school basketball, basketball coach, at a Jewish private school. Could you imagine if, if your kid was at that high school where he's the coach so and you're happening to like poke when you're watching this? Oh my God. I cannot. There you go. <laughs>
Well, we took different paths. Snap, we'll pull your kid out of that school, life, off man. the team. That's, that's surprising <laughs> to you. Oh, you want to be retired young and just your kid's sports coach? Yeah. Yeah, and just happily marry your wife, the team mom. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. Sounds dope. So I basically achieved everything I need to achieve, just except finding the girl part. So that's why I decided to stop hooking up with girls. Part. What's up? That might be the hardest part. You it know, is, for sure. It's your simulation, man. Play the game however you want. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Honestly, just there's no girls at all that want to be around me, period. So that's that's the issue. Man. Maybe they think why. you're like cringe or something. Dude, you... <laughs> you felt it? Who did you feel like had the biggest hand? Me, him, or him? <laughs> I heard <clears throat> I heard Sean Winter whistling in my beer. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Fold. I think he's just waiting for the five minute mark. So the. Sean Perry hand. wakes up with a real hand after crack cracking some jokes. I believe he had not looked Alex at his cards yet. yet. Well, Puts on a serious face. Decent spot for you. As he finds pocket tens. It's great for race. It's best for me. I think you'd rather be under a gun. Perry raises. Oh! oh here we go. Here comes the cooler, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> watch this, uh, watch this oh, demeanor change when he looks at his cards. Watch carefully. Under, yeah, you're right. Under the gun is, uh, is best. How much did he Carry did it. 900. Good job. 900? Sean Perry started the hand with 18 big blinds. Oh, blind increase. That worked out good. Especially if they draw one hand. Comes in for a three bet. 8 7 off for Fox and <laughs> just Hollywooding. Just messing around here with a little stare down. All right, how many hands, Paul? Oh, yeah. Oganyan applying the pressure on Perry. Perry, meanwhile, probably thinking this is my chance. To go for the big one. All in. All in. There we All go. Cool. Oganya makes the call. Like cooler. I put that out to Sean in the universe. There we go. Sorry, Sean. Oh, you even, even got your suits covered, Sean. Big cooler between Oganya and Perry. Sean Sh told me. Jacks you versus tens. Plugged in. You were due for a cooler, <laughs> Sean. I never <laughs> won these. How much? <laughs> Nine, bros. Who we got, Honestly, Chad? I'm going to be honest. I'm not Jacks feeling Jacks or tens? Yeah, yeah no, what do we you're want? You're too nice of a guy. Here. I'd, that prepay? You want the I Sean Perry show to continue? Outs. I think he also or has Do you want the Jacks outs. to hold up? I have to look. I don't want to look. Is this Does so anyone have a Jack? Money's so big for me. Uh. <laughs> no one had a Jack? <laughs> oh, boy. Here comes the flop. Deuce, five, I'll seven, take a all club, clubs. I promise you. I want the eight of club. I had Chopping still possible. I want the nine of clubs. And then you have a sweat. A for club a would club. be good. A four sider club is like the sickest card in the deck for you. Yeah, a club would be amazing. Four sider Pick club. No, it has to be four sider club. It's specifically four no, sider club. It's gonna be. It's gonna no, be a, a red. That's club. like that's like greedy, but boom. Oh. Oh. King of Spades on the turn. Sean Perry now looking for a ten and a now ten only, a jack of or he will be eliminated in fifth place. <laughs> Get your money back. I would back. also take a jack of spades. <laughs> you want that jack of spades so bad. Give him the jack of spades. <laughs> if we're going to give him anything, let's give him the jack of spades. <laughs> <laughs> One time, <laughs> the jack of spades. <laughs> Damn, look at that cutie on TV, man. That would be the single, too. Look at this guy. That will be the sickest one man. time ever. Don't do it. Oh, boy. Ace of diamonds hey, on the play. river. The Sean Damn, Sean Perry Ball run Ball is yeah. over. See you guys right he takes 100K for finishing in fifth place. Sean, are you going to yeah. jump in this one? And this table uh, is about to get a bit quieter. So. Maybe later. I know I get a rake-free bullet. How do you not get right in after your final table? Because this shit doesn't free, excite me anymore, man. It. It's too small. You seem space. pretty excited. I mean, it's fun here, but it's fun now. It's just not fun getting here. Were you here? Exactly. If I could pay to get here, it'd be good. On TV we could probably figure something out. I mean, <laughs> you can see the final table. I'm in. Can we negotiate this, Gary? No. <laughs> you guys want to chop now? <laughs> no, <I'm kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> chop it up. That's so fucked up. As soon as someone busts right in front of them, you want to chop now, guys? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, wow. 2.4. I've had that happen to me a bunch of times. Do I have you covered? But like the opposite. Sir? Uh, like 2.4. Uh, yeah, like I think you do. Gave us kind Very of close hard. stacks up top and then carry cats trailing behind with 12 bigs. Give us an update on the points, Donnie, because cats, of course, made a few jumps here, so I got to pull it up. So. I have two points here. here. Here we got Fox with Ace Cops. You have carry? Small blind. I think I have around... Uh, it was 625, so I got 575. All in. All in. Fox moves all in to put carry cats at risk. Looks down at six deuce. That's not going to do it. Six deuce. 
Oh. Wow. Good thing I didn't raise the 10-4 off, huh? Glad I didn't get a uh, ace-six. Yeah. Stack Stack size is being <coughs> very close. 50 big blinds for Fox and 48 for Good thing you didn't have that Ogonion. last round. And Kisachioglu has 40 big blinds. I w Sean would have been yeah, that saved. Would. I would have been out. <laughs> <laughs> you remembered it. Nice and clean. Fox and Alex out Showing to Kaz that he's not messing Alfonso. around, that yeah. he had the goods Fox. this time. Thank the Lord. You, but you, I, you gave me the unfolding look. I believe Anthony I was lead your, your, is safe. I knew you were strong. So oh I wow! See what you looked like. With uh, 240 oh, points shit, up strong. top in this event, yeah. Kerry Katz and Alex Foxen can get the closest. Like, Kerry's had three caches. I'm getting it in, bro. Previously, Foxen has had yeah. one. The, the funny it was fake a size second place finish to Sean Winter in the any. first event. How many hands were playing? Cash they can get up there near 400. That's cash game size. Yeah. Who's lead of 454 points would keep him on top. Aganyan had That's no like points coming into this event, so whatever he scores here. Yeah. Probably bad. Orban, a little bit team. further down the leaderboard, okay. just with one cash so far. <laughs> I mean, he had it. <laughs> just a cooler. Gonna make for a pretty fun race entering the <laughs> second 25k, hands, second like and final 25k, the and then that like each other 50k knew that you finale. Anything. You had to do other shit. Ogayan raising with queen six of hearts. Kisakshioglu with ace three suited in the big blind. Besides the three bet. Dude, every time I try to steal, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I think I had an open. Chip leader, queen six. What did you have, Orpin? Mm -hmm. What did you have? Almost three bet, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, just an ace? Just an ace. Ace. Huh? Ace and a good card. Oh, okay. <laughs> Better than queen six of hearts? You, you, you would call my jam, I guess. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You have to say yes to that question every that. time. I'm sorry. I mean, a good card for the situation. Huh? A good card for the situation. It was ace jack. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, just, I had queen six suited. I was trying to stay. I love that's poker. Right. I apologize. That's, that's what a great game. By the way, if you're just tuning in, we got 4,000 people watching. We only have 750 likes. Let's see if we can get up to 1,000 likes. I want 1,500. We're not. Oh, you got to take it in small steps here. You set the bar too low. You've been way too nice in the new year. We need to hammer these people out there. Come on. We are going to do a full live stream today until we get down to a winner. So thank you all for being with us here today. 2.265. What do you got, buddy? 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 2, 1. Should be a fun hand. Pretty even stacks here. Sersky. This is the last hand? Yeah. Okay. Sounds like we're approaching the last hand of the level. Players are going to go on a short break. I've just been told the break is going to be about seven minutes, which is just enough to make some coffee, perhaps refill that beverage, get another Dr. Pepper, Mountain Dew, whatever you're drinking today. Bishop says no reading comments, no likes. Okay, fair enough. Mena says likes might go up with Perry gone. I mean, you love him or you hate him, but he sure brought some entertainment. We all got a few laughs. Like the video if you like the fact that Perry's gone. How <laughs> yeah, about that? Exactly. We're just we're just changing the rules. Or like the video if you want him back. One or the other. Because actually I'll be betting with the worst of it, but perhaps getting this one through as. Ogania might not want to see a later street, but he does make the call. Eight of diamonds on the turn. And you can hear Daniel Legrano in the background. Check out pgt.com to follow the live reporting of the next event that is on tap here at the Pokego Cup. We got Daniel Legrano, Dan Smith, Bill Klein. Brian Kim, Jason Kuhn, Isaac Haxton, Nick Schulman, Adrian Mateos, Nick Petrangelo, all in the mix in today's new 25K event. Well, you had this hand, Cassie. I pulled. Uh, <laughs> keep I betting. It. You can pick one. We go on break. Pick one. You, pick you one. Me. Uh, you can pick one. I got a good hand here. Very good hand. <laughs> Don't bend the cards, man. Those are expensive. All right, Orpin takes down the final hand before the break. Don't go anywhere. That we got a few highlights coming up here on the break, and then we'll be back with more right after this. The Pokemon Cup 2023 
final table of event number six continues after a short break. Alex Foxen is our chip leader, but this is still anyone's game as we are playing for a $400,000 top prize. I don't remember why. I'm not ahead of Jack Six. I thought I'll bet extra. I'll, 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 I'll bet time. Sam. You, I'll take Sam's hand. Just so you know, I thought I've caught five before. I'm dead. Fuck, I'm so good. Everybody's <laughs> right so Give far. Him a heart. That'd be a better sweat. A heart. Oh, you want a heart? Five of hearts. No. Just for the sweat? Mm -hmm. King of hearts. Oh, lame. Uh, no hearts. Dude, I just predict everything so correctly. That's five percent right. life. What's that like? Adam will need a five to bust five Sam. Five for five? The Sith Lord wins. Damn, I can't win a flip in a 25K final table. Yeah, you run so bad. <laughs> yeah, what could I do? How much you? It's another it's just three a on the river. Savro up to almost 12 bigs. Man, they cost me 25,000, <laughs> bro. You know I could do it $25,000? I see, I see. Congratulations. Like, yo, just remember, me and you are like buddies. We shouldn't be playing pots against each other. And he's like, yeah, 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 don't yeah, worry, bro. I got you. Best friends, man. And then, and then fucking hand one, he just tries to bluff me off. He's there betting twice on me with ace high, dude, like applying max pressure this guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, Think, think about bro, how, how cooked you would have been. What happened to our agreement ace? of us being, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> But you're not realizing that if the river was an ace, you're cooked. You were valuable. You were dead on the turn. Bro, I'm never dead, bro. You couldn't win. You were drawing dead that hand. Even in two, you lose. Or you it just that sucks hand. that it wasn't five on the turn. Otherwise, I could have gotten two streets nice and thin. Thin Easy. slice. How many chips do you have now? 600. Oh. <laughs> what do you have, Sam? 450? Uh, 540. Five? Oh, you the chip leader with the 10 suited in the bay. 80k each? That's a lot. 80? I think Orpin understands. Perry. Yeah. Well, let's see certainly post has a good You know what's good? It's good to let the short Opening stack under the gun off of that stack. So, like, you can bully the big stack even more, you know what I mean? Big shock. Shove 11, and I have like 20. Oh my Trouble gosh. brewing for our chip leader as he flops top pair. And just a gin flop for Sean Perry. Sure. He has 11 big dudes. He can go fuck himself. <laughs> That's not a fold. He can you start folding at like 25. Orpin immediately dead. A 20 might. No, a 20 to another for sure 9. Fold, but at 11. You haven't dominated, dude. You have Ajax suited. Ace 10 suited. Thanks, bro. Ace 9 suited. You saw that I called, right? What are you just saying? You're questioning your thing. No, I was just saying it's close. It seems dicey, but it's not dicey at all. It's super standard. Okay, that's 120. It, it's still close. Well, it's not. <laughs> it's, it can't be close if you went all in. <laughs> it's, yeah, it can. <laughs> it can't be close if you went all in. It just means you're supposed to go all in. If you had ace jack, it, it's, it's a fold. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's close. It's, it's a pretty brutal spot for Orpin. It's Almost <laughs> He's clean. Calling is difficult. Oh, you want to deny equity if you think the Perry could have various overcard type holdings? Ace-queen, Ace-king, Ace-jack. Ace 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 yeah, yeah, it comes with the check raise. They're very far apart. Yeah, I, <laughs> except they're not. But they are. But they're not. They're, they're super well. What about Ace-jack suited? That's, that's close. That's very close. <laughs> that's probably uh, a one that you have to go to the What? <laughs> Plus, the same Plus you. The check raised to 270k. No, I just, I think even pre-flop, like in spots, you can't. I know, bro. Yeah. You can stop. You stick to the F.U. Jake and all that shit. It's, it's nonsense. Listen, TV. you guys are the one telling me the hand history. I wasn't even like anything today. <laughs> I'm in luck. It's a pretty full schedule, right? Ten seconds. I didn't even look at the schedule. Yeah, oh, like everything all the same. Well, Basketball. Oh, sorry, I had no idea what you guys... I thought you were talking about fucking Muhammad. Orpin no, not thrilled. I was talking about it's basketball. Pull, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put yeah. more chips in. What's it called? Oh, boy. And it's Sean it? Perry Obviously way Sean ahead. Super nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what kind of question is that? More Obviously, than 1.2 million, million in this pot. Where's the fucking nine? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> nine ball corner pocket, I mean, man. if you lose this... Uh, uh, <laughs> you know there's like a lot of tens out there, and you lose this one out of ten times. Bro, I'm so. telling you, I manifested <laughs> a victory it's today. Literally. I'm just telling you that I see three tens, and you're losing this one out of ten times. That's what the math says. One out of ten, you're out the door. It's definitely not eight percent. It's ten percent, right? Yeah. Anyone folded? Eight. Anyone folded nine? Like, ten. No, First you're right. Closer it's to 10. ten. You're right. It's ten. It's like if you have a little pair versus a. Well, it's a ten percent chance you may lose, Sean. Can I bet ten to one? 
<laughs> Six on the turn. It's more like zero percent. Can I lay twenty to one? There's no nine club. coming. Four side club. <laughs> the only win, right? Four side heart. Oh. Ooh. Kind of Eight on the river. Dude, why can't and it's a double dialogue? up for Sean Perry. What a seven. It was like plus three or something in the morning. I didn't really like the schedule. I woke up and just came down here. Uh, I'm just hoping Dallas gets off to a good start. Me? And I'll bet the money line. No, we got so. a Hawks Mavs tonight. That's what Kerry's talking about. <sighs> you have 1.1? 1. 1 Is he? No, Perry? Yeah. yeah. More. I got yeah. chips, man. I got a stack. You know what I mean? One they one call one. it like a medium chub going on right now. That's where I'm at. A medium chub? Before I was a double what circumcised mean? Jewish boy the other day, and now I'm, uh, now I'm sitting strong now with a medium uh, chub. You know what I'm saying? I thought you said medium shove. You might have to win another one post flop in order to win this tournament. Man. <laughs> I need to get one of those delicious day one CBD company things. Well, there we go, Sam. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, have one. Uh, do we have any here? No, we absolutely do. They'll bring you one. Sam Zabro off to find a day one. You've got a whole fridge Prince full of yeah. one, too. Yeah, please. Good read. Let's get a fridge full of grapefruit, lime, and lemon day one. Lovely. Here we see our friends on the wall. Yeah, we see Fox in a spot top two. I actually walked into the studio today. Yeah. Made my entrance and I poured it all over my face. I missed my mouth. Did you I was really? Staring into the camera. So there is footage of this? There's footage out there that exists and it's. Yeah, I missed. I got the logo up. There we go. You got, you got to show them for the camera. No, don't worry. I'm going to QVC this shit. What is that? Are, are those happy dads? They have, they have, happy dads? They have CBD in them. I mean, you got to take one. If you, uh, even if you uh, shout out to happy dads. You fill the Coke can. At happy yeah. Look at all the day yeah. ones. You got to at least. Yeah. First, yeah. 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 got to pass them out, I think. Max will love that. You don't actually have to like it. That's true. Like I said, Warren Buffett with the fake Coca-Cola or whatever. Tastes like All right, welcome back to the Pocogo Studio in Las Vegas for the Event 6 final table of the 2023 Pocogo Cup. It's 25K No Limit Hold'em event. $400,000 up top. My name is Remco Rinkema. Donnie Peters alongside me. Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks are in the booth on Pocogo.com. But today, we are doing a free stream right here on the YouTubes. Thanks so much for tuning in as Alex Fox and grab some lunch. Let us know what you're snacking on at home. I just had a sandwich with strawberry jam. There we go. There's the event six summary, 50 entries, eight players cashed. Notable recent bust outs include Sean Perry and Nick Shulman. All right, there it is. The four-handed battle about to get underway. Kerry Katz the short stack with just eight big blinds. Fox and Kisak Shoglu and Oganyan like are basically fun. tied for the chip. Both. Both. Only a few yeah, big blinds apart. But he could be angry. We're playing 30K, 60K with a 60K big Good blind forward. ante. It is. I got natural nine. I have, I don't even know what this is in back red. But I, got, I got, congrats. You beat me in back red, I think, right? Yeah, I got natural. We're still all recovering from the Sean Perry experience. Uh, he's trying to get to nine. I don't know how the drawing works, because okay. they get to draw sometimes. Yeah. Face cards count as zero. So if you have like 17, you should have just seven. If you have nine, six. If you're with us in the chat, please smash the like button. Well, We're gonna hit that 1,000 like mark just, in the next ten, minute. So I can nine, feel six it. Is five. Love it. Oh yeah. Appreciate yeah. everyone for hanging out. What did I say? We got oh, yeah, quite five. a few Look, hours you, left you, to be yeah. played. I don't know what you said. Few said. hours? Yeah, 15, yeah, a few hours. 15, what do you I think this is, Donnie? Instead of 15, it's fine. serious business. Four all in, you know, just get it over with. That'd be fun too, actually. I like blackjack. I don't like any of that shit. I'm in blackjack. I played for free rooms. It's like yeah, it's worth, worth it. it. it's worth it for that. Carrie, you got what? Payouts are as following. 125k for the next player out, then 175, 75. 262, and 400,000 for the eventual 180, champion. 180,000. Oh, Ganya makes it 180k to go on the button. Carrie, by the way, switched outfits. Trying to oh, wow. get some 
Good luck cha channeling the Bulldogs. Jack? King Jack off. National champion Bulldogs. Jack, I limp for Alex. Carries the alma mater. I should have three bet. Would have worked. But well, when Carrie wakes up with ace 10, I still got 35%. percent still going to feel stupid. You're feel stupid. No, <laughs> the 6-4-0 six, six right okay. You don't want to double, want double one up right now. If there's someone, it's scary. <laughs> When, yeah, I, when I put sure you want to strawberry up, jam on a slice of toast, no. does yeah. that make it a sandwich? No. When, when if you need to put another piece of bread or what? toast on top of the other piece. Nah, that's bullshit. It's not a sandwich. Of course it's a sandwich. As soon as you put something on bread, that's it just toast. That's just ridiculous. So if I pile it high... With no, you don't all, pile, all, pile all sorts of no. What tell me you were folding? I could have. If raised. I put all the ingredients of a sandwich on a piece of bread, right. I think a sandwich you have to close it. Like oh you have my to, god! To, so if I have fold, if I fold it, it's a sandwich. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that would be a sandwich. You oh. Americans are so weird. You see me yesterday running around the room, challenging everyone heads up. Yeah, wait, where's my offer? You you wouldn't play me heads up in cash. Remember, yeah, I just got a whole bunch no, of food. You Alex. You lose. Going for it. <laughs> I, All like right, you, I like you too. I don't want to take your money. Producer um, Aiden, I, the condiment I, man. You'd be a fun mystical creature to play heads up. I have a little bit of heads up experience. It'll just be if we if we could play big blind any, I'll do it. Just about that yeah, at that would. one thousand like mark. <laughs> I, I don't know. I wanted I mean, fifteen hundred though. Remco wanted only you know a thousand. So. Want to play heads up bomb pot? Five big blinds, hundred big deep. That sounds fun. That's that's like an extreme big blind any. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's different. So you see the flop. Yeah. It's like a way different game. That would be a flop. Yeah. Because I was playing some guy heads up yesterday at the bomb pot tables, and we kept getting five big blind stuff. The bomb pot tables. And uh, where are those at? I was just, I was just bluffing them every hand. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Alex Foxen's last five years on the poker tournament circuit. Figures courtesy of HendonMob.com. Last year, seven million in tournament earnings, over six million in 2018 and 2017. One of the top players in the game. I think for you're mixing sure. two people's names there. No, that's his name. The, 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 uh, trust me, there's like a bunch of Russians that have similar names. Uh. He's a seven sky around me on ACR, and he's Victor Kurdanov. Seven sky? Uh, he's Victor Kurdanov on, um, what you call it? GG. Yeah. He's been playing like 100, 200, three-handed all, all month. You have two? I have no idea. <laughs> seven. That's two. Couple of big hands here, four-handed. Thanks. The Ganyan. Limps in with ace-10 off. Fox and ace-king off from the big blind. Fox and goes to 210,000. Raise coming from a Ganyan. Looks like we're going up to. Is that 640? There's a shove from Foxen. What the hell, man? <laughs> I 
For as much as a Ganyan might think that Foxen's messing around, just too tough of a spot for him to call given carry cats being so short. You're thinking about shoving too. Sitting oh, on that? five big blinds. You sizing? I was almost gonna ask. I was thinking about calling. Uh. Or raising. I think raising is better, just raise fold. Steal, try to steal back from the stealer. The re-steal. You didn't know I'd re 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 steal. Good for you. Not that time. Maybe you just had it. Just fucking ace king. Yeah, ace king. Maybe I saved myself the tournament. <clears throat> Comes ace high. Ace high, you probably did then. Yeah. Figured it was the right play. Better than calling, check folding, losing every fucking time. <laughs> At 300, basically, five bigs. You know what, you live. That bad, huh? Yeah. Oh my god. Everyone always has it when I try to steal, you know, try to do a little steal. Is this chip dumping or what? Yeah. <laughs> Was that chip dumping? Did it feel like chip dumping? What, did you have the 4-9? I just folded A6. If you raise folded, that would be chip dumping. Yeah, that would be chip <laughs> Wait, right there? Huh? With the Ace-10? No, 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 like this side. No. <laughs> oh, oh, I was like, wow. I think I can call there. <laughs> 35 bigs? I mean, I could, I guess. Well, if anything, I think you'd be criticizing the three bet, but. Three bet felt good. That's not what was happening. I felt like that was a good three bet. I like it, man. Good job. Yeah. You're supposed to be stealing, so. I found out where I was at. Yeah. <laughs> it was one of you did find out. <laughs> it just sucks if you had a bluff. If you had, like, a five in your hand. It hurts. You think I would would have not shown if I had a five? You told me you had ace king, but you know you could just be lying. I don't. I, th I think you're being very genuine. Yeah. Good read. Well, you're super chip daddy now, so congrats. Thanks. Super <laughs> chip daddy. That's a new one. Well, well that's Orpin you that makes the call that from the big blind. Good. Battle of the two largest stacks at the table. 10 6 deuce, one diamond. Guess that Chicago checks to Foxen. is the bet from Foxen. Orphan close enough to that flop to continue. King of spades on the turn. Not exactly what he was looking for. Four twenty five from Fox and quick fold from Kisetra Call Glue. And the rich get richer. Fox and approaching sixty big blinds. Orpin on thirty three, a Ganyan on twenty five, and cats sitting there nice and short with the old five big blinds. You guys see the payouts there on the screen, four hundred K up top. These four remaining players have all locked up $125,000. Fox is going to stay on the gas here. Queen four off. All in. Carry cats, jams, two fives. How much? 
Where is Gun and ace jack from the blind. Gets out of the way. Here we go. You weren't gonna fold to me, though, right? No. <laughs> Sadly. Of course not. All right. It's a fair fight. I like my hand. A lot of straights with this hand. Good luck, dogs. Pocket fives oh, wow. for carry cats. Looking to double up. Got to win the luck. flip, though. Damn it. I blocked some of his straights. All right. I'm back right in time here. Some of your good. straights too, though. For some big action. I fold it, I guess. Massive this spot is, here for cats. This be very bad for me. If the fives can just hold up, double, yeah. he'll be out of trouble for at least a few orbits. Yeah, you give me a little extra juice. I appreciate it. We got it. We got it. Good luck, Harry. Too. You're due. Here comes the flop. Oh Ace, king, seven. Not what Kerry Katz was looking for. Oganyan oh once flop. again outflops him. Turns. Five. Yeah. Two sided club. Deuce on the river is not going to do it. Kerry Katz looking for one of the two no. remaining fives in the deck. Club or diamond. Or he'll be eliminated. <laughs> Let's see the river card. It's the Ten of Clubs. Kerry yeah. Katz eliminated in fourth place. Yeah. Would you have connected? Would you have won Aram Oganyan does it twice to Kerry Katz in two big all-ins. Katz takes home $125,000, adds some points to his total in the race for the cup, but that is not what he was looking for. Not too long ago, he was all in with Ace Queen versus Ace yeah. Ten. <laughs> Oganyan hit two tens to double Five. through, Keep trading. and now. He is eliminated. Carry Katz. Oganyan chips up to two million. And we got a really interesting battle here for the title as the final table chip counts presented by Hair Club look as following. Oganyan and Kisakshioglu tied for second in chips. Alex Foxen is our chip leader with 56 big lines. Whoever wins this is going to put themselves within striking distance of Anthony Hu for a chance to win the Pokemon Cup and the 50k cash bonus. Should do a shove free there. No. But then if, if I, I call you, and if you do it, then I can pull, right? You just have, you're pretty bladed. That's what I was saying, I should have done Fuck, it. Fuck, man. That's bullshit. You know how much you have now? No. Or can you, like, maybe, if you can. Pretty clean. <laughs> Is it not clean? It's really. That's, no. that's, oh, shit. I, I thought this was, I'm sorry. Uh, that's what it was. I was going to say that's what it was, but now it's less. You've, like, two point. Two. True. I got two. Yeah, that's two? clean. Two I million even. So that's very clean. <laughs> you guys both have two? That means I have three coins. What? He has exactly two. I have... Yeah, I have exactly two. I have two and... <laughs> no, you don't. You got way less. You got to put like 60,000 on Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> oh, Ganyan ace nine off on the button. Very strong hand here in three-handed play. By the way, if you're just tuning in, we're doing a full live stream today here on YouTube for free. Please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Donnie and I have a wager. He thinks we're going to hit 1,500 likes. I don't think we're going to hit 1,500 likes. So whoa, 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 whoa! One of, one of you, one of us is going to be right. That's not 140. Right? That's 140. The Henry says Remco come back to the pod podcast drop in for family pod one day. We'll get him. We're going to suck him in at some point. I took my dog to the vet today. I cried. Not, beca not because of my dog. But there was, you know, there's oh. at, at the vet, there's a, a Well, you said you took your dog to the vet and you put cried in there. Yeah. I thought it was really bad. Well, I, was, well, I mean, I had a, a realization <laughs> that Sammy, my little dog, is not going to live forever. There was a candle burning at the, oh. en at the entrance oh, the purple one? Of, the, the purple one. of the vet's office. Well. And I, I'm not going to explain what that means because then I might cry on the broadcast, but... We had to put a dog down once, which I'm sure many people out there have. It's not fun at all. Oh. Not fun. I mean, they're, they're, you know, they're like your kids. They're family. They're, they are my kids. You know. He's my kid. You go into it. They're animals. But and, then, and then they transition to humans pretty, right. pretty quickly. Honestly, they're probably better than humans if, if we're way, being real. <laughs> way better. Way better. Yeah, Sammy's doing fine, guys. Sammy is very healthy. He's a two-and-a-half-year-old dog. Looks like a Jack Russell, but he actually did a DNA test. He's not a Jack Russell. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually really funny. He is a poodle chihuahua mix with a whole bunch of mutt. He was born on a farm in Mexico. 
Wow. Yeah, he's, he's lived an interesting life oh, so look far. Look at that. Got him from a foster. As we see two dogs battling here in yeah. the poker streets. I've got two dogs, Duke and Daisy. Yeah, they're wild. They are wild. They've, they are played, they've played with Sammy. Yeah, they're, they're out of their minds. And Duke has been out of his minds for the last week, getting up at 4.30 in the morning, going crazy, wanting to go to the bathroom. <laughs> drive driving me nuts. I don't know what's wrong with this guy. You guys in the chat have pets? Yeah, let us know your pet names. Pet ages. If your pet was a poker player, <laughs> what, 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 what would he be? <laughs> like, relate your pet to a poker player. I'm thinking about what, what my, my dog would be. Who, who my dog would be as far as playing style. I think it's probably going to be Jungle Man. My dog Sammy is out of his mind. All over the place. Meanwhile, Oganyan got a stranglehold on this hand. Wow. As I said that, Kasix Yoglu just rips off a third queen on the river, and all of a sudden, he takes command of this hand in a battle between the quote unquote short stacks. Of course, these guys still got plenty of room to play. Steph says I got a cat named Pombos. It's kind of a badass name. One seventy five is the best one because actually we're looking for some some value here from perhaps hands far weaker than an ace, Donnie. The the, the bet really tries to get Oganyan to call with far worse hands than an ace. Yeah, I think it's gonna be hard for Oganyan to get away here. Orpin has been known to put chips in the pot with nothing, you know, both at this final table. We've seen him do it. Oh wow, coming with a race. Wow. This is a very interesting twist here. To recap the action, <laughs> Orpin made it 140 before the flop. Oh, sorry, Oganyan made it 140 before the flop. Orpin called from the big blind. Then Oganyan... Oh, was that a quick call? It yes. was. All right, Orpin shows the queen oh, wow. and rakes in a huge one. As I was going to say, check call 240K. Check, check on the turn. And then a Maybe. little river raise. Silly hand. Mm. Interesting spot there on the river. I'm not sure if Oganyan was... Rolled a check on the turn. <laughs> turning his hand yeah, into a bluff out. or trying to get some value after checking back nice the turn. I'm not some sure what the hands you could target for value there, so... Here's a look at tomorrow's final table stream. Play in progress in event number seven, 25K in the limit. We see Negrana, we see David Peters, Bill Klein, oh, Jason Kuhn showed up, Adrian Mateos, Isaac Haxton. Jason Kuhn looked like he just went to the store and bought those clothes. He probably only wears fresh new, off the only, rack. Only wear new clothes. <laughs> only new clothes for Jason Kuhn. Here it is, a tweet from Phil Helmuth, another nice guy, Jason Kuhn, again, play with him Saturday night in my home game, and now in the Pokemon Studio, 25K buy in hashtag positivity. Well, this might be the only smile that Phil Helmuth showed all throughout the night last night because Donnie Peters told the story earlier about how Helmuth was on raging tilt because of Sean Perry. <coughs> Let's see if Helmuth shows up today. According yeah. to Kerry Katz, he was going to show up today, but he's been he's been max late regging, so that's the way to do it. Let's see if he does pop in the field. <coughs> Alex Foxen like looks shipping. like he's got some food delivered to the table. JT says, got a nine-week-old puppy, so Helmuth, he whines a lot. Wow. <laughs> Lots of people comparing their pets to Phil Helmuth, which is really funny. My dog is Doyle, says, Jew up. He just sleeps all day. <laughs> Max says, my dog's name would be G-Man. <laughs> my... <laughs> Truth World says, my dog will be Sean Perry. He's constantly barking. <laughs> I, like, I like this game. Come on, man. You only call me when I have the nuts? Oh, we got some Dutch people You're in the right chat. But you only call me when I have the nuts. Alles goed, mannen? That's sick. That's good to know. 
I only get called when I, when I have my opponent dominated. Every time I'm, I got dog shit. <laughs> I'm kidding. What the fuck, man? Queen? Just a brick. I tax his ass like 600000 on the river. Tough spot. I mean, you just fold. And I trappy, trappy check the turn. Nick Bostich says, my pit, my pit bull, Eric Person. The Garden Prophet says, what's the wager for 1,500 likes? We've not put any money on it. We've been betting on That's not eating not snacks. I haven't had a snack thanks to that bet. Are you happy that I bet you that? Yeah. There we go. I can't really it's do good. anything about it. Dude, we should do it more often. Then I won't be snacking <laughs> all day. We should do it all the time. All Jordan time. WSP, I gained 20 pounds last yeah. year. Oh, we got Unlikely shove. I call. The snacks aren't so bad. We just need to get some better well, snacks. No. I, if I, it went the other I put way, in a request to Moore the other day. I said, we need more fruit. Yeah, true. He said, consider it done. Wow. Making it's moves. Hard, so, you know, let's just get more fruit. Maybe. Love to see Sorry. it. I think any ace is a shove there. Watch <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I shouldn't have. Maybe been. not like a Suja's big one, but any very middle little ace. Rip it. I got to fight. Yeah, yeah, those I got to get, get some chips back. I got to make you guys not want to put it in. Fuck. I was trying minutes, to stack please. you. And then I Let us know in the chat I'm who you're rooting like for. Really, not stack you, because I can't really stack a worse hand. I was trying to make it hurt. It hurt a lot on the flop, man, where you're like, fuck, why is he betting 240? Who bets? Yeah, I, was like, I wasn't happy, obviously. Like, <laughs> this guy's an animal. <laughs> I could have draw. King, I got king 10, king jack. I don't like folding when I have a pair. I don't blame you. <laughs> Especially when you can always make trips or two pair. If you're One new point. to our channel on YouTube, please know that you have we put out uh, highlights eight, every single day from our shows, do you have, Alex? shorts, long clips, uh, short clips, we have it all. Three point so please subscribe to our YouTube channel six, if you enjoy poker content. There's tons to go around for everyone, and of course we're going to have Thank daily you. highlights of the 2023 World Series of Poker, so you're better off hitting that notification bell More so you don't obviously. miss out on any of the content. Obviously, Tons of stuff still to come. And I'm sort of all hoping right, right. we can hit half a million YouTube subscribers yeah, this year. 1.1, right? Eight. Half, it's a good goal. Is that a good goal? I, I think we could do it. Now more. Can we do it, chat? Obviously. obviously. Matt D asked obviously. commentators, what's your names? He's Remco. I'm was, Donnie. I meant to, like, when I'm looking at my chips, I wasn't, like, trying to, like, be smart ass with you. It's just, I looked at my chips, and I was like, to me, it's obviously more. That's why I said I'd that. hope it's obvious to you, That's but that's why I asked. Because no, I know. I wasn't, I'm saying, like, when I said the word obviously, yeah. it was, like, more like I was thinking out loud. I looked at my chips and I was like, more obviously. That's weird. I was just kind of thinking out loud, slash answering your question. Yeah. <laughs> obviously. Solix <laughs> is calling you Don, Donnie Corleone. Okay, I'll 1. take 3. it. You're, you're Italian. I am. 1.410. Are you related to David Peters? I wish. <laughs> maybe give me some of his money. My dad is David Peters, not not the David Peters. Your dad's the real David Peters. My dad is the real David Peters. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Can you please claim that Twitter handle? <laughs> it's gonna feel good. <laughs> the real David Peters. Your dad's a legend. The Henry says, "Great work in the booth as always. Great fun. Thank you so much. We're trying to keep it lighthearted, have some fun with it, and pay attention to the, to the play sometimes." Fold, obviously. The Garden Prophet says he demands Fold, better obviously. snacks for Remco and Donnie. That's right. <laughs> yeah. My soul piece. I mean, I'm nice having some bok choy right now <laughs> from the local restaurant. <laughs> I mean, th it's the WSOP one. Yeah, it's just, yeah, you know, it's just there's chips, huh? there's cookies, there's that this, there's that. Right. Those no. granola bars, they I'll think that they're healthy. Then you oh. eat three of them. You've had 1,200 calories. It's just Spider game over. Like, you know? And then Mori Eskandani, <laughs> our president and, and one of my favorite people in the world, shows up every other day Obviously. with a giant tray of pastries. Yeah. I can't control myself. Three, five, and he's got good taste, too. Like, yeah. he gets good pastries. His wife makes great cookies. Oh, my God. Those are always there. You know? Well, that's going to be tough. I, if I, even if I double through one It's just guys. a bottomless pit. Yeah. And then as the hours like go on, you just get hungry. You just eat more junk all the time. Yeah, Morris' wife, we're kinda, Kathy, kinda deep. makes three kinds of cookies. You guys in the chat let us know what you like best. She makes a chocolate chip, a snickerdoodle, and an oatmeal raisin. Now, 
I always grab one obviously. of each. I'm not, sure, I'm, not, I'm not sure if that's um, smart, but um, I, I, I like all kinds of cookies. They're like the very thin, soft ones. Oh my God. They're so good. They're so good. I, I like the oatmeal raisin one the best. I think oatmeal raisin is an underrated cookie. I mean, but you obviously can't go wrong with chocolate chip. Right. Glad I've not had a steak yet. Well, cool. have not had a steak in a couple of years. How about that? Queen, Jack Queen on the flop here. Ace high in the lead. Donnie, if, if you were to sort of crack under the pressure of your cravings for some steak, where would you go for your first steak? Where would I go? Hmm. If you're, you're back on the train, on the gravy train. Echo and Rig. Mm. Only because, so I've eaten there, but I, I've i eaten there in the time that I have not been me eating meat. So right. I haven't had a steak there. <laughs> but I've had, like, th I think I've had salmon when I go there. I've had, like, some salads and stuff. And everything's very good. Their veggies are all very good. And the steaks look friggin' phenomenal. Okay. And a bunch of my friends rave about it all the time. Always go there, so I'd probably go there. This is where I would go. Great choice. Or they're, the they're, they're going to open Echo and Rick right by us. Yeah, yeah. Game. I, I mean, see, this is now I'm getting closer <laughs> to going back to eating meat. <laughs> like, it's even closer. For the people that know Elephant Bar at the District in Henderson, that's now going to be an Echo and Rick. There you go. Pars, Parzival says, "Where are you guys located? We are at the Poco Studio in Las Vegas." Yeah, right next door to Aria. That's right. You can actually walk in here, enjoy the show on the big screen, have a drink at the bar, perhaps uh, get a picture with one of your favorite players on the break. It's a really cool, laid-back vibe here. It, it kind of reminds me of when I first would come to Las Vegas and I would go to Bellagio and I would just go play poker there just so I can peek into Bobby's room. I'd just sit there for hours playing 1-2, looking at Chow Jang and... <laughs> Doyle Brunson and David Oppenheim, Gus Hansen battling behind the glass. Well, you can do that here at the studio, and they even go on breaks because it's tournaments. I think I would have lost a lot more if I checked the flop. Nice. I mean, it's deuce. <laughs> What's that turn? Are you the call the river? I would. Yeah, I'm sent. Whatever, man. <laughs> Tell you later. <laughs> I don't get it. How, how you? Maybe it just means you might have called the river. I guess. No, no, no. Then you, I would have. Uh, or I might have bet the river. Or I might check the river. You're right. That's what I'm saying. That's why I said I would have lost more. I don't bet there. Makes sense. This is sure checked. To call your ass. Probably better. I wasn't betting though. I suck, you know. I was done with the hand. I understand. Good news for me, you were done. Said no muss. Bad run out. Bad run out. I win against your exact hand on so many too. You are. Uh, Turn I think you gave me the turn bet you I fold. Hmm? I fold if you bet turn. Yeah. I can't bet that turn though. What? Oh, th oh I'm putting out the wrong amount. Another swig of the day one for Mr. Alex Foxen. Yeah, I'll think he might. If this guy bets the turn, can I make a gangster raise here? Sweet. Reese asked if high stakes sweet. poker is still going you with the huge off, uh, bundles of high. cash. The Ooh, cash just looks so sweet. <laughs> well, Reese, January 24th, okay. exclusively on Do Poker this. Go, PokerGo.com, a new season of high stakes poker premieres. It's Tuesday, January 24th, season 10 of high stakes poker. Check it all out. All your favorites will be back and some new players. Negrani's back. Esfandiari's making his return. <laughs> Eric Person's going to jump in the mix. The uh, Gentili's out there. That's my game. A little Bobby Baldwin <laughs> action as well. Alex. 
And if you're new yeah, to Poker Go, watch HSP10. Red. We'll get you twenty dollars <laughs> off the first year of a new Already annual plan. The red line. Yeah, just watch the brand just new overvalue season. Every hand, and you'll have poker. a great red line. Is it my turn or is it his turn? I don't know if it's turn. Over bluff, overvalue bit, red line through the roof. That's basically what I do. Blatt asked <laughs> like if Michael Adamo is playing in this. No, he did not play in this. Besides that action between Orpen and Aram right after the break, it's been rather quiet here in this three-handed battle. Of course, Fox is very comfortable with his chip lead. Orpen slowly but surely climbing his way up. No good, Orphan. Wow. Blue line going up. Just a call there. Just a call there. I thought you just called to make sure the red line doesn't go down. <laughs> that was a bad beat. My three was dead the whole way. <laughs> you, you were hoping for a three? Hmm? I can raise them. That's why I call. Yeah. Just snap call and sometimes lose, win a lot. Oh, wow, Donnie. What is this all about? The Poker Girl Podcast. Check it out wherever you listen to your podcast. Apple, Spotify, Google Podcasts. We're out there everywhere. Check us out, please. And if you leave us a review, take a screenshot of that review, send it to podcast at pokergo.com. That's emailing it in. And we will enter you into a contest at the end of the Poker Girl Cup series to win one of four autographed felts, framed and autographed. Wow. Phil six. Ivey did uh, one. Negron, you did six, one. Seven. Okay, obviously. Phil Helmuth did Three. one. And then the Give fourth one is a joint signature, Eric Seidel and Johnny Chan. Damn. <coughs> you, guys, you guys hook it up. Fold, obviously. I think I'm supposed to three bet here. My sole reason. <laughs> Background said the CBD here. sparkling water is tempting. I that is right. One. Ace eight off. Stuff is good. The players love it. Remco wow. loves it. The players love it. Me an embarrassing non-defend. I think every day you got Alex Fox and drinking it right there. I think every day oh. Sam Soverl is coming to the studio. Here, He's looked in the cooler to see if we've re-upped the day one. <laughs> it old. finally arrived today. But I rolled. <laughs> players are 50, loving 50. it. They're, they're going. They're going <laughs> like hotcakes. That's, that's good. You're just like, I'm just Drink gonna make day one dot com. If you guys want to <laughs> check it out uh, for yourself. Like a, ACA seems like a 50 50 spot there. I believe the locations right now are in California know. and Colorado. I raised one side. Likely more that. to come, but you can check it out at their website, drinkday1.com. Spell out the word one. O N E. That smirk. You had nothing. King four suited. <laughs> Jareem <laughs> asks, I got, I got any events in the studio February fifth through the tenth? Yes. Dude. Yes, there is, Donnie. <laughs> give give people the lowdown. <laughs> the PGT <laughs> Mixed Games series, the oh, first right, ever mixed game just. series that we are running, runs February fourth through eleventh. Buy-ins are going to be, I believe it's five k all the all way up tilt. to twenty five k. All different that. variants of poker. <laughs> <laughs> All different kinds of mixed games. Going to be a great group, I great crowd. Scary. I know Daniel Negroni what, is like looking forward to a bluff it. After you lose hand? Carrie yeah, Katz like, as well. Like Maybe even our president, Maurice Kandani, will dive into the mix. Yeah, he loves mixed and it games. Sucks because like, they don't even know that I'm just rolling. What about you? <laughs> like, well, I mean, I might play. They have a couple <laughs> satellites. Like, hey, a couple, you know, what, $1,400 satellites. Might get in there. Not a bad 
the random I haven't really dude. been playing many mixed games <laughs> I always have random in the feelings. past year or so. I've been mostly focusing on Nolan and Hold'em oh, tournaments. Okay. So I might be a bit rusty. Still That's it's it. It's so fun when you don't know what you have. You can always be a satellite. You're chilling. You're not playing Get a poker seat yet. and see what happens. Really fun formats that the team came up with. There's a triple stud, a big bet mix, a triple draw mix, a dealer's choice, and a 10 game or 10 game mix as the main event. Straight dick. And a horse. Yeah, I mean, it's really Sorry, it's good, yeah, you know, to get that community yeah. together for a series Wait, really focused on you them oh, as wow, opposed to just having, like, a one-off mixed win, game yeah. event Big to bring the Poker Girl Cup or Big USPO, winner. for example. Um, and then also, it's, like, it's a really good uh, <laughs> yeah. series to hone your craft in the tournament setting. I mean, these guys all play at high six cash games, right? But in a tournament yeah. setting, there are some different elements in play. A um, couple months before the World Series of Poker, you can really... Play some high stakes mixed games. Cool. It's just a lot of fun. I think oh. it'll be cool. How many games in the dealer's choice? I uh, believe it's going to be twenty or twenty-one. Wow. I forget exactly what what it is. Not sure if. It's good. I think I'm supposed to run. Sure, it's good. Today, asked how the dealer Four chooses in dealer's <laughs> choice. Well, they just say. Had you crushed. There's yeah, a okay. there's gonna be whatever, however many games there are twenty or twenty one there's gonna be a bunch of plaques. Right. You're gonna have a hard time. If you're the dealer game. at the time, you can say I want to play Nolan and Hold'em. That's the plaque that'll <laughs> go on the table, <laughs> and then that game will so be tight. played. It's like when I enter, I'm just not gonna have good cards. Zolik asked, <coughs> for us, important. the most we've won in a cash game <laughs> and an MTT. Oh, great question. I know you had a big MTT score online. Was it online? I've uh, No, live, Unibet, right? No, the live event was the uh, Poker Star Estrella's Poker Tour main event. Oh, wow. 1,000 euro buy-in. Okay. Um, back in 2011 when I weighed about 280 <laughs> pounds. That's not a joke, by the way. Um, about three times the size he is now. Um, yes. Correct. I'm down to 180 right now. <laughs> um, cool. I finished oh, fourth, call, I think, please. for like 30k. There you go. It's my biggest live we score. To see. We yeah. want to see people at home. I just had my biggest live <laughs> the score at the WPT want. World Championship. I think it was Spicy. 238th in the in the 10k. Yeah, you were you were on on your way. Right I was way. on my way. Yeah, I was on my way. Things didn't go my way on day three. Unfortunately, that's just tournament poker. I was sweating it real hard. Cash game. I think I won forty eight hundred in a one two game at Green Valley Ranch. <laughs> I once. What, was I there for that? Was that the 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 iconic night? That was that night was out of control. I don't think you were there for this night. Oh. There was just a crazy drunk guy in the game. Um, I won like a thirty eight hundred dollar pot <laughs> with pocket jacks against the crazy drunk guy. Um, it was just it was out of control that night. Biggest I've ever won there, and the and the buy-in is three hundred dollars. So, <laughs> you know, or max buy-in was three hundred dollars. So, yeah, I think I I once played cash for a week <laughs> straight at Caesars, way back when, probably twenty eleven or twenty twelve. I got absolutely crushed, and of course we're we're talking low stakes here. Donnie and I are not the yeah, we're, we're, we play we're with the people. Exactly, we play <laughs> with the people. Uh, play, I think I played 1, 3, and 2, 5 for a week, and I think I was down maybe 4 or 5K, and then I won it all back in one session. That was my, my best That's luck of really cash games. I think I ended up down $200 on the week, and it felt like I had won like a million dollars. <laughs> yeah, poker's crazy like that, man. It's just nuts. I've been playing strictly tournaments now for, I don't know, a year, year and a half or so, and it's just... It's extremely tough on you mentally because obviously variants in poker and tournaments are hard. <laughs> I mean, cash games, you know, I used to just play really just cash games, and you can you can always put more money on the table. You can always find a new game. You can always get up and leave and come back when you want, all that sort of stuff. Tournaments are certainly not like that, and uh, just shout out to all the grinders out there, all these guys that we see on screen, you know, that are playing day in, day out, and just are able to deal with the ups and downs that presented in tournament poker. It's crazy. Circa millions. Shout out in the chat. 
Love the Circa Millions. Greatest sports betting competition in the world, baby. Jeffrey Owen says, how big is the Boca Go Studio? How many players can you handle comfortably? Well, there are nine tables, and then you can, of course, scale up or down the amount of players at each table. Yeah, normally nine tables, especially okay. whenever we're doing any streaming. You see this feature table here, and then there's four on either side. What is happening? Who's moving the set? Yeah. <laughs> um, but, for example, our NFT Invitational, um, we added two tables, put two tables in the studio. I um, think we're going to add some tables for the PLO series that we have coming up in March. So, you know, we have some flexibility here. I know TD Paul Campbell from Aria Poker has talked about even getting an extra table in here maybe for USPO. Wow. Um, just wanting to, you know, bolster our field sizes, get more players in early. And then also we've been running satellites a lot, so we want to have some more space available for satellites. Meanwhile, Orban takes the chip lead up to 3.5 million as Alex Foxen is now down to second in chips. Orban, by the way, still down chips on the day. We started today with 3.6 million, now sitting on 3.5. We're still three-handed here. Look at the chip count presented by Hair Club of this 25K no limit Orban event. Gagne on our short stack with 29 big blinds. Still got plenty to play with. And there we go. The blinds go up. 40k, 80k. With the 80k big blind any. The hearts. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yes, everyone, we do comment on the game. No, Not much has been happening. <laughs> what do I have? Ace with the nine of hearts or something. One, two, three, four, five. Got 1.6 out here in these streets. 21 bigs. 21 big blinds. How much do you have now? Three, uh, three six. You're even for today. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all this. this guy's even after all day of grinding. He's just, he broke even. Break even, player. Let's see how you do it. Watch our thing. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. Yeah. You know what's crazy? I'm even too. <laughs> That's what I start with. 1.66. That's true. We're both even. We play good. <laughs> wow, what a sick world. I'm scared. Just, Alex stacked everyone. <laughs> Fox with the race around the button with Jack 10 offsuit. Right? Kasuk Shioglu fights back with King 8 of Spades. <clears throat> Foxen, me, Foxen lays it down, Donnie. Is there, is there any scenarios in which you're going to defend there against the three bet from the button with Jack 10 off? I mean, I'm defending or now. We're yeah, all I mean, I think if you're, if you're deep enough, but I'm not sure how Foxen's sitting on 25 bigs. Not 10 7. <laughs> considers himself to be deep <laughs> yeah. enough. Good enough, though. Well, now, you're, now you're profitable. Now you're profiting for. Uh, Three-handed play, in my opinion, is the most interesting part of tournament play. The dynamics are so fluid. So, so There's so few spots where you can just sort of lean back. You're constantly fighting or fighting back. Kasich Shioglu now raising the button with Queen Deuce suited. Oganyan, you know, neither of these players with premium hands, but still, they have hands worth fighting with. And you have to keep fighting because those blinds come around so fast. Yeah, you only get one free hand, technically, and that's on the button, which is the most advantageous spot in poker. So you certainly want to take advantage of that as you can. We're going to see a Ganyan here. Three bet with the king seven of hearts. Foxen with king queen off from the big blind. King queen off, not the most amazing hand in some spots, but three-handed play certainly goes up in value. Wow. Any, any chance... If you uh, run your GTO machine where King Queen off ends up all in here, there might be some percentage of the time that Foxen gets it all in there. I think it's probably a blend between an all in and a fold. King Queen does, you know, provide some blocker value. Do I get that through? Orphan gives it up. Oh, yeah. See, Foxen yeah. knew. 
He knew. He knew it was a blend. <laughs> Said, did I get that through? Two. Yeah, you get it through, buddy. Red line. <sighs> a little roll reversal at our final table. And here's a look at what's to come tomorrow. Carrie Katz jumps straight into it. Nick Schulman in the mix as well on the far table. See Anthony Hu out there, current points leader. There's Kerry Katz. Put the jacket back on. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't work with the Bulldogs. The thing is, sweater. he changed and then he busted. Yeah. That was that's the problem. So now he put the jacket back on. He said, "The heck with this." Kerry Katz, meanwhile, up to fourth in points on the race for the cup. Anthony Hu's got a commanding lead here, but we both know that the 25k that's going on currently on day one, as well as the 50k that's going to start tomorrow are going to have big implications on the final standings. We've seen many big jumps at the end of this series over the course of the last three, edi three editions. Today asking how much the reds are worth on those outer tables. 1K. Those reds are worth 1K. The blues that you see here are the 5Ks. Purple's 25K and the yellows. 100,000. Ten six eight here, not much for Orpin. Aganian flops a flush draw. Richard Chen asks, what's the incentive for this race for the cup? Series leaderboard points and the winner will become the Poker Go Cup champion and win the fifty thousand dollar championship bonus. Also all of these points count towards the overall PGT leaderboard for the entire 2023 season. The season will culminate with the PGT Championship in December, which will be a $1 million free roll for the top 40 players on the leaderboard, plus a group of uh, Dream Seat winners that are going to provide some opportunities for you guys out there to win your way to compete in that $1 million free roll. Stay tuned to PokerGoPGT.com for news on that sort of stuff when it gets announced. Sure. See Ganyan here turn a pair of queens. He's 100% on this hand. As long as he doesn't fold, checks it back. Nine on the river. The one million dollar free roll likely won't be winner take all today. Thank you for asking. Tossing around some ideas. Probably stick with the 500k first place prize and then have some other payouts within the field. Last season's event, of course, was that 500k winner-take-all event won by Jason Kuhn. Orpin going to bluff at it here. A little bit less than half pot. He, has a bluff. he does. Call. Good call. These guys are playing for a four hundred thousand dollar first place prize, second place two hundred and sixty two thousand, and then one hundred and seventy five thousand dollars for the next player to get eliminated. Nagany in there you see making his first cash of the series. Kerry Katz has the most caches. Came in fourth in this event, has four caches total on the series. Four caches through six events is pretty darn good if you ask me. Thanks. Don't ask me that other fucking hat anymore. <laughs> Fox in here, Ace King. I think it's one point eight five. Alright. Ish. I gotta stop cussing on camera. Freaking yeah, I think it's allowed. You're fine. Yeah, one point eight six. Hand. <laughs> How much is it? Gone in here, eight seven suited. Can certainly defend this from the big blind. Play like a good boy. Call. 
Nine seven deuce one heart. Aganyan takes the lead. Check, check. Ten of spades on the turn. Aganyan still best with his pair of sevens. Picks up an open-ended straight draw as well. Check, check once again. Jack of spades on the river. Completes the straight for Ogonian. <coughs> Ogonian <coughs> hoping that Foxen stabs at this at any point, but... 440,000. Has not done that, and now it's going to just bet pot on the river, Donnie. How does your brain interpret this? You know, check, 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 and then betting pot. Is that is that a common bluff line, or does that smell like value to you? I mean, I, th I think it's more value than bluffs here. It's going to be really interesting to see what Foxen does, because he does have the ace of spades in his hand. Blocking nut flushes from a Ganyan. If he were to do something like rip this in, I mean, it's going to put a Ganyan in a really, really tough spot here. Obviously, there is the chance that that Foxen could have a king queen as well. Second time extension for Alex Foxen. As we all know, the GTO Wizards usually have a variety of options they give themselves based on some frequencies. How much of that here is considering calling, or is it just between folding and shoving? I, I think he's between folding and shoving. 1.3. There Look we that. go. Look at that. Alex Foxen applying the pressure. This is the man that we love to watch play, putting Ogonian in the blender, as they love to say. It's great recognition here by what? Foxen. <laughs> I mean, we can see Ogani has a straight. We can see he has the best hand, but not the easiest spot here. Given the situation at this final table, the money that's on the line, <laughs> flush possibilities, higher straight possibilities. Oganyan prepaying the upcoming time bank. Ex chips he might need. Might need to sip on some on some day one beverage to clear his mind here to figure this out. But this is a really tough spot. It's a good raise, Alex. Good bluffing. Could be a sneaky, sneaky. Checky, checky. I think Oganyan also certainly knows that Foxen is capable of making it a play like this with a type of hand that he has, right? So, you know, you get this from kind of a tighter player, you know, you might toss your hand into the muck. This one, it's closer. Speaking of being capable. Wow, oh, he wow. gives it up. Please don't be a blow. It's a bluff. <laughs> wow. Show him. Shows it. Uh, oh, my God. Aza Spades <laughs> makes Foxen pull the trigger. Nice one. And he just takes the money away from Ogonian. Okay. What a move from Alex Fox. Great. At eight. More shift. He's too good, man. Too good. We saw him make an incredible hero call in event number one against Got Adrian Mateos. Yeah. And now we see this bluff here with Ace High pushing Ogonian off the straight. Thanks. Own. 
Just incredible skill from Alex. Welcome Thompson. to the studio, bro. Huh? <laughs> so welcome to the studio. <laughs> wow. Alex Fox, were you giving happy it to, to him. see three time tanks go in only? <laughs> As in, like, <laughs> if you see them all going, you're like, fuck. I mean, you put them all in right away, didn't you? I put three in. I, uh, I put <laughs> you capped yourself? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Alex Next Foxen play. has now, now has the top two hands of the well series. Like yeah, versus the Just call versus Adrian no Mateos, and now this. 1.5, 1.9. Like, like 2.4-ish. Peter says in the chat, why did he fold? 2.5. That's it. <laughs> You're asking the right question. You have 1.7. I mean, it's easy, it's easy to say when we can see the cards. 1.56. How much did I call for? 80,000. I have 1.7 exactly. Thank you. I mean, at that point, a Ghanaian straight is really just a bluff catcher. And it's pretty much a guessing game. Foxen certainly capable of having better straights there. He also could have backed into a flush. It Correct. worked in Foxen's favor that Oganyan had no spades yeah, in line. his hand. He yeah. didn't block anything <laughs> in that regard. Had the low part of the straight. Nick Panic says, right, I won't do it again. probably the best player right now. Okay. I mean, it's hard to it's disagree. It's, it's hard to argue against Alex Foxen <laughs> right now. I mean, he, he's, he's in Looks the conversation like for sure. You know, you can debate Stephen Chidwick or Jason Kuhn, whoever you want. Throw New him in Fox? the conversation, but Alex yeah, Foxen has to be in that You're conversation. New. Stephen Chidwick, by the way, here, washed up. Three million? <laughs> washed three up. Million. He's not here. Uh, heard he's on holiday. He washed up ashore <laughs> somewhere, <laughs> laying on the beach. I sipping Mai Tais on a beach somewhere. You know, can't hack it anymore. <laughs> Stephen Chidwick falling down the list. <coughs> By the way, Donnie, you mentioned earlier, these points all count, of course, towards the cup, but they also count towards the overall PGT standings. It's going to be interesting to see with the upcoming mixed game series and the PLO series how much more diversified that field will be heading into the summer, and then how many of those players with points are going to try to defend their spot on the leaderboard heading into the fall. Yeah, it's going to make for a really interesting dynamic within that that top 40, you know, players I think about that don't necessarily frequent PGT events outside of the WSOP. I would think like a Benny Glazer, who we saw compete in the PGT Championship last year uh, as a result of his second place finish in the WPT World Championship, but he makes a lot of his points during the summer in the big buy-in mixed game events. I would say someone like a Sean Deeb, for example, you know, very good mixed game player, always excels during the World Series of Poker. Maybe we see him out here for the mixed game series, and he's able to add some points in that regard. Josh Arie, a PLO player, so when it comes time for the PLO series, and then also what he can do at the World Series of Poker, being a former WSOP Player of the Year. Maybe we see him out there in the mix. So it's going to be very interesting to see what types of players we get in that race for the 40 going into that back half of the season, as you mentioned. But listen, listening to this, and these buy-ins are within your reach. Don't wait too long to start collecting <laughs> points. And then you got to figure it helps people like Daniel Negreanu, who will play everything. Uh, I'd probably put Nick Showman in that category, play everything. Um, we know Kerry Katz is going to play everything as well. <laughs> Maybe a little Jeremy Osmus in there, you know, those guys that... They play the, the no limit, but then they also will play the mixed game stuff out there. I like it. I like what we've done. I think it's phenomenal. I mean, just a million dollar cash giveaway at the end of the year. It's pretty impressive. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's being talked about enough. Meanwhile, two pair here for Kasek Shoglu versus Foxen with top pair. Foxen limped from the small blind. Kishikyoglu checked. Foxen bet 160k on the flop. Open call. Now Foxen checks the turn. Of course, two very strong hands. Let's see what Open comes with. A little bit of everything. A little rainbow bet. 280,000.
Fox makes the call. One of the bigger pots we've seen d during three-handed play with potentially a lot more going into the middle. But this card might be a bit of an action killer. But at the same time, it also creates some more room to think for both players. Fox, of course, thinking about, is my ace good? Or been thinking about, how can I get the most value here? Okay. I wouldn't be surprised to see Orpen go big here. Really good spot for Orpen to size up, I think. I could see anything from half pot up to like 120% pot, to be honest. Got some guesses in the chat 900, 330, 600k, 620k. I think if you got gonna, a guess, let us know. I think he's going to bet a million. <laughs> I'll say 1.4. Wow! <laughs> keep going I higher. I have no idea, but... <laughs> that looks like 1.1. 1. 1. 1. 1 million. Wow. Go. I win. You do win. I think we were both right in the theory that he's sizing up here. Orpen connecting with this board in such a way where, you know, Foxen doesn't have... Or, sorry, Foxen could have hearts. Could have a straight... Could view that queen and pairing the board on the river as a good spot for Foxen to pay, pay off with an ace, as we see that he has. Foxen it. certainly knows that Orpen's capable of bluffing. We've already seen it at this final table, and we saw it a bit yesterday when they were deep in the tournament. I just want to say that as someone who doesn't really study the game from a game theory perspective but I just watch a whole lot of poker I love the fact that by watching a lot of poker I'm able to pick up on things like you know he's gonna size up and of course I'm gonna be wrong sometimes but it goes to show and this is the point that I'm trying to make that watching high-level poker really makes you a better poker player because you just start to think about the game in different ways I think our YouTube channel and our poker go subscription channel are great ways to practice the game Foxen is looks confused here. He's on the brink of something. Wrong. Gives it up. Queen Jack. All that close. I up wow. Aram with a close read. Foxen said that's all I could come up with. I mean, that's he was thinking Queen turn. Jack as well. well. Five four. Thanks. Is like a straight draw, like ten of hearts, X, and X of hearts. It's like a good shot. I think a lot of, a lot of checking on these turns. The mind of the brightest players in the world. I don't just know. Like, to hear him talk about it out loud. Jack three. Cool. We'll see it in thirty minutes. Jack three would be sick. Well, can you, we can't even see it ever, huh? Could we see it like on break no, we'll if we wanted to? Yeah, we can go watch on break. Can people like <laughs> tell us in the crowd? Like, oh shit, he fucked you up. <laughs> <laughs> You want to go stand out there and yeah. just, just, just yell at him? Hey, Aram. Thanks, I sh I've been showing He effed you up, man. <laughs> he got you good, bro. I told you, too. I told you the truth. I ain't lying. Yeah, I'm I haven't lied about anything yet. How much are you? They should just pay people to do that. I think it'd be great. It'd be a great <laughs> dynamic <laughs> in the studio. <laughs> just walk into the studio and just yell, like, oh he got you, man. Yo, he messed you up on oh that one, man. Oh, man. Six high oh, bluff. <laughs> he was lying. <laughs> Shout out to all the chat pros. I mean, you guys have really woken up these past couple of hands. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's been incredible to see you guys. 
Rise up. Nicholas said, you think the Turk is bluffing? Well, you haven't watched Orpin play, okay? Definitely very capable. I think last night when there was two tables left, he went three streets with King High. Wow. On a Queen 9, 8, 4, 5 board against Foxen. In position. Foxen folded the river and claimed that he made a bad fold, and Orpin said that he had King 10, I believe, if I heard him correctly. So... Corbin's one of those those guys that, you know, he's a businessman first, or at least formerly, got into poker, and has really taken to improving his game. Hangs out with Nick Petrangelo a lot. Plays in a lot of these huge buy-in tournaments. Talking with some of the best players in the game. There's certainly no slouch by any means. Fox in here making the call in position with just ace high. Orpin's got two pair. River, queen. Orpin with the check mark as long as he doesn't fold. Methodical as always. Orpin takes some time and riffles his chips. It's pretty serious. And yep. Check, check, and Orban's going to take it. Once again, yeah. Orban showing the winning hand here. Fox and quickly dwindling. Yeah, Orban really extending now up over four million. Fox and Ogonian, pretty much neck and neck. Finally catching his stride there, Orban Kesikshioglu, and uh, also gathering lots of points for the aforementioned one million dollar PGT Championship free roll. The top 40 players on the leaderboard in December will play in this event, along with some Dream Seed winners. We're going to announce how you can win one of those Dream Seeds in the next few days. So stay tuned to PGT.com as well as our social media channels because you now, might you be in there million? battling with the best six. of the best for <laughs> that million dollar prize pool. That's right. It's on you, 15 million. Okay, he's only got four, man. That million dollar free roll is certainly a big reason why everyone needs to pay attention to the PGT all season long. Already starting with a bang early on with this Poker Go Cup, and it's only going to get better from here. USPO coming up later in the spring. Bunch of WSOP events, of course. Qualify for the PGT. Back half of the year, we'll have Poker Masters. Have? Super High Roller Bowl likely be back, of course. Whoa. That's like a few one, other two, fun three, things four, up our sleeves. Like one, four, five, oh. Maybe one, four, four, oh, 30, 25, 20. Darla four, Foxen 20. cannot take the points lead if he this gets call, first. How could we ever lose this one at this point? Anthony, who on top of the series time, leaderboard, boys. he'll maintain his lead no matter what happens, but his lead will certainly be trimmed down quite a bit. Me too. How tight? I queen jack o. Okay. Pipe is right. Queen jack o. That is right at this point. Four percent it. <laughs> no, just because me and him have the same, dude. If I was less, I would have fucking told, looked at you and said, I don't like your hat, and, and ripped it all in. So. <laughs> Who's that? My hat? <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with my hat? I'm Armenian, man. Don't you get it? <laughs> uh, you are? <laughs> oh, yeah. You yeah. got neighbors, bro. What's wrong? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're neighbors. When you guys wow. came over one day, you remember? I, I did. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you guys tried to all come so, Some on my table, but I didn't. Yeah, I understand. I don't, obviously, right. I don't hate you. Thank I, you. Don't hate, <laughs> hate my hat either. <laughs> don't like the hat. <laughs> I'll take it off for you. It's Bye. like... No, 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 it's fine. I wear it. Obviously, I don't really care that much. I haven't really said too much about it. I mean, it's a free country. You can wear your hat, dude. <laughs> I think it's a surname in the U.S., no? It's what? It's a surname, no? All in. This guy's all in. That's all I know. Wow, oh, Alex Fox and breaking One up the Turkish-Armenian relationships here. Okay. With a raise, of course, that's a 
very sensitive topic. What did you have on the button just now when you raced? Did you have a calling hand for all the things? Mm -hmm, really? No way. Sick. <laughs> uh, can't lie to me after I let you wear the hat. quickly become you know? one of my favorites. <laughs> ah, I like it. Like I like the style. I mean, I obviously wasn't thinking about it. Like, I don't even know you were. Oh, someone said, someone asked me, they're like, you think he's wearing the hat because he knows you're Armenian? Really? <laughs> yeah, no, someone no. asked me that. <laughs> Some fucking idiot. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> I was fucking around, obviously. I didn't know that. He's sick. Like, I'm, why'd you, I'm why'd you, this thing. Why'd you snitch on yourself, I, was, I thought it was a funny, I, it was obviously a joke. I don't <laughs> I think I'm snitching. I wasn't it. sure. <laughs> I'll tell you that. That'd be sick if... I didn't Orton realize. That I'm not gonna lie. I didn't, I didn't look at his hat. Like I didn't read. I don't read people's hats. I'm. I'm little. I can't barely see. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't notice that he had the hat on. When he said it, it was like all shocking Orton. news to me. And then, Orbit, meanwhile, still all business. <laughs> Sorry, Robbie. It's better than the hand you had against G-Man. <laughs> Give him Rom credit. Uh. Still <laughs> chatting it up with the best of them. What if what if Garrett Adelstein started playing high rollers? Hey, what if? He wouldn't dare. He only plays with like people he knows he can win against. Yeah. He's so weird. He like tried to be a goat once and then he doesn't play anyone. Yeah. And then if he'll play you, he'll be like, let's play one million. Like he'll just say something where like he knows you probably can't afford just to like Leave me alone. He's lucky he got to price you out of it. He's lucky, dude. He he came up on that lawyer that was stealing from his company to play poker with people. It's How much too, do you have out? One point eight. I have more. No, less than that. One point seven. One point six six. How much do you have? One point four. Time bank and fold would be sick. I've never seen that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can just time bank and fold pre-flop. No, that should not be allowed. <laughs> Shoo. Aganyan with the Razor King 6 and takes it down. Aganyan and Foxen almost tied here at the bottom of the counts, but still plenty of room to play with. I fold if you show. Orpen, though, has extended his chip lead <laughs> to 56 big blinds. But a king. I could have made it, uh, you know, like four, four sixty. I'd have been gangster. I would not. Then I would have really felt like I was in the studio. What you said after you left <laughs> me. <laughs> I'm like, damn, he's right. I, am the <laughs> I, I just locked down only play the nuts. I play like that Isaac Kempton kid, only the nuts. <laughs> I fold this this time. I think. Isaac Kempton plays pretty aggressive. You both have the same stack, or? I think so. Yeah. Fighting. One point five eight. Yeah. yeah. But I don't Fighting think for earlier second. in this event. Kempton had any chips to work with, so he was <laughs> just what? kind of waiting around for hands. What you know, that can, that can happen point. in poker. I got 1.4, 20. Surprise. Battle of the eights potentially here. Orpen with a slightly better one. Also suited dominating Foxen's diamond. Good enough to take a flop here. In position on Foxen. 10 4 3 rolls off the deck. Foxen now takes the lead. Oops. If you're just tuning in, our goal today is 1,500 likes on the video. And of course, we're looking to always add a couple of subscribers to our YouTube channel. We're doing the whole stream for free today, so please show us some love. Smash that like button. Let's get to our goal of 1,500 likes. And also, let's get up to 500,000 YouTube subscribers. Can I use my laptop? 
I want to um, book a flight. I got to book a flight. I'm obviously not going to play online. <laughs> <laughs> you going to run some sims up there? Yeah, exactly. Trying to figure out what uh, Fox is I'll doing? Put on the side. Do we go on break after this? I'll do it on break. I understand. One sixty. Fox are trying to regain some chips after being on the losing end for most of this <coughs> level. Fox does take this one down. Damn it. Oganyan back in the short stack position. Don't worry against me, that's fucked up. <laughs> I wanna get second. <laughs> I want to get first. I want to get at least second. Came in second. I want to finish second. I, I had a, guess oh. what I had? We came in one, two, three. Well, guess what? Follow the button in this one. You did. Follow the queen Justice. three. Justice. Queen three suited on the button last time. Good fold, man. Discipline. You I'll opened, open you it, opened that last time you had it. It was different. Yeah. I know. Different situation. We were all closer. I'm, I was just, I'm just like, obviously, I'm just like in a situation where I'm like, all right, I hope these guys just play a big one. <laughs> I was willing to play for a lot there. It looked like it. You see, how much do you have total, just out of curiosity? Three, <laughs> four? Four. Four, three. It's a lot. It's 54, 55 big ones. 53, four big ones. I mean. I'm thinking it's going to be less. It's 240. Lots of math going on in here right now. Yeah. Did we draw already, Alan, or are you about to draw? Brent. We're going in here with the After the same hand, three hand. Yeah, okay, I wasn't sure if I missed. All in. All in is the move. Ace deuce suited from the big blind. Seems to be rather straightforward. Orpen does not oh, have the goods no to way. call with. Come on. Too Here's easy. <laughs> Shows the deuce of diamonds. You'll see it in 30. <laughs> Tilt. <laughs> no, I, I had ace of diamonds. Still tilt. Is that bash up? <laughs> No. Who knows? Gaia, Who knows? I, I honestly don't know. And that's why that's I why laugh because people try to say that I was cheating online. And I'm just like, you guys are idiots. I'm going to use a HUD. <laughs> Who said you were cheating? I uh, agree, they are idiots. I, there was a big, uh, <laughs> they have a Discord chat that I'm not allowed in. Yeah, all the high stakes guys. And they try to say I was cheating. They like uh, Master Dog, you know that guy, MMA? No. Nah. Wooter Burmeses or something like that. Is his uh, he, you ever seen like Bluff This Spot on YouTube? He's the guy that's always coaching. I don't, he know. Texts I don't me. know anyone, I guess. He texts me. He's like in the group chat. He's just like, hey, man, we all know. We all we know. All, about are, you. Yeah, he's like, we all think you're cheating. Like, you're tanking in some spots and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, I tank in the morning when I wake up because I'm literally taking a shit and playing. <laughs> and then I take a shower oh, and continue to play while I'm in the shower. He plays in the shower! Wow. Is that nasty? What? I play sh a shower, shower player. That's some <laughs> level of degen right there, let me tell you. Do you play poker, dealer? You ever, <laughs> yeah, like, in the shower. Play on your computer? Like <laughs> online tournaments and stuff like that? Do you ever do, like, you ever, like, take a shit and play? Four twenty. <laughs> it's four twenty. You ever take a shit and play? Or, like, a shower? You ever take a shower, you're in a tournament, you got, you want to, like, it's early in the morning, you want to take a shower? <laughs> you're like, well, I, I got to fold. <laughs> so you, like, let it time down, go fold. This is unbelievable. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, this is a $25,000 buy-in tournament. There's 400000 up for grabs, and we're talking about <laughs> using the bathroom <laughs> now this and it. <laughs> taking a shower while playing online poker. <laughs> Give this dude a waterproof <laughs> iPad already. Come on. Oh, boy. The wow. rich get richer. Foxen gets out of line there with Queen 4, perhaps channeling that Phil Helmuth energy from last year. What about you? Doesn't work. Do you, do you play uh, online ever? Uh, ever, yes. Lately, no. Have you ever, like, took a shower and played? <laughs> no. Like you, like, you have to take a shower? You want to take a shower? It's early in the morning. <coughs> I have an expensive You're laptop. So. Huh? I have an expensive la laptop. <laughs> I can't go into shower with it. My laptop's 2000. I just put a towel over it, and then, like, I let it time down <laughs> to the end, and I just go fold or go raise, and then I jump back in the shower. Or dry my hands, make sure I don't get the mouse messed up. What, did it go up? No. no. When? Break after this. 
coming up on the next break of the day. You guys, How much do you have, Alex? Sir? You guys can't go anywhere. anywhere. You guys got to keep watching after the it's break also fun. because this tournament so. is just out of control. Let you have some fun. Love to see it. Alex Foxen with 7-3 suited in the small one. A little so refresher on the payouts here. Six. The final three are guaranteed 175,000. 262 for second and 400k for first. So break. Or I can book my flight. Fuck. <laughs> In the shower? Exactly. <laughs> hmm? All right. The players I I, I are about to head here, on cameras. a short break. We will be back in approximately 10 minutes with the conclusion of event six, the 25K No Limit Hold'em final table, led by Orphan Isakshioglu, Aram Oganyan, and Alex Fox, and still in the mix. These chip guns presented by Hair Club. Get yourself a beverage, maybe some snacks. We'll be right back. The truth is, I can only go to the gym with someone that's worse looking than me, you understand? Like, I can't have some dude right out of his mind hitting their bench in 400 pounds while I'm having, having one plate on each side, you know what I mean? I look like a pussy. <laughs> You gotta hang over. You gotta do the cheerleader effect. That's what they call it. Surround yourself with people that are worse than you. So you probably want to go to the uh, weight room with me. A hundred percent, bro. <laughs> that's what we should be doing. I should be hanging out at parties with you. I should be going to the club with you. You know what I mean? Like the gym, like, cause then I'm like. <laughs> then you're slaying. You're the taller guy at the club. That's what I'm saying. You, you can't, more you can't the... go with the Mr. Elite over there, Foxing. Like that's not okay. <laughs> You can take Fox into the club, they'll just think you have a bouncer. Yeah. <laughs> you got a bodyguard. Like, oh, this guy's sick. He can run around with a bodyguard. Sean probably needs a bodyguard. I had a friend that was like your no, size. I mean, I'm a quick runner. But he wasn't yeah, like built, he was more like fatter. But like we just walked through the mall and he, he would like do this to people. <laughs> he would literally <laughs> pretend to be my bodyguard. He was like, he's just my boy. That's funny. He's a good guy. Oh, he's coming in raisin. That's you have a bodyguard, Jeff? I do not. No. Can you believe that? Would you like one? Sure. Cool. I'm cheap. I no. John said one time. The club. He's like, my How much do you I'll protect you out there on your there. Tinder so dates. Like Raya. Little less than one. I think I'll be good. And this dude's head is like be good. one million. Just sit a table. Like, Just like, no, close like, enough. Keep an eye on you. And you don't want to be like, featured on some Dateline special on a Raya date gone sour. Hand, <laughs> I'm going to make sure of that. It's certainly large. true. Thank you. Like a frying pan. Yeah. What is this, like, creature? You know? Like, it doesn't even look like <laughs> Who is human. This? Uh, John Sin's friend. You know, he's just, like, the, by far the biggest person I've ever seen. I've seen him <laughs> yeah. sitting down. It's just like, he's, tall he's, like, or he's, like, 7'1 or something, <laughs> like, 300 pounds, like, 350 or something, just, like, on unlimited drugs. I guess he used to be, like, a wrestler or something. Just, like, roided out this huge, like, enormous... Like what? What is this? Like what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's like dude a on my football. football team. Some dude on my football team was similar. He was like six eight, like three forty, squatted like seven hundred pounds, <laughs> and, his, and his head was like I don't, know, I don't even know what to compare it to. It was like 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 a this, pumpkin this wide. It was like a square, like a big or like a rectangle. Ace King Jack, all diamonds. So he's Adam has aces in guard? four to the he's Royal. A, he's, a, oh. he's not fun to play against. <laughs> Gets the video poker players play excited. Team center, so yeah, I go this, to oh, that's, that's awful. Diamond yeah. draw. I was, I was 245, and they were all like mid threes. Cost him some additional chips. He shot it up to 125K pre-flop, like now fires a very small down bet <laughs> yeah. here on the flop. It's definitely a lot of concussions. One percenter. Has to come running 7-5 seven, or 7-7 seven, seven, or 5-5. Five, five. That's it. Maybe a running straight to chop. Canyon calls. 10 on the turn. Aces and 10s. At least that guy was the same age as me, but like freshman year. I was 18. And there's that like running straight still a possibility. 23. Yeah. And that's 80 be, pounds heavier than me. That's going to be intimidating. I mean, it's just... It's, Got lit up. Here comes Perry, gonna continue to try to represent. Betting 225,000 now. We know Adam is not going anywhere. Royal flush draw, ace is up. He's got the whole world. Yet he may not believe he has the best hand at the moment, given the presence of the one-liner to a straight. 
Best call, which Perry does hate to well, see. I don't throw it a little further. She doesn't have to break a rib. There's a four. Does Perry have it in him to empty the clip? No, he's going to wave the flag. That ace ten is best. Oh, you use like post flop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, don't, I just don't have it in me to. You're not bluffing, me. Yeah, you it's always easier back. to bluff somebody else's chips. <laughs> You're not bluffing anything. <laughs> I'm holding, dude. I mean, bro, I had that's that was nowhere near the bottom of my range when I get to that river. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. I like to bluff with the bottom of my range. I could have had like the deuce eight there. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's that's better. <laughs> Give me <eight> eye. <laughs> Did you make oh, a pair? Orpin no, has turned Savage Mode on. I was hoping for that. Did it diamond. because of his hoodie? Oh, Queen of Diamonds. Just make a royal on TV. I like that. Yeah, yeah well played. Be the, well, thanks. It was mostly I'll get the hoodie. For sure. uh. <laughs> it's the right hoodie to wear when you enter the day with an overwhelming chip uh. lead. Orpin is furious that you cannot wear headphones <laughs> <laughs> at a televised table. You like four? Right now. He hasn't said a word. Or a little bit more. 420. Yeah. 60. Okay. 460. I was hoping it was 20. Perry, how much are you playing? Not enough, bro. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> it's like 650. <laughs> Not enough. Man, I was tied for third in chips there. Now I put myself in six in chips, being an idiot. 40. You're, you're still Locks in four. What am I doing, man? What did you fold earlier? <laughs> You're not folding 7 5 off. <laughs> I just want to just Jack wonder. Tim, oh, I get bored, words, dude. I get bored. I don't know what Alex. I'm supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? Or the king of I mean, I think, I, I think even people watching at home that don't play poker party know you should just let that one go free. <laughs> just look at it and be like, all right, I got dick. <laughs> Whatever. I'll let this guy win. You didn't manifest me having a big hand, did you? I didn't. I had medium hand. How do you, you write about the donkey sitting your right, man. <laughs> You're right about that. I just let the cars do the talking. <laughs> I'm going to let the cars do the talking for the rest of the series. You did get it in really, you get it in good, though. What's that? Did you get it in? How do you get it in? Get it in good. Like, real good. You were 10, 9, 9, 90 out of 100 times you're winning with the 9, 10, 10. <laughs> you know, like that's a good percentage. I just get that situation. That's just like having 20 in blackjack every time. Actually, no, you're you're more favorite than having 20. 20 in blackjack is like 87 percent. You get a 20 to win. If you have 20 and you're playing blackjack, you're gonna win 87 percent of the time. Don't you? Oh, you don't play blackjack, huh? You play baccarat. I play blackjack. I have a stupid strategy, but I don't know losing. Bro, I need these stakes to be bigger, man, so I start playing some poker. 25k buy in, not big enough? Are you going to Bahamas? Fuck no. Why? There's a $250,000 buy in tournament. Bro, I don't play, play poker anymore, dude. But you said you want the stakes to be bigger. Yeah, but then you're only playing against the super pros. In that case, I'd rather just bet sports. It's more fun. You could just right. sit there and fire a sports game and get it over in three hours. Yeah, I heard you fire sports. Yeah, I fire, fire. <laughs> You can also just lose it all. <laughs> yeah, but uh, when you ain't losing, it's not an issue. You know 145. Yeah, that's true. How much are you up this year? Bro, you're asking the wrong questions. <laughs> How much are you of life? <laughs> you're asking the wrong questions. <laughs> all right. I have a very nice inheritance going. <laughs> trust fund kid. I can see. Super trust fund kid. How do you get dealt ace 10, dude? I manifest you not having a big hand, and you just spike two pair on me. <laughs> Sean's really into the I spiked it on you, yeah, I was behind the whole <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah, spiked yeah, you got so lucky hitting that two pair on the turn, that's sick. <laughs> How lucky was I to hit that flop? <laughs> Top pair, royal flush. No, do no, Adam. Into the muck. Take it back. That flop was lucky. Into the muck again. So we've too seen busy time talking. And time again. Second nut, royal flushy. <laughs> you like the fold there with deuces? I know it's correct, Jeff, but I hate it. <laughs> You're gonna give your fingers a rest. Hmm. Beating the shit out of those things. 
Your fingers. You bite your nails, Sam? You little nail biter, huh? Vicious. This guy watches the Laker game and just like has like the under. He's biting the shit out of his. Did you see this dude? He was head banging yesterday. He was watching the score the game of the Clippers, banging his head against the wall over and over again. He will mid out of the out small of blind. Wow, this is sort of interesting by El Jefe off a shorter stack. You used to seeing players just ram and jam. 13 bigs, blind versus blind with a hand like Ace-9. Brandon Jeff told me the needle, can I tell him I like the needle when I play online? Like that laughing emojis. Playing a little bit defensive while also trying, trying to get action and connect with the flop prior to continuing, and it has worked out to oh, perfection. Ace hit three. Good for TV, too. Great for TV. Ace is for cats, tens for Orpin. This could indeed work out perfectly. Quickly, El Jefe fires. Sizable, 170,000. Almost a pot size bet on this flop. Fully committed to the hand, and he has put Orpin in an annoying situation with middle pair. Does have the 10 of spades. Does the sizing allow him to get away, or must we peel once more? Says feel. Right now, Kerry Katz is putting Orpin on a spade draw or potentially an ace. Aces and nines now for Katz. 300K behind, 540K in this pot. You can see, thinking it through, right? Well, if he's got a spade draw, I don't want to give him a free card, but I think he's quite certain he's up against a 10. A beautiful <laughs> trap by Carey, hoping that Orpin may improve by the river. Trying to get that full double up. While also <coughs> allowing Orpin to question whether or not that 10 is still out in front. Seven, five, yeah. Could Carey just be bluffing? I'm going to think about it. It's going to tilt you more and more. I'm think about it. King of Diamonds on the river. Family advice. And you're not kidding. I'm going to take it all to heart. I'm going to say you suck close a lot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. What do you like? Yeah. Is it diamonds? I'm holding it diamonds. All the the inside's engraved with the Star of David. Oh, beautiful. Comstock. Representing that Jewish community. Love it. Do you know Mike? Chase's best friend? Have you met Mike? Silverman? He's like an NBA uh, agent. <coughs> Going to go 100K cool, on dude. the river. <laughs> Just for Orbit again, uh, annoying to face this sort of <coughs> action and sizing. Look at the price he's being laid. Yeah. And for Kerry, oh, I, I really think this is the maximum amount that he can possibly get called. Welcome back once again to the PokeGo Cup 2023, event number six. This is the 25K No Limit Hold'em final table coming at you from this lovely studio, just a short walk from the Aria Resort and Casino Poker Room. Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks are on the call on PokerGo.com. My name is Rem Korinkama, Donnie Peters alongside me to provide you guys with commentary on the proceedings here as we are down to the final three players playing for that $400,000 top prize. Alex Foxen, Aram Oganyan, and Orpen Kisakshioglu are still in the hunt and all guaranteed $175,000 with 400k up top. It's been an entertaining battle so far. Let us know in the chat who you are rooting for. And let's see if we got some more like, fun stories me, to be told. No. I wrote on a piece of paper on GG because <laughs> I couldn't talk. So I just put the piece of paper on and put Google me, Jeff. <laughs> Why couldn't you talk? For some reason, like my sound thing wasn't working on the video post. It was weird. Uh. It, was like a, it was like a glitch because my computer like did some weird stuff and I had to reset it. Maybe you put your worked. computer in the shower and that's why it didn't work. I don't know. Just a thought. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. What do you got, Alex? One point. Million? 
call. Yeah, you wow. wish. You wish Gives I didn't know that that's an easy fold. <laughs> you convinced me for a second. You were thinking about it. I wanted to scare him. You know the ace was obviously winning, but it doesn't matter because. <laughs> Not obviously. It's winning. It's a silly pay jump, right? So it's quite like. That's not us. It's 100k. That's not us, right? I mean, what's it's going on? It's almost, yeah, yeah. almost 100k. It's like 80. 175, 267, 250. It's like 80 for, 400. for us. 86. Oh, yeah, that's not as obvious. Yeah. Like, what I know. <coughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I'm ICM aware. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I just have a well, good card? Oh, yeah. moves all in with 10 nine suited. Oganyan has 14 bigs, Fox has 12 bigs. That's so, I don't know, no, a 10. Lots of pressure to be applied here. This is kind of cool. I have a better seat than you. I think so. You think so? I can steal before. I can steal though. It's dangerous. Well, he doesn't want to call either. It's dangerous. It's not that dangerous because he doesn't really want to call. Robinson. It's stupid for him to call. He could just bully. Why, why would you want to risk not being able to bully anymore? He could still bully if he double you up. He can really bully. I bully even more. So 1.3, 1 1.1? 1 .1? Uh, no. Uh, 1 million exactly. 1 million. Let's see. Don't let him, don't let him win a pot. He's like Shoglu with 9-7 of clubs looking awfully tempting in the big blind, however, not for 500k. Nine high. I don't even know if this is good or not. What is it? <laughs> it's worth 100k now, you know. Did you see it? No. Thank God. You laugh at me like this guy's a fish. Checked enough. No. Love me some of this slow-mo action. Eight, fist pump there. Seven oh. King seven suited. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. I ran I RNG 50 50. <laughs> Gamble, man, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> who cares? It's only 100K for you. Who's been with us in the chat since hour number one? Perk up a little bit if you've been here oh. the whole time. I appreciate everyone for hanging out oh. with us if you're just joining the show. Our goal today is 1,500 likes on the like video. That. We're getting close. What do you got now, Alex? We're getting very close. Oh, we bleed away to this man. 850. 850? Including that one out there? Yeah. Yeah, when I answer, I'll always include it. I'm part of, it's part of my stack stuff. <coughs> I'm sorry. That's right. It is part of sometimes, your stack. Like I, I'm just, I, no, I'm just... Sometimes I'm I can't... I, actually, when you guys ask me, I count this and then say, always tell you guys, we'll plus that, so... Yeah. But I am slow. Yeah, <laughs> I know. And you have, like, 1.4? Me? No, no, no. $50,000 finale kicks off tomorrow asked him. with day one. 1.425. And then Friday, the final table. Plus that. We'll be on Poker oh, Go, sure. as always. Another shove here from Orpin. This is fun, isn't it, Orson? I don't know. Like, you're a sick player, man. It's <laughs> easy, but I don't, I'm not sure if it's fun. It's kind of fun. It's stressful. Right. Like, it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> it's only funny when it's not you. <laughs> you know, like for you, it's not funny for us at no. all. We're fucking pissed. <laughs> but like, but for it's you, so it's easy funny. for everyone right now. It's like, <laughs> yeah. not, not too much. I think like Dave Chappelle said it in one game. of his comedy skits. He's like, we should somehow like change this. I don't know how. Change the incentive structure. To not have these spots. Let's modify the game. That would be sick. I can't come up with any way to do it, but. Bro. It's fucking nonsense. I had one of those cards. Standard. Yeah, I had a good. Don't blame me, dude. Blame the dealer. He's yeah. giving me. A, it's not my fucking fault that I look down at Ace Nine, King Seven, suited. Like, yeah. Fuck? No. The dealer, why are you giving me good cards? They want me to have bad cards. <laughs> give me bad cards. Give him good cards and give him better. <laughs> 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 that sounds. <laughs>
Fuck, fuck me. Don't worry about me. Pretty sure I still win this tournament, though. How still. tilted is Alex right now? <laughs> he got the big bluff through and everything. Hold on. I played every hand. Damn it. Pretty oh, right. But applying the pressure oh again. Gosh. <laughs> think about it. Think about it. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a call. Could be. Yeah, you might have him dominated. I, I might I might make... I think if it folds to me, like, and I had this stack, he had that stack, and you were in the big blind, I was small blind, I would shove that. No, I wouldn't. And that's like a shove in a satellite. Who knows? That's a shove in a satellite, because if you get... You're so, like, when you're supposed to only get called by aces, it's like if you get called by aces, it, it performs the best, right? So it becomes a shove in a satellite. You're a genius, man. That one's a shove in a satellite. <laughs> I learned that because Arthur Martorskian shoved that shit against me in a satellite. I fucking won. <laughs> and I thought, thinking, like, why does the idiot shove 7-I? And I was like, oh, okay, makes sense the more I think about it. Yeah. You just got to lose money to learn. <laughs> Is that why you're here? <laughs> yeah, I'm here to just lose and learn. I'm here to lose in second. <laughs> Maybe first. If, I can, if we get this heads up, I'm, I don't know. I'm sick. Was he as talkative he yesterday, Donnie? Oh, yeah. Play? Yeah. I, a little bit less so. But nope. Very talkative for sure. He played at the table with Sean Perry a lot, and obviously we know how talkative Sean Perry is. He tends to take over the moment. <laughs> He, he drags everyone else down <laughs> with him. <laughs> MN3 Gunner says, been here the whole time. Appreciate it. Darla has been here again all day. Appreciate it. Jeffrey Owen as well from the start. Blatt says, I only joined on the hour mark. Well, still part of the crew. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Taylor says, when's Still's the 50K? Alex. 50K is streaming on Friday. No, genuine. Fox and taking a shot Poker, here. Yeah. Calls with 9-8 off. Flops a pair of nines. Orpin raised the button with 6-5 off. Good luck to you, sir. Min bet 100,000 from Orpin. Dancing now, Donnie, on oh the yeah. on the tightrope. We're dancing on the three big blind stack. <laughs> Ace on the turn. Good card for Foxen. Is this like the ultimate mind game, Donnie? Like, are are you sure you're gonna bet again, knowing yeah. that I'm this short? <laughs> Two seventy-five. Like, are are we stepping outside of the GTO realm, and does this become a mind game? I mean, there's certainly mind game elements that that are at play right now. I see him elements as well. Not sure if we're going to see Orpin fire again, or if he's just going to kind of concede. He does check back. Three of diamonds on the river. Locks it up for Fox, and as long as there's a showdown. Foxen. Is Orpin going to bluff it? Yes, he is. Look at that. Wow. Two hundred K is the bet. Foxen has two seventy five left. Wow. Foxen also with just one time extension, it looks like. I just don't see how he can fold here. Makes the call. Fold with Queen I? 
Six high for Orpin. What is it? A nine. pair of nines for Fox and gives him this pot. Huge equity swing there for Oganyan all of a sudden. I with wish Fox and chipping up again. a lot cooler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck. I have clean jack. Okay. <coughs> Congrats, Alex. Thanks, Aram. How much do you have? Uh, that should be like 1.2. Dog fight again. We got 1.4 almost. 1412? Yeah. All I'll, right. I'll make sure that that's right. Yeah, 1275. And you've 1.4? 1375. Ooh, we're even. How are we even? You have 1.2. <laughs> I have 1275, and you have one. I mean, we're pretty yeah. fucking even. Well, you got 1225. Well, I had four or five off. Fuck, it was I only probably was gonna win then. I had ten six off. Your stuff, pretty. Huh? Five six, all in. He pulled. I pulled. I pulled Queen Jack. He pulled Dana. I almost shoved Queen Jack. But I was like, no, Alex is so short. He probably has aces. I just fold. <laughs> It's kind of a sweet board. It's like, oh, it's pretty hard to have aces now. Yeah, right? <laughs> Kings, though. Kings, yeah. It's like, I guess you could have queens, but kind of thin. I didn't expect him to have that. I thought, he had, I thought he had, like, jack deuce or aces, king, you know, jack two, jack three. No, I, I felt like it was that. Jack deuce was high card, man. I'd rip it on you guys if I was him, man. Jack deuce. That's what, that's what I said. You'd rip. I think you would too. No, I would min raise that one because it's like so bad. Min raise full. Yeah. That's why he wouldn't have Jack Deuce because he would shove it. No, I would min raise full Jack Deuce. Uh oh. I would shove, I would shove like Jack five. We're just here watching the show, Don. Try to stay oh, yeah. with the weak Jack. Let these guys yeah, figure it out. The Deuce versus the five makes a huge difference. Yeah, it does. Not really. Yeah, I guess fives and fours don't call. I don't know. I'm not that good in these spots. I'm just going all in when I have a good hand. Here's I'm like making a it Orpins bio. First on Turkey's all-time money list. <laughs> you got that figured One out. WSP bracelet. Yeah. Entrepreneur turns. Thing. Serious. You learn when you play with like. That's why you came here, right? When you play with like Alex Ponikovs all the time. You learn. <laughs> like these guys are sick. He's probably the best. He's so sick. You ever see his final table hands? He's just the biggest gangster I've ever seen play poker at the final table. Like one time he busted like ninth right away, and the announcer was like, he must have been in a hurry. <laughs> Careful. All in. Okay. Okay. You're beat. I was careful, don't worry. There's an ace of trap is that. How do you get a fucking ace there? Easy. How does he just fold? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he wants to let us fuck each other up. Smart man. Oh, yeah. Thank you all so much for tuning in. 1,400 likes. We just hit it. 1,500 was the goal for today's stream. Please smash that like button if you've enjoyed the content so far. Still three-handed here with 400K up top. We're going to be here until the end. Much appreciated for everyone joining us. Let us know where you're watching from. Hopefully, the Europeans that are watching yeah, can still stay awake. Else? Another one? It's getting wow. late out there. <laughs> what do you have, Alex? I had the hand we just discussed. Oh, what do you have? Oh. A million? Yeah, 975. That. Fox and tosses Jack Deuce into what the dark. And, uh, yes. Almost at 1,500 likes. Also, we're about 80 One, two, new seven. subscribers away from 367,500. I love new subs. Yeah, see, that's that's the mini goals. I'm all about the mini goals. It, so I love new subs. Yeah, every time. Now I've asked you that like three times. We all you love new subs. You're always going to include it. So I have to keep asking you. That's fair. Yeah, I don't know what my brain's going to do. You know? Yeah, no, I know. You're Sometimes I got to just uh, be like, Fox and back below 10 me, bigs. <laughs> I'm like Doyle. Gives up the button. Mind your business, son. <laughs> Kisachikoglu picks up a pair of threes. Oh shit, Alex. 10-4 <laughs> into the muck for I, I, got, I got some action. I was excited, yeah. <laughs> my tens, I call. Yeah, I was hoping you had tens. I know you were. So was I.
<laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to slow roll you there. <laughs> I kind of slow rolled you. Kind of fucked up. That's all right. Jeez, 1.1. <laughs> what a stupid game, tournaments. <laughs> They're great. Ace eight of diamonds here for Orban. Probably going to see another shove. Hold on. There it is. Wow. All in again. Oh, Onion, quick to give up the wow, ace. Wow, I had ace off. eight. Wow. Wow. <laughs> no way. Fox snaps, it snaps it off. off. Wow. Oh, wow. I, I flipped those cards over. I had ace eight off. What a sick game. Two more eights? Two more. And diamond. I have no diamonds. You know what you want, really? Five, five, six. That's five ones? Just five, five, six. <laughs> five Don't That's greedy. One diamond. <laughs> That's greedy. One diamond, though. Ah. Five, five, six, you can chop a lot. You don't want, you can't chop with no high card bullshit. How about Jack <laughs> 6 3? Alex Fox and at risk here with the best hand. Let's <laughs> see if he can double up here yeah, versus how did I the chip have leader. Ace two? Uh, one of us could have easily had aces this hand. The, you're lucky that he had a hand because <laughs> otherwise you would have shoved into me and then you'd be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Queen oh boy, 10 boy. 9, two oh diamonds. <laughs> wow. Oh boy, boy. What a flop. <laughs> it's, it's actually good because the Jack is, doesn't mean shit. Well, okay. I, I still don't think it's good, but I agree with that part. Well, like he's <laughs> better than some. He only has a flush. Plus. Like he probably can't hit an eight. Twelve outs eight. twice for you Orpen. Know, like, has, yeah. Still a coin flip. <laughs> the two, two or three favorite. King on well, the now turn. Jack's cool. <laughs> still nine outs. Just let it be red. Because actually, Yoga looking for a diamond here I want to, see, to send uh, Fox how, into the how rail. How fast is Alex Hart beating right now? Probably not fast at all. Like too rich. Twenty. Like River card. Five. Ace wow, of spades. Alex Fox finds himself a double up. Orpin remains the current chip leader with 400k wow, Titus awaiting right. the winner. Out of Dodge way. But this is still a big fight. I was so pissed off when he shoved. <laughs> Huge double up there for so Fox. <laughs> <laughs> really puts the pressure on Agonian. No, it's okay. I'm not that mad. What do you got, 1.8? Orpin's still um, all right, you know. Yeah. A little, uh, little chink in the armor, but not too bad. Five. Still 44 big oh, yeah, blinds. No, 1.9 even. 200k for me and Mr. Kisachi Koglu. He should, I had 875. <laughs> yeah, 875. Yeah. Okay. Eight, Here's a look back at the Fox and reaction. There's 150. Okay. So faded it. Faded all of it. No, 1.9. 1.75 plus 150. Oh. 1.5. You have 1.8. No. 1.9? Yeah, I mean I know that you math said is 1. tough. 5 plus 150. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm 875 plus. You said f never mind. Um, math very I don't tough. Know what I'm thinking. Gone in here. 11 bigs and ace seven off on the button. Puts in the majority of his chips. You're right. You are in the. You are in the best seat. How much you had? Like 1.1. 575 back. Orpin has him pipped with Ace Eight. I mean, how does this not end up in the middle here? Ace High, three-handed play, oh. short stack for oh. Young. There it is. All in on a call. Fuck. Ace eight versus ace seven. <laughs> How happy are you? So lame. Could've Dominated, but I mean, he could chop here. Gosh, it's a uh, one point one seven five. So lame, he said. <laughs> we can do it again, boys. We did it once. I'm probably not gonna do it. Oh, Ganyan looking for some help I'm here, or he will be, he will be our third place finisher. I was going to say I'm rooting for you, but I can't say that, so I'll just root for no one. I don't care. Root for a chop. Queen 4-3 oh rolls off hearts. the deck here. Backdoor Four hearts, hearts available. Four hearts. They made the chops. They, they just killed the chops right on the flood. Four hearts. Uh, I mean, yeah. Or, yeah, four hearts. I just, the four hearts. One of the best non-chop Turn flops. cards. Six oh, of okay. hearts. Now hey, we got old. some outs. Smack Fifteen them of them. Big Su Whoop. 
crying emoji right now. I'm laughing right now because I have the six foot. <laughs> I got a sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Very six foot. Someone's got to make a flush around here. River oh card, boy. queen GG. of clubs. <laughs> that is not the card that Aram Oganyan was looking Hello, for. Thanks. And he will be our third place finisher. Alex Fox versus there. Orpen yeah. Kisakshioglu. Heads up for the title. Right. The Aram takes $175,000. <laughs> Back home to Los Angeles. Yeah. A little cry emoji there for him on the turn. Couldn't hit his outs. It was a fun. It was a. It was a blast having him at this final table. But now two very serious players going at it. Heads up play about to commence. Here are the final table chip counts presented by Hair Club. Orban with a big lead versus Alex Foxen. We'll be taking a short break to get ready for heads up play. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in about four minutes to show you guys the conclusion of this event. See you in a few. Short stack though? This is absurd. Event number seven <laughs> is underway, is it not? The tw next 25 Are we on the schedule? Big line? Yeah, going on like the same stack, no. right now as we uh, speak. Nice Just sort of getting started okay. around 14, okay. 15 initially. Obviously, re entry. It's included, but uh, we mentioned Danny Negrano. He just made a straight flush. Oh, that's a good one. And you can find the live reporting. I would pgt.com slash live reporting of the 25k buy-in current chip leader masashi oya oh anthony who is in there shulman and again this is just getting underway so the updates are early and we expect them to be joined by these six when their day ends fox in the king nine off about 20 picks to start the hand In game sweat. Yeah, give him a sweat. Perry's going to take a look. Ace, King, Nine. All spades. So Action. two pair for Foxen. Adam has the flush draw. He does. And a favorable texture, typically trying to represent this sort of board. Oh, does better the raising the button. Here. Foxen knows that Adam can be wide sure targeting these turn. vulnerable stacks. I'm not in the hand. This is fascinating. I won't do it no more. He just asked. And no, but I mean, we are playing a serious game. Like, okay, we won't. We won't do it again. Sorry. Truthfully, you, at, you probably don't want me seeing your cards anyway against Foxing because he's only got the best of me my whole life. He just looks at me and knows if whether I have it or not. And there's a limit of. We won't do it again. Not sure. Firm warning from tournament director Paul Campbell. And it's King's full now for Foxing. Just turns him stone dead. You saw the exchange where Adam allowed Perry to look at his cards. That upset Orp the Turk, and rightfully so. Yeah, no. cash game is different. Damn, what are you Much even different than cash game? Bro? This is a tournament. Holy shit! Chicken and waffles, man. You're eating chicken and waffles and look like that now. All I eat is chicken and waffles. This is just music to Foxen's ears. I believe he knows right now. It's very likely that 
Aganyan is trying to line up a triple barrel all in, no matter what that river card is. Queen of spades in his hand, not going to be a bad exactly. card to do that's, it with. That's regardless why he's drawing it up, Jeff. He's trying to represent that he can have the nut flush in this spot. And we know Foxen will be there ready to pick it off. Oh, well, He yeah. does make the flush on the river. So it's no longer a bluff here. But it does look prime for an Alex Foxen double up. Welcome back once again to the 2023 PokeGo Cup live from the PokeGo studio in Las Vegas. This is event number six, a 25K no limit hold'em event, and we are down to just two players. Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks are on the call on PokeGo.com. My name is Rem Karinkama, joined by Donnie Peters to bring you guys free coverage here on the YouTube channel. We're gonna see these two players battle it out for 400K. Who you got? Let us know in the chat. Who do you wanna win? Kasich Joglu finished sixth in event number one, so he already has some points. Alex Foxen finished second in event number one for 153K. So Donnie's about to update us in just a few minutes on the current standings and the implications that this run is going to have for these players with two events still to come. 25K No Limit going on right now. You can follow the live reporting on PGT.com of that event, streaming tomorrow live on YouTube and Pokego. And then we have a... 50k buying event on Friday streaming as well. Lots of stuff going on, and the winner of this event will get 400k and that beautiful trophy, that little small trophy that'll look so good on any mantle. But of course, they are all eyeing the points for the big, heavy silver Poker Go Cup that sits on set until a winner is crowned. Kasich Shioglu has a big chip lead, 58 big blinds versus 16 big blinds of Alex Fox. Mm -hmm. Yep, 1.65. Whenever you're ready, Donnie, hit us with the stats. What, you have threes that last time? Well, both mm -hmm. players are threes. currently Which? in the top 10 the of the no. leaderboard yeah. when you factor in the no. points that they've earned so I far. A A6. Second place getting 158 points in this event. First two. place getting 240. Probably. If Orpin does win, he'll go up to just shy of 300 points. Be sitting in, I believe it's all second in. place. Wow, and if Foxen, Foxen wins, nope, my turn. He'll be sitting in second place. No one can overtake <laughs> Anthony Hu, <laughs> but they can cer certainly put themselves in better contention heading into the final two events of the series. Of course, up top, $50,000 championship bonus and the right to be called the third ever Poker Go Cup champion. Daniel Negreanu won the first one, Jeremy Osmus won the second one. This is the third Poker Go Cup in history. Negreanu, of course, still in contention. How many points does Negreanu have? Doesn't he have two min caches so far? Negreanu has two min caches. Yeah, he cashed this event last night, squeaked in there. Uh, he's got 48 points. Wow, that's <coughs> nothing. That, that is nothing. Likely going to take a result in the f the other 25K that kicked off today and then a big result in the 50K for Negreanu to be able to earn his second Poker Go Cup title. In addition to Anthony Hu being on top of the leaderboard, Aram Zobian is up there. Ed Sebest is up there. Kerry Katz, who we saw take fourth place in this event, is up there. Adrian Mateos has had a few final tables. He's in... Fifth place, Eric Seidel, Sean Winter, Justin Saliba, Nick Shulman, and Alex Foxen's better half, Kristen Foxen, also in the top ten. <coughs> Two mediocre hands battling here. It's a flip on the flop. Turn card brings the eight of spades, giving Orpen a pair of eights. Orpen, of course, looking to chip away at Foxen for when that moment comes that they finally end up all in and hopefully by then Foxen's stack will be small enough for him to take a few hits. If he were to lose, of course, because 
Orban has been on the right side of things quite a few times today. Seeing support for both players in the chat. Always love to see it. We're closing in on 1,500 likes, by the way. Donnie's prediction is coming true. Yeah, let's go. My people, get us there. <coughs> Orban with the bet. Looks like 200K, perhaps. Only 150. The Battle of the Hats is blot. Lots of hats Battle today. Battle of the Hats, sorry. <laughs> we saw a lot more hats today. Foxen lays this one down and is now down to 16 big blinds. All right, what do we got here? A 2022 to remember for Orban Gisakshioglu. 12 caches. Six six-figure score, one seven-figure score, cashing for a total of 4.3 million, finishing 65th on the PGT standings. Puts into perspective how hard it is to get to the top of the PGT standings because 4.3 million wasn't even enough to get into our end-of-year free roll. I think we're going to see him make the PGT championship this year. Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's, that's right. what we're going to see from Orpen. But also, who's going to miss out on him? Owen. Here goes Foxen. I think we're going to see Phil Ivey miss out. I mean, the cash just looks so sweet. It does. But yeah, it's gonna, it does. It's going to be a tough battle. Uh, I think we saw two players from the World Series Boker Main Event Final Table qualify. Was it two or three? I know it was two. Three qualified. Three qualified. One played. So that's already three spots that we're guaranteeing, basically, because of the amount of points available in the World Series Boker Main Event. Yeah. I mean... Or is it just the, the winner? Wi the winner for sure. Yeah. Um, I just don't know where the that line is to get in, you know. <coughs> I mean, it'll probably be top two. We'll get in, and then third BFE this year, depending on how things shake out over the course of the season. Fifteen hundred likes, got there. Love it. Beautiful. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. Now I want 2,000. Let's go. Things have quieted down quite a bit since we lost, well, of course, Sean Perry earlier, but then Aganian as well. Probably over under nine and a half words between these two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely gotten a lot quieter, that's for sure. If you like the video, thank you so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Help us grow the channel. The more we grow, the more chance we have of giving you guys free content. Because it makes us look good to our bosses. <laughs> you can tell them we hit some good numbers, and then they let us do this more often. So, <coughs> Fox and fires the turn, 150k. Half pot. calls eight on the turn gives Foxen not only a straight but the nut straight Fox has found creative ways to extract value <coughs> or to get his opponents to fold when he needs one let's see what he comes with right now Four fifty. Four fifty is the bet from Foxen. Seventy five percent pot. Trying to get some value here. Heads up poker with a pair. Not the easiest spot. 
especially against a capable player like Alex Fox. And we already saw him pull off one incredible bluff earlier. Is that on Orpin's mind? He does lay it down. This is a fold here. <laughs> Good fold. Orpin, of course, trying to conserve that chip lead, not give Foxen too much room to play. Foxen, meanwhile, up to 21 big blinds versus the 54 big blinds of his opponent. There you see the chip denominations. We're down to two. Just got the purple 25Ks and the yellow 100Ks. Everyone seems to be hating on Foxen's hat. I, I don't really understand. I like it a lot, I actually. Know, what's wrong with it? Yeah, I like, think it looks good. Gives me some uh, L.A. Chargers vibes. Yeah, I don't I don't really understand the, the dislike towards the hat. I mean, I don't get it. Maybe I'm not a hat guy. I don't know. My head's too big. <laughs> There's almost no hat that fits me. King-9 versus Jack-9 here. Two strong hands and heads-up play. Queen-5-7 rolls off the deck. We're playing a limp pot. Kay. Looks like a grandma hat. People the hat is great <laughs> for my girlfriend. People I mean, you guys are harsh. People in the chat ain't got no style. Do some of the turn. Pot staying small. Feels like Fox and definitely treading carefully here, knowing that he can't afford any missteps. said the hat is an ugly hat. Someone else said it's bedazzled. <laughs> Someone else said it looks like a hat an eight-year-old would wear. <coughs> Orange said wear a silly hat so your opponents underestimate you. I really think the level here is a little bit too high for those kinds of gimmicks. <laughs> uh, interesting. Foxen does not want to play for a potential thin showdown here with King High and Orpen gladly rakes in the chips. high here for open on the button. Perfect raising hand. Let me take a quick look at the live reporting of event number seven action underway inside the studio. Currently, Daniel Negreanu, second in chips. Adrian Mateos, third in chips. We see Dan Smith, Isaac Haxton, Jason Kuhn also in the top ten. Registration of this event is still open. Final table streaming tomorrow on PokerGo and also on our YouTube channel. Can Daniel Negreanu finally make a final table stream, Donnie? La last cup he made a few. That would be great if he could do it. We all love some D negs, that's for sure. I mean, Jeffrey Owen does make a really good point. If Kristen gives you a hat, you put the hat on, and you don't <laughs> talk back. There you go. Happy wife, happy life. Okay, that's, that's how this works out. That's true. It does look good on him, though, so Kristen really understands what, what goes well here. All right, bring in those beats. Show us what you got. 
Another look at Orbit's career highlights. The first cash, I was there. Eighth place finish in EPT Berlin in 2011. Then his first six figure score in 2017. Seven figure score 2019. And his biggest cash came last year. So the only way is up for Orbit Kisakshioglu. The question right now is though, can he add a victory to his resume here inside the Pokego studio? We're gonna have to wait and see as Alex Foxen picks up Ace Three of Hearts. All in. All in is the shove. Orpin not gonna find a call with the nine seven off. Even a deuce looks tempting when you're playing heads up. How do you guys like heads up play in the chat? It, it always intimidates me a little bit because you don't get to play it a whole lot. And all of a sudden you're faced with one opponent having to be involved in every single decision that's made at the table. Some players do shine when it comes to this one-on-one -on -one battle. We saw Jason Kuhn beat 275. Phil Helmuth on high stakes duel. Fox in here correctly assessing that Kisakshioglu is, is weak. Orpin does make the call with eight two suited, Donnie. How do you how do you feel about that play? I mean, you certainly have to open things up in heads up play. Eight two suited, probably close to the bottom of the hands that he would play in position. But you know, limb calling, the pot's not getting too crazy, so probably all right. We see Fox in here flops the top two. Orpin with just some backdoor draws, backdoor diamonds, some backdoor straights in there. That's on the turn. Orpin just a, a non-believer, Donnie. What, what's the incentive here to call a bet on the flop there with 275? You can just have some backdoor equity. <coughs> Maybe your opponent shuts down and you can take it take it away on a later street, but you know, you gotta get creative in heads up play. You can't just sit there and wait for hands because it's hard to make hands. It's hard to make hands when you're forced to play that was two, right? every pot and heads up poker. I think one I know I'm supposed to be the big blind, so yeah, I think it was one actually. Yeah, that was the first one because I, I yeah. yeah, I remember I'm big blind for the level. Of that was a long hand. That's yeah.
Boxing once again with a strong hand here. Ace four suited, and he's slowly chipping up. I feel as though the longer this takes, the more the advantage is shifting towards Alex Fox. I'm telling you, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, probably because the longer it takes, the more Alex Foxen would be sticking around and knowing that he has a shorter stack. You probably think that he's probably doing some chipping up in order to stick around longer. See Orbin here. I mean, flopping, me, a, flopping a flush. Let me tell you, it's going to be hard for Alex Fox to <laughs> chip up in this situation. <laughs> Does have a pair of fours, so. Little min bet here from Foxen after Orpin checks. How do you hide the fact that you flopped the flush? Orpin just trying to run through all the scenarios. This, of course, a limp pot, so Foxen in many cases not going to have the top of range stuff. Another diamond on the turn makes things interesting. Orpin, of course, with the eight, hi eight high flush. Straight flush draw. That also. Fox is certainly capable of representing if he wants to. Check, check. Queen of diamonds on the river. A fifth the diamond. Orpin with that super flush. Seven diamonds. flush board here. Orpin trying to get tricky, hoping that Fox might stab at it. Or maybe Donnie, he's scared of a bigger bigger diamond. Could be scared of a bigger diamond, but might just have to pay it off against Alex Fox. 350. Boxen plays the board. Orpin shows a better diamond, and this is one of the, or this was the biggest pot of heads-up plays so far. Alex Foxen down to just 13 big blinds after this hand. Orpin playing it very casual, very cool, and that has led to a far greater chip lead right now, and a better chance to win this event. Here's a look at the final table payouts. These two players are guaranteed $262,000, 400K for the winner. The lines have gone up. We're playing 75K, 125K. King. Huge potential for him here. Of course, you've got to have a little bit of luck with the cards your opponent receives in these heads up battles. Randall asks, Does Foxen work out? No, I don't think so. I think he's just naturally <laughs> looks like someone who goes to the gym seven days yeah, a week. Just naturally buff. No big deal. <coughs> Former college football player, so. A, uh, a tight end for Boston College, I believe. Yep. Fox in here getting way out of line with 8-4 offsuit, making the 325K to go, putting himself in a really, really awkward position as this might be the moment where Orpin just moves all in on him. Mm 
He does move all in. Very quick fold from Alex Foxen, who is now down to just nine big blinds. Can he make a comeback, or is it going to be over soon? 75 on 25, right? By the way, speaking of football, we're amidst the NFL playoffs. Donnie, who's going to win the Super Bowl? The Chiefs. Again? Yeah. The Chiefs. All right, chat, tell me what you got. Who's, well, who's going to be in the Super Bowl? How about that? And who's going to win? Who do you got against the Chiefs? I will go with the Dallas Cowboys. Wow. Would that be the first time for them to make the playoffs since, like, the mid-'90s? Well, the Super Bowl, you mean. Well, to make They've Super Bowl. They've been in the playoffs. Yeah. Um, yeah, I believe, yeah. It's been a while. It has been <coughs> a while. Yeah, I'm just not fully bought into the whole Brock Purdy thing, as good as San Francisco is. The Eagles, I, I don't know. Jalen Hurts nursing that, that injury. Not exactly sure what to expect from them. I Are think the Cowboys might have the highest upside. Of course, it's the Cowboys. We can see them do stupid things all the time. And then I still think the Chiefs are just a class of the AFC. For as, you know, the Bengals obviously closed the season really well. The Bills are, are the Giants for real? quite a good team. I mean, they're for real. I just think that their ceiling is lower than a lot of other teams. I mean, they're playing to their ceiling, right? Brian Dayball's been doing an incredible job with that team. He's really turned around Daniel Jones. Saquon looks like an animal. Defense is playing all right. You know, they have really no big-name wide receivers, but they're getting the job done. Oh, wow, oh, all in on the call. Go. Orpin all in with 10-8 offsuit. Foxen snaps it off with Queen Jack. And this is an amazing spot for Alex Foxen, but still, you got to fade those outs. We can't start over again. Yeah. <laughs> we could be starting all over again, indeed. Kind of. More fun if we have like 30 bigs. Let's see if Foxen can stay alive you in this can make tournament. That happen. Or I guess he can make that happen. Or perhaps Orban. Are you too late for the. No. Orban making oh, sure he can so still get into the next tournament here. As 8 5 so Deuce rolls off the deck, Alex Foxen just six out to stay in the tournament. Nine. Orban Kazak Joglu, very nine. close right, to winning that 400k That's top prize. Nine. Turn card. Deuce of spades. That's not good. We're down to the river. Can Orpen close it out? Or is Alex Fox going to start a little bit of a mini comeback? Close. River card. Feel it. Jack of clubs. Jack Alex oh. Fox and stays in the game. All right. Play continues. Here we go. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Back, Alex Fox. Back to where we started. Not dead yet. We are exactly to back where we started. 43 big blinds versus 16 big blinds. Alex Foxen binking the river. Smash that like button if you enjoy the content. What a river card for Alex Foxen. Thank you all so oh. much for chiming in. What happens if in. we're still playing and... Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's the, like, it's going to be really close. I'll be fucked up to not be able to. <laughs> Alex Fox is making sure he can get into the next tournament. Here. Orpen, of course, feeling the same. Doesn't mean anything. There's 16 minutes left in the, in level six. So we have at least like a half an hour. Yeah. At least. 35 minutes. Okay. That's it. Oregon Coast says the NFL playoff analysis was actually accurate. Yeah, Donnie Peters knows more about football than poker, guys. Come on. That's right. No gamble. Or Gridiron Gamble. Yeah, check out my podcast. Gridiron Gamble. Find it wherever you listen to your podcasts. It's myself, Rich Ryan, Brett Coulson, Mo Nuara. I'm actually supposed to record an episode tonight, but this is a... Uh, we're still here. Yeah. 
my uh, my the, these guys are trying to register a tournament. I'm trying to go record another podcast. <laughs> my local bike shop. Shout out to Swanee Cycles in Henderson. Was just texting me. Are you gonna come pick your bike up, bro? I'm like, yeah. When the tournament's over, <laughs> we're here watching the big guys play. You can't just walk out on this. And clearly, they want they want to get it done too. I mean, they obviously want to win, but they want to get it done because they want to get into that that other 25k in order to chase the points. All about the points at the Poker Girl Cup. Foxen with a pair of sixes. 350. Orpen takes the betting lead. 350. 350. Foxen also with the backdoor flush draw. Foxen does make the call. Orpen almost drawing dead here to running threes. King is going to make sure that he's running dead, but still, Foxen, Foxen's hand is not that strong. Perhaps he's going to try to barrel him off of it. Do you guys think Alex Foxen has another comeback in him? One more double up, and he would be the chip leader. Orpen now slowing down. Probably just what Fox wanted to see, trying to get the showdown as cheap as possible with his pair of sixes. Wow, six on the river is going to make Fox feel a whole lot better about his hand. If Orpen bluffs now, that's going to spell disaster for him. Let's see if we can get 40 more subscribers to our YouTube channel by the end of the stream. Okay. Keeping track. Please smash the subscribe if you're having a good time. We got daily clips coming out on our YouTube channel. And we're going to have daily coverage as well, of course, of the 2023 World Series of Poker. So you might as well get ready now. <laughs> I'm going to guess that, uh, that Fox and Bluff is going to be a daily clip. Oh, 100%. Oh. I already requested it. <laughs> there you go. Fox and moves all in on the river. Orpen folds and Foxen now up to 2.8 million. S. Mosk says, I pay for Poker Go, but I watch on YouTube. Hey, man, much love to you. That also means you get to watch the new season of High Stakes Poker, which starts to air in just six days. Yes, in six days, we have High Stakes Poker Season 10 premiering on PokerGo.com. Use promo code H WatchHSP10 to save $20 on your annual subscription. And of course, when you are an annual subscriber, you also get to watch all of our World Series of Poker streams. We'll be doing plenty of stuff on YouTube as well during the WSOP, but to get the full experience, you're gonna wanna have to have that sub. JD asks, can anyone buy in for this tournament? Yes, anyone can buy into these events. If you want to show up tomorrow, if you got 50k in your pocket, okay. sit right down with the big boys. Annual subscription, I believe, is is it 69.99 for the year? If you take the, if you use the discount no, code, 79.99. Seven if you use the discount code, there we go. We've arrived on the turn in a limp pot flop when check check. Fox and bets the turn with twenty three percent equity. Orpen probably sniffing out that his king high might be good. He is going to make the call.
875 in the middle here. Foxen hits a nine on the river to win this hand if it goes to showdown. Foxen bets. And Orpen now with a tough decision with just King High. Donnie, if he was sniffing out that his King High might have been good on the turn, does the nine change anything for him? Not a whole bunch. Also think Orpen's considering that he has no hearts and hearts missed. So there is the chance that Foxen could be bluffing here with a missed flush draw. We've seen Orpen be put in some rather tricky spots throughout the final table and he seems like he's really always made the correct decision whether that be to make the call or to fold. Nine. He it's does nine. make the call. Bad news for Orpen as Foxen wins, in a, wins another big hand and we are virtually tied oh, here. Over. After earlier Orpen was one card away from winning this tournament. Yeah. 31 big blinds for Orpen. 29 for Alex Fox. If, uh, if we do get to the end, I assume you want to play the other one. What do you mean? If we do, if we do, if we're still playing when like Reg is about to close, I'd be, I'd be happy to like chop then and kind of. Yeah, sure. I mean, like whatever. We can decide. It. Yeah, okay. Because I would like to play the other one too. Yeah, I, don't sure. know. I don't know. I feel like the, from a points perspective, it yeah, has to make more play. sense to just yeah, flip yeah. for this and go play. Yeah. yeah. Sure. So maybe I'd be making like one point if I think I'm winning <laughs> by playing heads up and hopefully more than one point on average. And Alex Foxen and Orpen Kisekshioglu very much aware of the fact that they need any points they can get in order to chase down Anthony Hu, who's our current clubhouse leader for the PokerGo Cup, which also, of course, includes a 50K cash bonus, so quite a bit of equity at stake there. The points okay. cannot be chopped, so even if they were to make a deal, if they flip for it, that means the points would be on the line. I think the title probably means, the title in this event probably means something more to Orpen than it does to Foxen. He's never won an event in the studio, has tried many times and gotten close, and certainly been working on his game quite a bit that I think he would he would love to grab that trophy. You know, not just be a Absolutely. flip. Of course he want you know, you obviously want to try and get in that other tournament as well and chase the overall Poker Girl Cup championship, but I'm sure he'd love to get that trophy. But also, Donnie, if you flip for it and you win it, <laughs> you're still gonna remember <laughs> is it as a win. Well yeah, of course. Oh wow. Oh my god, Alex Foxen could be over has, right here. Has man. him out kicked here. Ace Jack versus Ace 10. This could be trouble once again for Orpen. Everything so far in this heads up battle has been going Alex Foxen's way. Don H said they can chop and share the points. They, the, the points have to do with the money that you earn, and in a 25K, it's 0 0.6 points per dollar. So the points would be adjusted as the payouts would get adjusted. Interesting. Very interesting. I believe that's how the commission has mm -hmm. explained it to me. Oh, wow. Uh, Orpen moves all in. Alex Foxen with the call. It could be all over here or all My but turn. over here. <laughs> wow. Orpen with a chance to win this if he hits a 10. Alex Foxen in great position to take a massive chip lead here. What an unbelievable cooler. Ace Jack versus Ace 10. Of course, some chop outs. That's probably the best that Orpen can hope for at this point. Only four big blinds between the two. This can swing the match heavily one way or the other. Let's see the flop. Eight, three, five rolls off the deck. Back to a flush draw is also in Foxen's favor. Orpen looking for one of the three remaining tens to send Foxen to the rail. Otherwise, play will continue. Six of clubs on the turn. Foxen, 93% to win this hand. Let's see the river card. It's the jack of spades for it's good three, measure. Three, seven, five. Alex Foxen doubles up, leaves Orpen with just 625K. Three, three. That is five big blinds, ladies and gentlemen. 
Just five big blinds. Three, two, seven, five. Three, three. Two, three, three. Wow. Yeah. It's three. Yeah. Talk about a swing. Orpen basically chip leader for the entire final table. And one card away from winning this event just a few hands ago. And now all of a sudden, he is the short stack. Yeah, yeah. massive two hands there for Foxen. Gets that uh gets the call from Orpen who called with King High. Foxen had two pair and one to take a big blind, chunk huh? and pull things closer to even. And then this huge double Six. leaving Orpen with five bigs. Wow. Comeback time for Orpen. All right, chat, we've seen many comebacks in the Pokego Cup this year so far, but can Orpen do it now versus Alex Fox? And that is the big question. What do you guys think? On. Fox moves all in right away with ace 10. There it is, Orpen with queen nine offsuit. Tournament life on the line for the very first time at this final table. 500. If Orpen doubles up now, he's going to have 1.1 million. At least he's got a chance here, 60-40 roughly. Wow, queen, 10, 7. Orpen finally outflops Foxen in a big confrontation. Fox and five outs. King on the turn. Add some outs. Fox and now has nine outs to seal the deal. Or will play continue? Let's see the river card. Nine of diamonds. We carry on. <laughs> play continues. Orpen back up to over a million. Nine big blinds. Not out of the woods just yet. This still, is, still pretty short. This is fun. I guess I, guess I can't win every all. <laughs> it wouldn't be fair. You want the big one? Yeah. If you guys enjoy the content, please smash like right that now. That's a pretty big one, though. Join us. Maybe we can get to 2,000. Who knows? I don't know who's watching who hasn't liked it yet. Not as big. Do appreciate it, though. You've won 125, right? Yeah, okay. Keep in mind, we're streaming tomorrow as well. And then our 25k final table. Orpen shoves here. Ace five moves all in, picks up the blinds and annies. Thank you. Bro. Tomorrow is once again play at fast. 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Central European time. Don't miss it. All in. Queen five off. That's enough. Cool. Fox moves all in. Orpen with the call. Oh, it is. He all got right. him again. <laughs> ace 10 this time for Orpen. 65%, 35%. The ace 10 has been going around. Yeah. Yeah. Orpen had it. Fox had it. Now it's Orpen got it three. again. It's crazy. We're seeing lots of ace-10 in the mix here. It's lost twice already. If it loses again, this one's over. Foxen once again with a chance to end the tournament. Flop comes out. Jack-10-5. Orpen extends his lead here with the pair of 10s. Queen for a sweat. <laughs> five outs for Foxen. A queen or a five. Turn six of hearts. No flush draws available. Five outs for Foxen again to end the tournament or... We're back to having a match. Heads of poker is crazy. Let's see the river card. Deuce of hearts. Orpen doubles up again. <laughs> now sitting on 21 big blinds. Oh, baby. We've gotten our fair share of all-ins here this time at, this, at today's final table. As they say on every NFL broadcast, every time, we've got ourselves a ball game here. <laughs> There is a poker Probably game going on, ladies it's and gentlemen. Basically what, we're what we're doing is an expedited way, or a slowed down way. Lots of flips here as the blinds are big, but now that Orban has 21 big blinds, we could even see some post-flop play again.
Ace nine of diamonds for Orpin. Could see him put it in once again. I mean, they've gotten so used to being all in all the time. Why even play flops anymore? And Fox in here with King nine. Oh, okay, just okay. We'll see a flop. This could have definitely ended up all in. Yeah, for sure. Deuce, I mean, if Fox and jams, Orpin's calling. Deuce eight seven here on the flop. Fox in with the nut flush draw. Ace high still the best hand though. Not by much. See, if this hand had already been all, all in, it would have been a great sweat. Open bets. Paul, what time is it now? 1.25. Thanks. <laughs> Alex Fox and is on the clock. <laughs> on the clock. Imagine if he was like, what time is it? Oh, okay. All in. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great. Seven of clubs on the turn. Given Orpen a better chance to win this hand. As his ace high is still in the lead. Check, check, river card. Four of diamonds, ace high is indeed the best hand. King. Ace. King is no good, ace high wins. Orpen takes it down, and we are getting closer and closer to being even again. Are you guys sticking with your predictions or switching sides? I still, I, I still think Orpen's got it. I still think he's going to win. I'll take Fox and then just so we can be <laughs> on opposite sides. Okay, you deal. Know, just just for the heck of it. Eight three suited for Orpen. Decides to raise from the big blind after Fox and limp with King High. Uh, everyone's sticking to their guns. Lots of support for Foxen right now in the chat. <laughs> JD says, I would say the guy with the ugly hat gets it. There's, there's two hats. It just depends on your style. Foxen here makes the call, by the way. Big pot Bruin given the stack sizes. 875 in the middle. Queen 8 Jack rolls off. Rainbow flop here. Orpin with a backdoor flush draw and a pair. Has to bet 225. Open oh. makes the call. We're going to see a turn card. Fox, I'm needing a lot of help here in this situation. Three of diamonds on the turn. Orpa makes two okay. pair. Fox are now drawing dead. Let's see if Foxen is going to take another stab. Five seventy-five. Five seventy-five. Wow. Orpin's going to like the sound of this. Uh, 
Wow. Orban moves all in, giving Foxen a way out. Foxen folds, and Orban is back in the chip lead, Donnie, from five big blinds. Back up to the chip lead. It's a swingy game. Very swingy, swingy game. There you see, look at the payouts. 400,000 up top, 262,500 for second place. Wow, who would have thought that Orpen could have made a comeback there after being down to five big blinds? I guess that's why you love poker. You're never out until you're out. What did I say again? A chip in a chair? A chip in a chair. There we go. Orpen limps the button with jack three. Foxen shoves a stew of clubs and Orpen kicks it in. It's so funny how these dynamics are constantly changing. Both players want to register for the next event that is going on in the background. Foxen constantly checking the clock. Feels as though we might be heading towards a chop if they're cutting it too close. Crypt Keeper says this is live. Yes, we are live right now. Coming at you from the Pokego Studio in Las Vegas. That's right. <coughs> Let's see a flop again. Limped action, 10 9, nine. Okay. Akaki says, hi, how are you guys? <laughs> We're great. Thanks for checking in. Menace is asking, where is the PG studio in Las Vegas? It is a short walk from the Aria poker room. When you walk outside the nearest exit by the poker room, you walk along the walkway towards the strip, you can't miss it place with the giant gold cards on the wall. Zachary says, I just got here. Can you give me a quick recap of the action? Well, it was kind of an insane final table, so you might want to go and skip back and watch it all because Sean Perry was there, Aram ok Oganyan was there, and they sure had a lot of table talk. Oh, yeah. Sam Sorrell, sixth place, Sean Perry, fifth, Kerry Katz, fourth, Aram Oganyan, third, and then that brings us to this heads-up match between Orping, Kisetra Koglu, and Alex Foxen for the $400,000 title. But of course, as, Rem as Remco mentioned, you can always rewind and skip through some things. This YouTube stream will live here forever. Watch it whenever you want. P specifically, rewind to when Alex Foxen pulled off the A-side bluff <laughs> against Aganyan. Incredible stuff. Meanwhile, both players have made a flush. Not a whole lot of chips in the middle here, but we could see some action. Is Fox going to value bet his deuce here, Donnie? Feels like a, a bluff catcher at, at this <laughs> point. 375 is the bet. And there's the call. Fast. Too fast indeed. Orpen with the better, f better club. Foxen now down again to just 22 big blinds. That's been like four, <laughs> four times. <laughs> yeah, well, it certainly yeah. has happened. There's been a lot of that. He had he had 500k like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> well, the voice you hear is Daniel Brown well, egging me. on the players. Before that, you had like what? You had yeah, no, and then yeah. I had 800. Daniel playing the 25k, the second 25k of the series. They're on break right now, and the break has been extended a little bit while these two play heads up with the hopes that this tournament ends so that those guys can then register for that 25K. When that break ends, that's when registration closes, and both of these guys want to play, so trying to get this one over with while also you know playing their best poker. <laughs> 
Fox and all in with queen high. That's enough to take it down. Chips back up to just shy of three million. Open once again gets to pick up a pot. And the players in the background, of course, wanting to have these two <laughs> players join them in 25k. So everyone, everyone is rooting for this to end soon. But we're just enjoying it. We're enjoying the the back and forth and the all-in battles that we've seen so far. Daryl asked how you how you enter these tournaments. You show up at the studio, you buy in, and you play. All you need is cash money. Yeah, you just need cash money and an M life card from MGM, and you can play. Or for, you can just for these tournaments, 10k and higher. So you need ten thousand dollars, fifteen, twenty-five, or fifty thousand dollars. Or just send a wire. Yeah, or just send a wire. There you go. Or you know, come with a thousand dollars, head over to the blackjack table, <laughs> try and spin it up, and let's go. <laughs> There's many satellites <laughs> into. The big events, blackjack being one of them. I've done that before. There you go. I mean, we have been running some satellites, some one case, some fifteen hundred dollars satellites for these tournaments. Uh, stay tuned to pgt.com/schedule for information on both the full Poker Go Tour schedule and any satellites that we may post. Orban limped the button with nine deuce suited. Fox and raising it up with ace queen off. Very strong hand there. Let's see the flop. 6 10 queen top pair top kicker for Alex Foxen. Kevin really, really said. Nothing there for, for Orban. Kevin says you guys are fun and entertaining and extremely intelligent. I don't know about that last is, thing. Is, is that two, two <laughs> truths and a lie? Every fold, <laughs> I can just hear the players on the outside, you know, just kind of let out a sigh. Like, come on, guys, let's go. Let's get this going. For those watching the stream and are itching to play poker, you can also just play smaller games in Las Vegas and then swing by the studio to have a look at what, in my opinion, is the most prestigious place to play in the entire world. Yeah, Ari has got as low as 1-3, no limit hold'em. They also have regular nightlies, I think right around the $200 buy-in range of so 200 I think they might even have a 240 uh, once or twice a week. So great place to play poker here, right in the center of everything on the strip. And as Remco said, just pop on over to the studio, say hello, watch some of the best in action, get a drink at the bar, you know. That's a pretty cool experience if you're a poker fan. Thanks for the money, Paul. Appreciate it. I believe the stream delay is about 30 minutes for the integrity of the game. Four, four. Fuck. Draw again. <laughs> JD. How, how long till restart now? <laughs> it's always been checked. JD asking if there's room for spectators. There's limited room for spectators, but you can definitely sneak in here. 
Peck, if you run into me or Donnie, we're happy to give you a little tour of the studio. Don't talk to me, bro. <laughs> Just kidding. Top pair versus top pair. This could get the money in here. It could definitely get the money in. They just both checked this? Wow. Oh, I okay. thought these guys okay. wanted to hurry up. Yeah. And now the ace, of course, is going to slow things <laughs> down. Classic. I'm going to fire this river. Try, and try and get some value out of his pair of kings. We see that it's a chop. King. Chop it up. Nobody likes chop pots. <laughs> Don't show that hand to all the spectators in the other tournament. They're, <laughs> they're going to start screaming at you guys for not getting the money in. You wanna at the end of the level just uh like two more hands you mean? Yeah, just chop and then just so that we each get a big blind. It's because it's two more hands and then sure. chop this and then just like, next time. and there's yeah, all in every hand. Three more hands. Yeah. Three more hands? Three more hands. Why well, it's two more hands? Two, four. two for four hands, that was the first hand. Alright, well I'll, I'll do it after two more hands just so we each get a big one. Just so that no one's like disadvantaged. I mean, I would just do it right now if you want. I don't care. I mean, how, how much? I mean, let's just do it, I guess. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Instead of stressing two more hands, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> I have two nine seven five. Yeah, we just do. Just note it. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it after. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So what you guys? I'm not just gonna tell you how it's gonna be handled if you guys choose to do that. So if you guys choose to make a deal, then we'll obviously. All right. A little moment here for us to run a promo while Paul Campbell explains the rules of a chop. A little reminder there that High Stakes Poker Season 10 is almost here. First episode premiering on January 24th. Use code WATCHHSP10 for $20 off your annual subscription. And then you can watch some of the legends of the game battle for the highest stakes in the world. Negrano, Esfandiari, Eric Person, Jennifer Tilly, Bobby Baldwin, Jean Revelon are just among the few that you'll be seeing on season 10 of High Stakes Poker, of course. Chops are at player's discretion. Here's a look at the final table chip counts presented by Air Club. 4.5 million for Orphan, 2.9 million for Alex Foxen. I think we're about to see some heavy gambling, Donnie. I would guess so. That's what it sounded like was going to happen. Eight players catching this event. There were 50 total entries. We'll get back to the table in just a second. We'd love to show you the chop, but that's not something that we are allowed to show. If players want to tweet about it, that's up to them. Here's a look at some of our previous winners from the series. Sean Winter hoisting the trophy in event number one. Aram Zobian, our event two champion. There's Ed Sebesta, the fan favorite, winning 216K. Justin Saliba, $195,000 for him. Anthony Hu, our current leader in the clubhouse for the Pokego Cup, winning $268,000. And then, of course, there's our current event. All right, back to the action. Call. <laughs> wow, sick. All right, we're gambling. We are oh, no. <laughs> gambling. 9-6 versus 6-4. Alex Fox in a commanding <laughs> position here to win the hand. I thought you were bluffing. Well, that <laughs> you thought chances. I was bluffing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at <laughs> Sick cooler. I, I Orpin does. Orpin has more chips. Four, four. 
Fox in here with a chance to double up and grab the chip lead. Deuce, right. Jack five, rolls off the deck. Molly not chopping and four. Orpin with seven outs to end the tournament. Again, he has a chance. Eight on the turn. Six outs now for Orpin no, seven. to win the tournament. River card, ace of spades. Two Alex Fox and double up. Yeah. Fox and wins and doubled Two. up. Nine, seven, five. So they did chop the prize money. Orpin taking home 345000 and Fox will get 317000 I don't mind hitting the trophy. And they're going to flip it out and try and get the <laughs> try and get the trophy, yeah, try I mean, and get this thing done. Rather than not. And the reason they're doing this is, as we've talked about the last 10 minutes or so, uh, both of these guys five, want to 50? get in that second 25K. One, five, they want to yeah, chase the points the for the leaderboard. Yeah. Yeah. Easier transaction if you can chase Ivan. Yeah, just yeah. happened to break that uh, this tournament ran a bit long. <laughs> Definitely. We went way beyond... <laughs> The regular length of these events. <laughs> Here we go again. again. <laughs> I mean, how are you? This real? <laughs> What's the other card there, Orpin? Huh? Huh? Queen nine for Foxen here, all in. Now I do, and I haven't pipped. And queen eight for Orpin. <laughs> Thank you. Negrano wants us to end so, so the play can resume. It's all right. I'm rooting for him now. It's okay. Me too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone now rooting for it to end. I'll take space, though. <laughs> Here comes the flop. Nine, ten, six, two diamonds. Okay. I mean, still some outs here. Yeah, double Pick gutted. Turn card. Oh, my God. Seven of spades. <laughs> oh Orpin makes a straight. And Alex Foxen is yeah. drawing dead. I mean, they're trying to end it, guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, trying to happen. Leos. Oh. Oh, look at that. Chop, Chop it, it up. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> this is unreal. Not even a double up. Daniel Negrano is oh, probably losing his mind sure. out there. This is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny mm, to watch. One five, one six. Right. It's lose if you miss it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, if, that, if it's coming <laughs> to that point, I'll just, I'll just reg and multi-table for a second. A chop oh, after oh, the chop. I mean, yeah. that's just, you know, how it happens. <laughs> Here we go again. Wow. <laughs> He's got him crushed you again. Queen four? Oh. oh, wow. Jack six versus Pips, queen jack. Alex, this is just Alex Fox's <laughs> tournament. <laughs> he just can't lose. I mean, I guess not. How many more hands do you guys think this tournament's <laughs> going to last? How many more hands do we got? Queen uh, four three. This, <laughs> running straight cards, maybe I mean, a six. There's still a lot of dangerous turns. <laughs> <laughs> Eight oh on the turn. Flush draw now yeah, for Orpin. Nine happen. outs. Is it going to no, happen no, it's again? It's never easy, you know. It's just never easy. It's never easy indeed. Let's see the river card. It's the nine of hearts, <laughs> and that means that it is all over. Alex Foxen claims the title, 400K heading his way, and of course, a boatload of points in the race for the Pokego Cup. Yeah, as Orbit long as I have a second, right, Paul? Orbit finished in okay. second place. Tremendous showing by him. Thank you guys at home all so much for watching. These guys are hopping into the 25K that is underway right now with Mr. Daniel Legranu in the mix. That final table will be streaming tomorrow. Check out pgt.com for live reporting of event number seven. Here are the final results presented by Hair Club of event number six. Don't miss tomorrow's stream. Alex Fox and Orban might be back for more. My name is Rem Korinkama. Donnie Peters alongside me. It's been an honor and a pleasure covering this event with you guys. We had the Sean Perry experience. We had Alex Fox and going from chip leader to short stack back up the chip leader and Orpin of course reigned for a long time before busting in second place thanks for watching this was the Boku Go Cup we'll be back tomorrow with more tune in again at 4 p.m. Eastern Time <laughs>